Hey guys, it's Fia back again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 11th of May. Uh, it was Wednesday. I did some raiding. It was good fun. Did some exploratory bits and bobs in Zerath Mortis prior to raid and then dove on in, didn't know what I was doing and tried really hard not to die. If you'd like to catch us live in chat and see all those shenanigans in real time, you can do so over at twitch.tv forward slash Fiyama. If you add slash schedule onto the end of that, you'll be able to see what I'm going to be streaming and when converted directly to your time zone automatically. And if you'd like to catch some behind the scenes goodness, you can do that on all the social media platforms, uh, particularly Instagram pressing a lot there. They're all down in the description box below, as well as a link to Discord if you want to join us in there for Convore sessions as well. Uh, enjoy the VOD. Hopefully I will see you live in chat next time. Hi. Hello. What is happening? How is everybody? All right, just a sec. Turns out I was still streaming my PC to our television. No wonder everything was moving uh, just a touch too slowly. Uh, brilliant. I hope everyone is doing well today. Happy Wednesday. Um, this one. Uh, okay, so I have... I've got a lot of placement quests. What is that one? Barbarian. Let's get that one finished. Is it that one? It is that one. <laughs> Necromancers are a long cooldown. And the other two aren't. Okay, cool. So I'll... No, no, no. That's not what I wanted. Um... In that quest. Next one is. My jaw is crunching something horrid. <laughs> oh, assists from buffing. Cool. Hopefully the flag bearer will give me that one. Um. Written. Brilliant. There we go. I'm gonna head to Zareth Mortis. Where is the top of chat? Well done, nurse on first! Everyone is doing well? I'm doing very well, thank you. I hope you can say the same. Well done, Chaos, on last. Hello, Ben. Second for Ali. Doing well, thanks, Chaos. Hope you are too. Hey, Fenry. Random number greater than three. Hello, Kaz. Had a sick day today. Oh, no, I hope you feel better soon, Ali. Sick days are no fun when you're actually sick. Getting over a sinus infection, last day of antibiotics. Fantastic, Chaos. Fantastic. Good to hear. Love the makeup. Thank you. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out today. Not going to lie. I'm uh, pretty happy with those colors. Hello, Stang. Good evening. Oh, captions. I am a terrible. Testing. Um, you get to watch a decent stream quality. Hey now, that's not very nice. Kraz is trying his best. There are some issues outside of his control, I reckon. Um, he and I had a bit of a chat around his settings and all that kind of stuff, and there are a few things he had not quite right. Good for, good for, um, speed, but not good for quality. Um, so he made some adjustments and it already looks better. Uh, but there are a few little hiccupy bits that he's going to have to talk to his ISP about. Um, but, you know, that's uh, not something I can exactly help with. Um, chocolate Liberty today, indeed. It is chocolate from Mellow Cosmetics. I love this lipstick. It's so comfortable and it's just, it's, it's gorgeous. It's the whole, like, um, it's really, it's super impactful without being, like, black. Like, because black lipstick can be quite harsh, adding a little bit of warmth to it in, like, with a, with, like, brown, like a dark brown or a dark berry or really, really, really dark red um, just kind of takes the edge off. Oh, I've got, a, I've got a couple of, like, grey lipsticks as well, and they do something similar. Um, not quite the same, but a little bit similar. It's kind of like, it's a neutral goth look. 
And I, yeah, it's a little bit interesting, but no, I, I, I really, really like it. I'm so pleased with this. So pleased. Alrighty, uh, I'm going to start with knocking over Antros because he's got some legs I could use. And if I get the legs, not only do I get the appearance, I can also turn them into tier and then I will have two set. So I'm going to start with that. Uh, yes, I still enjoy it. Brilliant. So, so, can you got a nice seat being used? Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I haven't had a chance to use Tokyo yet, the, the really deep dark purple one, the liquid one, because I haven't had a makeup look that matches, yeah. I haven't quite had a look that matches it yet, but maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow I'll be able to find some time during my work day to, um, like my lunch break or something, to do some, some fun makeup. And like I can channel inner goth fear and, and pop on the super dark lipstick. Hey, with a third dupe. Hello, hello, Sheba. Welcome back. Sinful Gladiator Soul Eater. Oh, right, I didn't tell you about the makeup, did I? No, it's not that one. Um, this button is what I wanted. Good. So, um, this one's going to stump a couple people, I reckon. Uh, it's, it's a fun one, though. So I've got, there's dark brown on the outside here. And then this is kind of like a, you know that olive moss green type of shade I was talking about a couple days ago? It's that kind of shade except like metallic. And then I've got a really deep dark version of that sort of color. So it's kind of, it's a moss green, but it's also like really quite dark. It's almost got gray sort of tones to it, sort of. But yeah, so we've got like deep dark greeny, greeny moss gray kind of color. And then like a, an olive green and then uh, dark brown on the outside. And of course it goes quite well with my chocolate lipstick. It looks like I literally kissed an Easter bunny and I'm okay with that. Um, <laughs> uh, so I own this mount and it is a ground mount. It does not fly. Best of luck, have fun. Hi, the sun well. Uh, Cosmic Gladiator Soul Eater, no, not yet any of the Soul Eaters, no. No, ah! Oh my God, dupe. Oh my God, 16 months. Holy cow, and at tier two as well. Thank you so much for the resub and your ongoing generosity. So kind of you. Good morning, COVID. Good morning. How are you going? Welcome on in. My first time chat highlight has returned. Brilliant. This makes me happy. More sworn soul hunter. No. Black dragon turtle. No. This is a fun game. I like this game. I'm assuming you guys like it too, because you keep playing. Do, 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 do. I have to change my talents before raid too. Keep hearing that. Dire wolf, no. <clears throat> Discord had a question about something you might be interested in. Well, there you go. Shiba has received a Discord DM. Uh, Grey Kodo. Ali has got it. There you go. It is the great. That was a quick one. I'm, I fucked up by saying that it was a great green, didn't I? <laughs> I gave you too many hints. Well done. Well done. It is indeed the Grey Kodo. If you have a look, the saddle and all of the the associated strapping is a dark brown. And the grey of the Kodo is not really that all that grey. It is quite green, and then it does have some sections on its skin that are like completely green as well. Um, so I thought I'd uh, lean in. And I, I really like these colors together. I really like them together a lot. Bam, indeed. Rage 
change fine. Watch your feet. Watch your oh, feet. Come in, right. Watch your step. Give me a second. I'm gonna die. Yep. Uh, this is fine. Everything is fine. Uh, where do you release? Oh, not too far. Oh, and you can fly. Okay, yeah, that's fine. It's interesting that they'll let you release for Antros, but not for any of the other world bosses. On in in Shadowlands, that's really interesting. Well fought. No pants. We cannot allow these sacred lands to be. No pants for fear. Ruins. That's okay. Uh, alrighty. So I have to get to get sand, sand everywhere. I need one more of the spiky keys and I'm pretty sure the last spiky key comes out of the domination cache and I still haven't got a domination key on fear so I think that's what I need to do does anybody else need that and would you like to join me to farm one up apparently the drop rate has been vastly increased but I haven't actually attempted to to do anything with that so if you'd like to join me uh let me know you can type exclamation invite into chat and you'll get a um copy paste that you can send me to um but you can paste it into game and then it'll it'll whisper me nice and easy super super quick all right um there's an narrative down for sheba to win no chair likes purple but does he she they have a new coat um this is like a dressing gown i have it's a where's the logo no, oh, it's on this side. It's a Twitch one. Um, and I had it out because I've been wearing it a fair bit. Oh, dear. I've been wearing it a fair bit the last couple of days because it's been bitterly cold. Um, so, so, and I didn't want to put it away, away, because I knew that I'd probably want to use it. So I just popped it here. Um, but in terms of in terms of pronouns for chair, uh, I'm pretty sure that chair is okay with any pronouns. Um... Obviously, Chair cannot tell me this directly, um, but I, I, I reckon Chair would be happy with any pronouns. I would never, ever, 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 ever recommend that you assume that of anybody else, but given that Chair is technically an inanimate object, um, I think it's safe for us to assume just this one time. Um... I usually go with he, it just kind of happens naturally for me, but um, I, I, I'm i perfectly fine with whatever you guys are comfortable with. Um, indeed, where to go? Ali, yes! Oh, Ali, have you given me a number yet? If, you, if there's one in chat already, I'll get there when I get there. Uh, I was on Twitter before you went live. Ah, I had a list of everything with olive green in it! Amazing! Beautiful. That's, that's great, that's fantastic. Look at you go, holy cow. Shiba. Thank you. Oh, when I get out of bed, I'm gonna continue to level up my Night Elf Vengeance Tank Demon Hunter. Drink my wood off you see. Fantastic go! That looks sounds like you got a fantastic plan all lined up, ready to go. Good job. Awesome. So quick look always works for you. Yeah, look, I, I reckon most looks do. Um it's it's not really about I th I think when like having looks work, I think it's mostly about the yeah I'm wearing this what of it kinda aspect to it all. Um there, there have been very few. Look, there, there have been a few looks in the last few months that I've kind of gone, oof, nope, that was not a good idea. But it's not necessarily about the colors or my skin tone or my hair or eye color or anything like that. It's mostly been like I should not have put that color there. If I could have done this again, I would have put the colors in this way instead. So it's, it's more about the arrangement than the actual coloring. I rec I firmly believe that anyone can pull off anything. Um, if they if they 
if they want to, they absolutely can. There is one exception to that, and I will say that it's uh, the the exception to that is uh, there are some products out there that are crap that are crap, like legitimately crap, and so they won't show up on certain skin tones or they won't blend properly on certain skin tones. So for example, if you've got a, um, a darker color that is crap quality and it's super, super patchy, that's gonna look like ass on someone who's pale because you're gonna be able to see the patchiness because their skin tone comes through, but on someone who is darker, you might not actually notice the patchiness quite as much and so they might be able to pull it off better um, versus something that's like a, a pale shade if you put that on someone, if it's again, crap, and you put that on somebody who has a darker skin tone, it might come across really ashy and, and again, kind of patchy and not great and, and like there's too much filler in it or something. Whereas if you put it on a pale skin tone person, maybe some of that crapness will kind of blend into their skin enough that it won't, you won't notice so much. So yeah, it's like, if it's a good quality product, anyone can pull it off, honest to God, 100%. It just takes that, kind of extra little bit of confidence. Oh, it's one of these. I forgot what they were called. Okay. Cool. Excuse me. Did I just click them too quickly? Is that what just happened? I think it is. Oh god damn it. And it's changed! Fuck, okay. Uh, alright. There we go. I've been tuned back now. Uh, uh, what is gonna try to be? She's when you ask. Forty-two. Perfect. Thank you. Um, amazing. Ready. Game is called Maze. But not as in like a maze that you go through. It's maze like corn. Maybe it's a corn maze game. I have no idea. Have a look. Best of luck. Thank you so much for playing and congratulations. That's all man. Ah, oh, wonderful cove. Congratulations. Gondor has no pants. Gondor needs no pants. Is Gondor not like a continent or something? Um. <laughs> Do you need those auto mounts? Love the, love the Rogue Raven. It's very cool. Favorite so far as the DK Dragon. Totally. F I was so disappointed back when I saw the, when they released them and they had the, I love the priest one, probably my favorite, but um, the mage one just disappointed me so much. I don't, I, I don't know what I would have wanted it as a reply. I mean, I would have wanted a bird. I would have wanted a bird, a fire bird, an ice bird and a purple bird, like absolutely. But um, I don't know, the discs just kind of upset me. I just, but I mean, I still went and got them because that's what I do. I am a collector, uh, but it just wasn't quite what I wanted, you know, but that's okay. Nothing is ever going to please everybody, especially when you've got, you know, such a varied player base and all that kind of stuff. So it is what it is. I mean, there was that first ever yellow lipstick. Yeah, that stuff is, um, there are a couple, I do have a couple of products I can use. I can't use it by itself. It just looks like trash. Um, but it's also because it's sheer. It is part of, it's a It's a MAC lipstick and MAC is a, um, like they are, a, a, they do do editorial stuff as well as like your everyday whatever. Um, there's definitely, um, there are definitely ways in which I can use it. Um, I just need to use it with other products like put down a lip liner and then pop that over the top to make it more yellow toned rather than whatever it is. Or would you know what I mean? Like it's that kind of, that kind of product, unfortunately, but that's okay. It is what it is. Um, 
I bought it for a meme. And the meme was a success at the time. I will just never purchase anything like it ever again. <laughs> This stuff hurts. I am I am a squishy. Hopefully that one that I killed drops the key. Um it's the lipstick's fault, yep. Yeah. Well, like I said, you know, it's very rarely the person who doesn't make it work. It's the product. Um I mean again, if if you don't know how to use a product and you it, it you know it it is a finicky product that really needs to be used in a very specific and certain way, firstly it should say it on the goddamn tube. Uh but if it doesn't, uh then it can be user error in terms of it not looking great, but um not like that's that's not very often. It's not very often. Um, hello, Josh. The other exceptions are don't go doing blackface. Through. Oh no 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 no. That's that's not makeup. That's racism. There's a difference. Um, yeah. <laughs> yep. There was a point at once upon a time at which it was considered makeup. It is no longer that time. It is no longer considered makeup. It is considered a display of racism. Don't do it. Um, changed. Huh? What is that? Uh, hello, Sol. How you going? Welcome back. Last stream on Monday, the um, the hair dye arrived, and I unboxed it and everything. So thank you so much for the gift. I really appreciate it. I'll be using that next month, or actually. Yeah, no, it will be next month, uh, when my regrowth is such that I need to do it again. <laughs> I appreciate it so, so much. Um. Horrible. Um, the new son of the last night comes to Getting used to, they're very different, yep. I'm intrigued. Good morning, crud, hello. How are you today? I hate being so squishy sometimes. It's on cooldown, that's why. Die! That's fine. Uh, meme thing many years back, change your word in any movie quit to pants. Ah, oh, okay, got you. Understood, fidget spitter. That's the best blurb ever. Maze is the first person adventure game about what happens when two scientists misinterpret a memo from the US government and create sentient corn. That last sentence is pretty much the least ridiculous thing about the game. That would explain why it's highlighted in my spreadsheet as I have that game. Good. I would have read that and lost my shit. Fantastic. I love it. Maybe we need to put that on the, the community goal list to play. I mean, anyone, like, I have a, I have a Steam library of 400 plus games, so if at any point you guys are like, hum, is there anything in here I really want to see Fia play, like, feel free to have a browse of my Steam library and drop a, a request either in the, um, the, what's it called, the sub chat, definitely not the sanctum, or in feedback, or, you know, for, for sure. Like, it's, it's the way to do it, eh? No! No hit harder, bastards. God damn it. It's fine. I'm Beyblade just for that ride, the mage fidget spinner. Okay. Okay. Fidget. No, I'm kidding. Uh, prismatic. Arch mages. Prismatic disc. It just disappointed me. Like, we, like we're not... None of our spells involve us animating something with magic or do you know what I mean? Like or anything like that. It just I don't know. It it, it just didn't feel like if I was gonna conjure up something, I just I feel like it wasn't gonna be a metal disc filled with my element of choice. It just I don't know. Um, yeah. I 
was I was disappointed. That's okay. I have six hundred and something mounts, so it's fine. Six hundred and sixty at the moment, right? I haven't gotten any extra ones lately. Or did I get one the other day and now it's six sixty one? No, I don't think I did. I didn't get any on Monday, did I? No. I mean, I'm really close to a couple, but I didn't get any. Oh fuck! I know I'm not supposed to fly low around here, but I'm really trying to find something that draws. Ah, oh, two of you, piss off! Trying to get a domination key. If anyone would like to join me, you are very, very welcome to do so. It'll get you credit towards Treasures of Zareth Mortis. It'll get you one of your seven keys for sand, sand everywhere. There's also a transmog that's only in the domination cache, I believe. Like, it's a thing. It's a thing. Why did I not heal up first? Because I'm a numpty, correct. Sentient corn, indeed. Do not want. I mean, look, I, I'd like to see how it how it handles before we like completely write it off. Main problem, generally speaking. Colonels, oh dear. Oh dear. You glad it arrived? Yay, got the email saying they were shipped, which is really straight. Yay, awesome. Oh, I'm so glad that they give you that information as well. That's great. Um, always seem to miss out on your unboxings. I do drop them in when I when I'm when I receive a package. I post it in Discord and just package, and then the next time I go live, I'll do the unboxing of whatever's arrived. Um, if that helps at all. Uh, hello, Boot. 660, brilliant. Uh, we need 200,620 embers to make Fear Tap a world boss on the noggin for 12 hours. To donate, all you need to do is click the little fire under and to the left of the chat box, hit that big old bar that says 50 tunes versus Shah. Donate up to 2k embers, or you can donate multiple times up to that point. Embers are completely free currency to spend. You get your embers back if we don't reach the goal. We are just 50,620 from 50%, which is today's goal, because we have four streams a week. Yep. Good. Good. Mythic plus keys, 20 plus plus 9. We arrives 2999. Oh, rough crud. Rough. Want to help in and out of the game for a couple months now. Not a problem at all, so no worries. Hey, Jack, how you doing? Sort of doing a replay of Dragon Age Inquisition. Wonderful! I hope you enjoy yourself. Uh, is there anything you'd like to tell us on stream today? Let me catch up on chat real quick. I don't know when it's been delivered, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah, that's alright. I, I will tell when it's been delivered. I post package. I don't tend to crack them open. Uh, sometimes I do, just in case, like, I'm like, hang on a second, what is this? Because <laughs> um, sometimes it's something I've ordered versus something that has come from Throne, but, uh, yes. Uh, do you penance some question for me? Afternoon. Hello, hello. All right, so I've caught up on chat. Hello, Seeker. I hope you're doing well. Um, so, I still don't have my contract. I still don't have my brief. It was supposed to arrive today. Um, I'm going to plug my phone in because it's dying. Oh, it was all supposed to arrive today, but uh, but the last email I received did say uh, that I am safe to tell my community about the campaign. So it is not just me. 
Um, I don't know. I have no idea who else is involved. Zero idea at all who else they're... they're I, know, I don't know any idea. I know that they were targeting uh, play, people who play RPGs. Um, and people, because last time they did a campaign, they, this is this is the second time, so it's a PR company running a campaign for a game developer. It is a sponsored stream, which you all acknowledged when I said, we're not doing that on that day. It's no longer on Sunday. It is now looking at being Monday because no contract and I need time to be able to read a contract properly, read through a brief, make sure that I can fulfill everything that they're after uh, before I then sign and send it back. So, um, and plus if I have any questions and stuff like that. So it is a campaign, it is a sponsored stream. There is the potential for it to turn into multiple sponsored streams, but we're starting with one at the moment. Um, we're starting with one at the moment to see what they think, if they like working with me. They like all of my stats and stuff and my interactions so far and they like my background, but they want to see how a stream actually looks. If it performs well, then we've got a chance to open. But that doesn't mean, like, if it doesn't perform to their expectations, I will still be getting paid. I just won't get future opportunities, which would suck, obviously, so you gotta show up. Um, but the previous campaign that they tried to run, they went with some bigger names and it didn't work so well because the people didn't have RPG backgrounds. They didn't have those kind of, so they didn't really know what they were doing and everyone kind of floundered around and were really lost. Couldn't really get the brief completed because they didn't know what they were doing. So this time around they're targeting uh, RPG players who have not had much experience with Final Fantasy. It's Square Enix. Square Enix have reached out via a PR company. We're playing Final Fantasy XIV and I'm being paid to do it, which is fucking huge. That is enormous. Like, ridiculously enormous. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's that's what I've been trying to keep a lid on for like a month now. This It's been going on for a while. Originally, they wanted to start the campaign halfway through April. That's how long this has been going on for. It's like, they, I'm pretty sure they reached out around the start of April uh, to start having conversations. And we had a few questions back and forth. I had a quick call with them to kind of explain my background and my history with gaming and stuff. And uh, so yeah, this is this is where we're at now. I'm still waiting on my contract, still waiting on my brief, uh, because some there are some, you know, funky back end things that uh, they were not expecting, and that's okay. Um, but yeah, that is that's what we're doing. <laughs> How good's that? <laughs> How good is that? Um Hello Handlebar, welcome on in. Um, how exciting. I know, right? It's huge. It's huge. Congrats. Thank you, Chaos. Thank you. So remember that one day you tried it? I've actually played it a few times, three or four times in the past. Uh, I've jumped on in and that was one of the things was that I'm familiar with the game, not, not familiar with it like I know how to do stuff, but I know of the game. I, I have played it before, but a very limited amount of play. And they basically said that that was perfect for what they're looking for. Um, the, the campaign is to uh, celebrate two things. Um, one is the launch of Oceanic servers. So I do believe that the uh, content creators that they're targeting are Australia, New Zealand uh, creators. Um, and it's about the new player experience. They've recently done a big revamp on like how that all works, kind of, you know, similar to how WoW did. Um, you just sort of, I mean, obviously I'm not saying anyone's copying anyone or any of that fucking bullshit, don't at me, like seriously. Uh, but they've recently gone and redone uh, a fair bit of their, their like first kind of, imagine kind of going back and redoing chunks of vanilla is basically what they've, they've sort of done. Um, and so they want uh, ANZ creators to play through from the very beginning, like right through character creation, through the first few chunks of storyline. Um, and that's what my brief is going to tell me is exactly what kind of targets I need to hit in terms of gameplay. Uh, and what I have been told, although nothing like this is all obviously um, 
projecting like sort of what could happen in the future. So none of this is guaranteed. But if this is if this is a successful stream, if they like what they ha like they get, um, the idea will be that the next however many sponsored streams that there might be, it will be continuing on that experience. So jumping into my first dungeon and then potentially a first raid and kind of going through and highlighting different parts of the game uh, that a new player may not know about necessarily and, and how they work and, and exploring them from like a fresh eyes perspective, which is super cool. So that's, yep. Yeah. Ah! yeah, that's um basically the noise I've been making in my head for a while now. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, the Oceania service. I'm not yeah. Paladin. Uh... Half of it is very much an acquired taste. It's really good. So I've been told. Uh, I better show up when she streams. I'll steal your lunch money if you don't. Well, this is this is the thing. It's it's very much a literal. If this stream is successful, there are future opportunities with with the whole team and everything. So like, and that's been. This is a campaign, not a not a one off. Um, but I'm assuming that not everyone is going to be able to progress through that campaign, obviously, because that's how these kind of things work. If, if they're not, you know, if, if they pay you X amount of dollars, um, because you've shown this history of viewership and then you do this, this stream for them and it's, you know, you get a third of the numbers or something, why would they pay you that much again to do it? Like, they're not going to be getting what their money, they're not going to get their money's worth sort of thing. So yeah, I'm like, fingers crossed, there's there's a few, obviously I get paid, that's a huge benefit, um, but it'll also expose us, the, the family, uh, to a new audience uh, because I play a lot of WoW uh, and then the other games that I play tend to be small games that don't really have built-in audiences. Um, they're not super great at like exposing me to new potential viewers and stuff like that, but something that's this big will expose me to a new community uh, and the hope is, as I said to Seeker when I was explaining this in DMs, was the hope is that they'll come for the Final Fantasy and stay for the Fear Talks. Uh, <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. Um, yes, it'll be great fun. Great fun. I uh, don't know how you keep that under wraps, would have blurted that out long before now. Congrats though, if I'd blurted it out, I might not have gotten the fucking contract. That's how. <laughs> when, you, when you're doing this shit, you know. You know. You do not break NDA. If you break NDA, not only will that company never work with you again, because you literally broke NDA, non-disclosure agreement, but word travels quick. Especially if you've got a PR company that covers multiple gaming brands, you won't get work with any of those gaming brands either, because that PR company knows you broke NDA. And everyone does networking events and stuff, and, and word travels fast, and yeah, you just, you don't do that. Oh. Oh. I will take that. Thank you. I don't know what it looks like. Oh, it looks like crap. That's fine. Um. Oh, it's, it's... Eh, not my style. But hey! Happy brain juice noises. We did have a battle. I will do the battle. Uh, I will definitely be there for that stream. Fantastic. At the moment, it is scheduled for Monday, not Sunday. So next Monday, the 16th of May. Um, but if that changes, I will absolutely let you know. Uh, because, yeah, still waiting on that contract. Um, this is something like Square X. What's that? Square Enix is a company that makes Final Fantasy. Yes, it is. Square Enix. Yeah, Square Enix. It's like a square, and then whatever an enix is. <laughs> the base game, a lot of people found it a slog. That is why it's been refreshed, according to the conversations that I've had. Um, they went back and, and did a whole, like, shuffle around and all that kind of stuff, uh, and, and improved, fingers crossed, the experience. Um, because, yeah, that's, that's what they felt. That's what the general thing was. Uh, do they have paladins? They do. <laughs> so what are we farming for in ZM today? Um, I'm trying to get completion score up until I raid. Um, so right now I'm trying to get a bloody dominance key because I still don't have one and I need that dominance key to get the dominance cache, which ticks off one of the things in Treasures of Zerath Mortis. Not all of it, but one of them. And it gets me my seventh sand key so I can go get sand, sand everywhere. 
as well. It's, yeah, that's, sorry, it's a double whammy for this one. I need it. Merok, Faden, and Neke, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Unfortunately, I, the one that I did get was on my druid, which doesn't count, because of course it doesn't. Um. Uh, we played from the start, enjoyed it more. The second time, brilliant. You probably already thought of this already. Uh, I'd be pretty bad if Blizzard left me alone that day. Yeah, that's why I'm, yeah. Th <laughs> this is, this is one of the reasons why Blizzard continues to work with me is because I am communicative. Uh, I tell them when things are coming up, if my plans change, all that kind of stuff. I don't want to tell them yet because, like, they know something's coming. They know, so I asked them, there was actually a very specific question I needed to ask them around, um, if accepting this sponsorship would block me out of potential Blizzard sponsorships. Like, if they have any, like, non-compete kind of things, like if you do something for someone else, you can't do anything for us for three months or something like that. So I, I very specifically asked them about that. Uh, and they said, nope, have fun, good luck. Um, which is great. But, uh, I mean, I don't know if that's a blanket thing, but that's what they told me for, for, my, situ for my specific situation. Um, and uh, I also have been keeping them in the loop, like this is happening, but I don't know when. Um, I'm not going to tell them it's happening Monday until I've signed the goddamn contract. Because up until that point, it's not happening. <laughs> I'm not good. Like if I, if it comes to Monday and I still haven't got a contract, I'm not doing it. That's not how it works. So yeah, oh, I was supposed to praise my ne necromancer, wasn't I? Oh well. Uh, but yeah, so that's, yes, it is definitely something, um, essentially, uh, I'm not an idiot, no. Correct. <laughs> Uh, stay for the fear talks. Who wouldn't? Look, I really hope so. I really hope so. Uh, Honeyback Harvester. Ah, Grey Kodo. Picked already by not Sheba. Yes, it was Ali. Ali got it today. It was really quick. Really quick. Um, it's aggressively guessing indeed, but that's okay. She was makes me competitive. Sand, sand, uh, everywhere, but not a drop to crunch horribly between your teeth. Uh, maybe. That... Makes my jaw hurt. <laughs> These things hurt. Just running around daily. Oh, I would love a hand. Absolutely, Jack. Um, do you want me to... In Give me a sec. Because I know I'm appearing offline. Because I always do. Um. Erg! I'll piss off. If they're in the air, you shouldn't be able to get close enough to them to pull them. Nah, bugger this. Bugger this. Uh, let's check. Is there a key on this mob? <laughs> um. Hello, cat. Thank you. I do too. I'm really happy with it today. Thank you so much. Um, let me get this one done. But yeah, so Final Fantasy. Um, we were, uh, like, a month ago when this first all happened, Jas and I went and grabbed burgers because I wanted burgers and I had cravings and Jas was like, okay, we're going to feed you, we're going to feed you burgers because you're getting scary. Um, <laughs> so we went and had burgers and I was going through and we were having a look at, okay, what, what can I do? What, what should we do? How will we do this? And, and all that kind of, you know, trying to plot out because that's what I do. I'm, yeah, I'm a planner. You guys know that. Um, so... Uh, we were going through like what what can I play because I don't I, every time I've played I've gone through the same starting area so I want to go through a different starting area this time um, I've only ever gotten like halfway through that one starting area but it keeps happening so I want to play something different um, and I'm like yeah he's gone okay well we can do this one or this one and I'm like okay let's do that one and he's gone okay so you can be a this or that or the other and I'm like mm, you know what Let's do a melee. Melee sounds fun. I'm always a caster. Let's let's do melee. And then he got this big, fat, cheeky grin on his face, and I'm like, "What?" He's gone. That one turns into a paladin, and I'm like, "God damn it!" <laughs> I don't remember which class it was or which job it was, but it just... Oh my god, it was hilarious. I thought you'd all appreciate that. Ah uh, dear. Uh, all right, I'm gonna follow Jack because uh... um, does anything here drop a domination key? Because the tooltips from ATT only say a couple of things do. I'm confused. Um, 
McDonald's. Maccas! Yep. God, I haven't had Maccas in a while. I haven't had in a while. Uh, Coerce mode, roll the dice and see what happens. What could go wrong? What I could do, what I could do is open a giveaway, draw a winner, and have the winner tell me a number. But, or, or like, you know, do it by a poll or something like that as well. But, um, nah, I think... I think I'll be all right. It, it might, this is the thing, depending on what's in the brief. Like, if I need to accomplish a lot, I know, I know my streams are normally six hours and that's what, like, that's what I quoted them on, a six hour stream. But if I have a lot to accomplish, I might not be able to sit around and let chat choose things and stuff too much. Like, if I have to kind of get through it, um, I might just have to make a call and go. But we'll see. We'll see. I don't know, because I haven't seen any of the documentation. So... Ah, <laughs> uh, mine's kind of found dragoons too. There's slow rotation. Inquisitors and provokers. Hello, Prey. Welcome on in. Don't interrupt a man in his moiter. Uh, is Mac is McDonald's? It is. It is indeed. Yeah, easy way to figure out, like, Australian nicknames is take, like, the first couple of, like, the, the first couple of, uh, like, consonants that really stand out, uh, and then tack, like, an A or an O on the end of it. So, like, Maccas or Davo or Baza. Okay, Z is interchangeable with R. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Kind of, kind of the way to do it. And now I want Macca's soda ice seeker. I have been craving a cheeseburger, not necessarily a McDonald's cheeseburger, but I have been craving a cheeseburger for literally days now. But I'm trying to be good, and it's not working. Mm, have you got the more adapted Raptora schematic? Uh, I don't know. Is that a mount or a pet? It's another fun Australian thing to say. Chucky Becky, who watched the clip today, is a mount. Ah, so, oh! well, it's not coming up in thingy, but I don't think I've got it. Um, hold up. Recipes. What after? No, I don't. I don't have it. It's still sitting as uncollected in ATT. Okay, I wonder why it's not showing up on, um, on the tooltip. That's really strange. It, I swear to God it was a few weeks back. Maybe there's an, maybe an update's kind of changed it. <clears throat> version of the damn birds are never yeah fk for a minute yep have you got the schematic of the spider while you're dead uh i think so let's drop the keys uh the ones in the middle the more sworn inquisitors and i think also um uh nathrazim arcanists as well so it's all casters or casters. I, the spider while I'm dead thing sounds really familiar, so I, I'm pretty sure I've got that one. One of the first things I did as soon as the thingamajig was unlocked, um, I, I went around and got as many of the schematics as I possibly could. Um, it's like I cleared the map of, of treasure chests that contained them and all that kind of stuff. So I do have a lot of the recipes, I just haven't crafted like many of them at all. I think I've only crafted maybe two. I don't have many moats. Haven't done much farming of that either. One day, one day our Mount Farm Mondays are just going to be like farming Genesis moats. It'll be great. Uh, most important when talking Mac is which source for nugs vote. Oh, there's a vote. I can't vote. Wait, no, I can vote. Ah, ha, ha. I can vote 
on my own pole, technically. But you've only allowed us to have one answer, which is wrong. So there's that. So ketchup is wrong. Tomato sauce is just no, that's a wrong. Um, but barbecue is like my go-to sauce for pretty much everything. However, not Mac is nugs. Um, so I do occasionally, like if, if I get barbecue sauce, I'll be happy with it. I, I love barbecue sauce. It's delicious and delightful and amazing. But my preference is to take the nug, dunk it into the mustard, and then dunk it into the sweet and sour. So I always get a pack that's large enough that you can get two sauces, and I always get one mustard and one uh, sweet and sour. Unless we're like, going through drive through in which case I don't want to like confuse the drive through person, so I just say sweet and sour. Because um, sweet and sour is the, the better one there. But, um, m like... Like, it has to be mustard and then sweet and sour, though, because the sweet and sour is just as likely to pull off the nug and stay in the mustard tub, whereas the mustard tub is stickier and, and creamier, so it will stick to the nug better and just kind of allow itself to be coated in sweet and sour as well. It's got to be that way around. Physics, y'all. Sorry, there can only be one. Best sauce when I was limited time. Southwest Ranch sauce back in 2013 tasted like nachos. Interesting. I don't think I've ever had that. Uh, honey mustard was the best. Sucks they got rid of it. Aw. I don't think I ever got to try the Macca's honey mustard either. I wonder, was that? It must have been available in Australia. I don't know. It was like a super limited time. Oh, I got a Rage Pearl. Yay. That's for crafting stuff. I like that. Um... And that one is sweet and sour. Yes, sweet and sour team. This is only for nugs, different for other products. I know, I know. Although chips do equally well in the mustard and then sweet and sour double dunk. We also don't have mustard here in NZ. Oh, okay, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. I'm like, where is Jack? I can't see his dot on the minimap. It's because my arrow is on top of him. Good. Oh, there's a Garadon. I should probably go and do that. I'm sure Garadon probably has something I need. Actually, let me go mouse over Garadon and see. And then if I don't, I'll go back. <laughs> Sorry, Garudion. I always say it wrong. There's, a, there's an E in there that I always miss. Oh, I do. Apparently, I still need the lattice and the... Oh, there's a cloak too. All right, yeah. Let's do this. Why not? Um, e.g. bash brown sweet and sour, replacement rich can source also sweet and sour max sauce, live a life of chaos, beautiful. Had a wonderful mountain farm today, got two of the Arathi Highlands mounts and one Dark Shaw mount, congrats handlebar, well done! Oh, that must be such a good feeling, hey. It's nice when it's nice when you cross off those mounts that are only up at certain times because you can forget it. You don't have to check whether they're up anymore. Like it's it's a good feeling. There's still a bunch that I need from. Uh, I've got everything from Uldoom, I believe, but I still need a bunch from Vale. But they're only up every every so often, and it's like ugh. And I don't always have time to AFK camp. Uh, like, I'm often going and doing other stuff, or I need to do something that, you know, whatever. So yeah, it's, um... Hey! I got the cloak! Fantastic! I made a good decision, guys. About time! About time I make a good decision. <laughs> Thank you for helping too, Jack. Let us continue. Ooh. Shiny chest. I already have the mount from those, so it's okay. Oh, excuse me. It's very rude of you. Um, ah! 
dancing cups! Thank you so much for the resub five months. Amazing. Thank you for your ongoing support. I really appreciate it. And yes, you got your badge back. Got your badge back. Awesome work. Um, all right. Uh, you do live dangerously. I'm genuinely shook. Brilliant. Shooketh. Uh, I think fear is complicating it too much. Sweet and sour for life. Nah. I'm I'm a foodie. What can I say? I like complicated stuff. I, I like complicated food is often amazing. However, simple AF food is also sometimes amazing. It takes more skill to make simple food amazing, I think. Like if you combine, I mean, oh, it's easier to mess up complicated food if you add like too many different elements or whatever, but like, I don't know. I just, yeah. I like food, all right? I like food. Uh, sweet and sour or mac sauce on my nugs. Sweet and sour is the only correct answer. Genuinely will slurp the top of mustard. I mean, I will, I will clean out all of the sauces. All of the, it doesn't matter what it is. It will be going into the bin literally licked clean. Which is really awkward when you're eating it in the restaurant, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> um, uh, we had a promotion called Tastes of America. It was during, it was eating it for months as people didn't like it much. Fair, fair enough. Um, simple bag, invasion mounts are super annoying to farm. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I mean, I've got so many characters who have the accessibility for them now. They're just, their spawn times take too long. And I, I'm, I'm too busy. Like, I know this is I, this is something I say a lot that I don't have time to do pretty much anything, and unfortunately, it's kind of the case. I, I'm honestly exceptionally time poor, uh, so as much as I would love to spend a whole last day sitting here watching Netflix and, and AFK camping mounts, I, I can't. I, I cannot. I will fall so far behind on all of the stuff I have to do. It's just it's horrible. And terrible but that's how it goes when you run your own business so um and for those of you who are wondering the own my own business that i'm talking about is is stream um i i run it as a business and it provides a paycheck yes it might be inconsistent and, and all that kind of stuff but it's it's still a paycheck uh and i i take it hella seriously like growth and all that kind of stuff because i want to make this my full-time job and the only way i can do that is to take it seriously so I am. Uh, I made a good decision, runs back to PC. What? I know, meaty. I know, right? Um, I, I, when I saw that Garudion was up, I was like, oh, actually, I need a thing from Garudion. Let's go do that. And I did. And the, the transmog dropped. The back, the, the cloak dropped. So I have that transmog now. I made a good decision to abandon my domin uh, dominance key. Yeah, dominance key farm to, to go kill a rare. And it paid off. I still don't have the dominance key though, so that's uh, a feeling. Where are those keys? There they are. Fragments, I should say. Uh... Uh, Max sauce is the only source for nugs during the revelry of chaos. The are you sure question when I ask for it with my nugs meal never gets old. That's hilarious. Isn't Big Max sauce literally just Thousand Island? Not that that's a bad thing, and at all. Like, just because something has a name doesn't make it less delicious. Um, there's an island and mayo. Gotcha. There you go. So it makes it a bit thicker than the dressing, than, than Thousand Island dressing. And it turns into more of a sauce. Okay, that makes sense. Um, first add in this channel. Interesting, V. Interesting. Uh, and pickles. In the sauce. In the US, they call Thousand Island Russian dressing. Okay. There's also pickles. Interesting. I would imagine they'd probably just be pickle juice that they add to it or something. This is too complicated. Or like pickle flavoring. 
because like you know like they're adding an actual legitimate ingredient to something <laughs> <It's> <laughs> i know it's not as bad as it used to be and all that kind of stuff but when you get a sauce that comes in like a three liter bag that you cut the tip off and add to like squeezy bottles like yeah it's um the chances of you finding actual ingredients in there that aren't just like chemicals like extract of blah 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 it's it's pretty slim but that's okay look it's fine the reasons we just don't have Maccas three times a day. Like, <laughs> uh, chopped up pickles and Big Mac sauce. Really? God, it's been a while then, I guess, since I've had a Big Mac. Um, worst fun fact is McDonald's will only put one pickle per patty on a burger. That makes sense. Do the provokers drop it? I don't think so. The um, handy notes when you hover over the thing only says more sworn inquisitors and Nathrazim arcanists in the area. Doesn't say anything about provokers. So I believe not. But the big flappy dick over there will drop he he's able to drop him. Not the not the bird ones, like the, the demon flappies, these ones. Except they're, you know, surrounded by everything else. But that's fine. Um it's like sandwich pickles. Just ask for extra pickles, usually no cost for it. I heard a Thousand Island being called Russian dressing before. No, neither have I. Surely you often end up with a bunch in a cheeseburger. I thought, hmm, wonder why that is. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, no, I've always just heard it called Thousand Island. And originally I thought it was just ketchup mixed with mayonnaise, but it's not, obviously. <laughs> How did I pull all of- what? No, they really- I must have. Jesus Christ. Sorry about that. Piss off, you flying rats. That's fancy sauce. <laughs> That's funny. Oh dear. Add Worcestershire sauce capture. May I get a pseudo Thousand Island dressing? Yeah, that makes sense. I love Worcestershire sauce. It's so good. It's so tasty. Uh, it all the food blogs based in US I follow, they call for Russian dressing. People in Google said it was the same with Thousand Island. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Weird. Seems like all the more swan drop it. Oh, really? So Handy Notes is wrong. Okay, good. Noted. I've been exercising and my neck hurts because clearly my Something is bad. Form that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. The man of Vegas uses so cook apricot chicken, of course. Delicious. It was to tomato paste for pizzas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look, Worcestershire in general is just really, really good. It distinguishes between two spread size and their flavor profiles. Russian dressing features horseradish. And chili pepper make it spicy. Sweet pickle relish is a key ingredient in Thousand Island dressing, which makes it sweet. There you go. So it's not Thousand Island with pickles, it's that Thousand Island has pickles already. If you drink this to share by the bottle full, look. Look. I, I haven't before, but maybe I should. Salty kiss, yeah? <laughs> oh, Lord. Did you just say the thing I spent quality time downloading for a friend, of course, is wrong? I have no idea. Depends on what you didn't download or downloaded for a friend. Um, kissing the ocean. Oh dear. Can these stop dropping Sandworn key fragments and just drop, like, a whole last dominance key? That'd be real nice. Uh, you just said hand are wrong. Ah! Oh, it that's only one thing that it said. 
still has the thing in the correct location. It just notes that these two mobs can drop it, whereas in actual fact, those two mobs do drop it, but so do a whole lot of other ones, apparently. So yeah, it's it's not actually like... It just means I can kill more stuff. I have more of a chance of it dropping than I thought, which is good. We like that. We like that. Um, I would not be eating an oyster texture. Totally grots me out. My husband loves them. Cook them. Completely changes the texture. And uh, oysters, Kilpatrick, is literally oysters drowned in Worcestershire and bacon and baked. They're so good. So fucking good. If you overcook them, they turn into rubber, but it's uh, like most seafood though, so. Um, okay, if you, yeah, no. Yeah, Handy Notes is very rarely wrong. Usually it's an error of omission rather than a, an actually being wrong thing. It's actually super nice. Takes some getting used to for sure. Oso Kilpatrick, I think, is a good way to prep. Yeah. I... I acquired the taste for oysters um, back when I was living in Sydney uh, and was attending a lot of functions that, you know, were carrying around oysters on, on trays and stuff. Um, th they taste good. I can't do the texture. The texture is just wrong. But yeah, they, they take like fresh oysters taste lovely, especially when you like spritz them with a bit of vinegar or a bit of lemon juice, stuff like that. Oh god, they're delightful. They're really, really tasty. Uh, but the, the texture is enough to make me not want to have them. You know, the seafood favorite is octopus or squid. I just love the chewy. Fair. Fair enough. Takoyaki. Yep. They are also very delicious. Nice good oil efficiency food. I can leave. Mussels are dope. Oh, I wonder. I've probably had mussels, but I just don't remember. Feels like something I'd do. <laughs> oh, he's baby octopus, no near me. Any more makes it so sad. Oh no. What's that? Isn't calamari meant to be squid? Because it's like the squid tubey ring thing. Or am I wrong? Am I thinking... Is it just calamari rings? The scallops kind of too much seafood. Are they one of my gout triggers? Uh, scallops are amazing. There's a um, uh, particular sushi. Uh, my At my, at my go-to sushi place. They do a plate. And it's called Volcano. Um, and it actually looks like a little mini volcano. It's cute. Like, cute AF. Uh, but it basically, um, you have like a little lump of rice in the middle and then it they wrap it in, like sideways, they wrap it in a piece of salmon and then like nestle a scallop in the top and then they flame all of that and then they drown it in spicy sauce and teriyaki sauce. And I have to almost dislocate my jaw to put it in my mouth in one go. <laughs> but it is so good. And because they drown it in sauce, if I get that as my first plate, I have a plate of leftover sauce to dunk all my other bits of sushi into. It makes me very happy. Very happy. Um, This good mental. Yeah, I thought so. That's all right. Um, squid, octopus, whatever. Is it too mixed up? Baby tentacle creature. Octopuses, because the O are round on top. And squid are long and pointy. That's how I used to remember when I was... Back before I knew, when I had to remind myself, that was how I... I mean, I, I think they've got different numbers of tentacles and stuff as well, but who the hell can count shit, especially when it's dead and you're cooking it? Um, it's easier to, like, shape, like, general shape of creature is a, an easier thing to... Yep. Yeah. You can clip that seeker. You have the potential. Like, anyone can clip. Oh my god. But yes. That's that's how I used to remember is O is for octopus because its body is round. Like an O. <laughs> I'm so sorry if that came across as, like, super condescending. I genuinely am trying to help. 
Um, I don't know how to do the things. We know this. I'm a technocrit. And mouse over the stream, and there's a little like a clack. You know the the movie clack buttons. One of those. And then you got to like adjust the length to like when you want it to start and finish and all that kind of stuff. Octas and eight also. Yeah, I mean, I get that, but it, like I said, um, counting legs and stuff is like, wait, what type of creature is this? One, two, three, but no, no, <laughs> too much. Like, need to be able to identify at a glance. I can't tell the difference between different types of octopi or, or squid or anything like that, but I, I can tell from body shape whether it's an octopus or a squid. And that's what's important. Okay, I'm going clack. Good. The creature is delicious. Yes. The creatures, they are delightful. <clears throat> I was honestly expecting that pack to drop my key because I just switched screens to Thingamajig. <laughs> but it didn't. Sad. I have like four sand one chest keys in my bags now and I've already used one today and no dominance. Are they- uh, did they actually up the drop rate? Or is it still like a 0.2% drop rate or something redonkulous? Uh, octopuses, one of the correct plural forms, are also super intelligent. Sorry, octopi is just more fun to say. It just, it just genuinely is. But yes, they are very intelligent, which is so cool. Like, we too often think that any other type of creature is below us as humans, but like, honestly, some of them are far more intelligent than we are, because we've got all this, you know, other crap going on. We're ruled by emotions. Uh, Fade, Seeker, and Ali, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Uh, but I do know it's by, like, the scientific definition of intelligence, not the, um, like, IQ kind of, yeah. I, I get it. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. We did a thing. Well done, Seeker! Go you. Not intelligent enough to avoid getting in my belly. Well, look. I can't argue with that. All right, we're this way. An octopus would not have asked how to claim that. Uh, bro, if crows and octopi had thumbs, would be fucked. Yeah, look, basically. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I really hope, like, my, my goal right now is to get the dominance key to drop before I have to go to raid. That would be really nice. Even if it's the only thing I get done, that's okay. It would just be really nice to be able to get that ticked off today. It's in, as you said, octopi. Excuse me, my life. Ah, oh, I'm supposed to tell anyone. It's not octopuses. Right. Understood. Okay. I honestly, I honestly didn't think octopi was correct. I just like to say it. Um, but there you go. I've I've learned a new thing. That's okay, I'll take it. It makes mounts. It's not a key, but I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> octopuses don't need thumbs. No, they don't. They don't. But they do need to be in water for the most part, do they not? But that I think they can survive out of water for a little while, but they kinda have to. Like, they, they can't take over a skyscraper because it would they'd die before they reach the top kind of thing. Um, 
Hey, Tilly. Look, Xerath Mortis is a gorgeous zone, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Agreed wholeheartedly. Uh, welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, this, of course, is just the desert half. There is the greenery half as well. They're equally beautiful, I think. Just full of things that hit hard, so that's the thing. Uh, I clearly haven't watched the documentary Finding Dory. <laughs> Oh dear. <gasps> it's look! Thank you, Jack. Sorry for the yells. I got happy. Yeah! That's how I feel too. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, let's go open this fucking thing and then we'll go get some some sandy sandy chests. Ah, oh, thank God for that. Bum, ba, da, ba. Um, all right, so I now have my seven what's it? So the sand, sand everywhere thing is in the, uh, oh, hang on. that's not what I want. It's a uh, sand piles, sand piles in hand in the hidden dormant alcove chamber. Each pile, each pile requires a spatial opener. I've got my seven. Which can be found in other treasures and zoned. Uh, complete chapter six of the Xerath Mortis campaign. Done. Find the dormant alcove arrangement in the resonant peaks. Arrangement in the resonant peaks. Is this not what it is? Is this no? It's the gravid repose. Well, I have to use the teleporter in there apparently, but. Find the dormant alcove arrangement in the resonant peaks. What is the... Hello! Need to find the target for... Oh, what target? Good morning, hello fight. Oh, crap. That's <laughs> what happens when I don't concentrate. I pull shit. I pull shit. The target first. What is the target? Like the thing is you had to click before you could use a teleporter. Oh, yeah, I've done all those. Is it? Warm in here? Is it? Yeah. Cold. I mean, I guess it's warmer out than outside. Yes, much warmer. Oh, yeah, I'm so outside. sorry. Are you okay? <laughs> Maybe you should put a jumper cold? or something on if you want. I, I have this. I mean, I'm probably going to put it on in a second. Do you want to grab uh, the other. What's it? Jumper. Yeah, but it's more snuggly and fluffy. Yes, like but I... <laughs> okay. You've got okay. a good point. Have you checked your cache? <laughs> well, no, 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 no! Oh my god, it's cache day! Yeah, I'll yeah, do it before rain. I, I just I just got the dominance key! Yeah? yeah. You yeah. actually finally got Jack helped Baby. me! Thanks, I like Jack. Jack. Yeah, Jack is awesome. Good job, Jack. It's Jack, Jass, and Giama. <laughs> I added those quotes, by the way. Oh god. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a couple of hidden ones. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> 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 oh, you mean the ones downstairs in the, um, yeah, click that. Oh, I thought <laughs> I clicked this one. I guess I didn't. New location discovered. All right, there we go. So that's done. So I found, that was what the blue dot was for. Okay. Uh, use the locust shift inside the gravity repose to access the inner chamber. Use a different locus shift to access the dormant alcove. So okay, so inner keys. chamber. I do! Yes, do! Yeah, the dominance key was my last one. Yeah, That's why I wanted to get it. Yeah. yeah. You know me, I'm a collector. I collect all the shit. I don't have any cosmic energy. It's not gonna let me do anything. No, no, it's not. Go go farm up some energy. You need like 40 to get there. Interior. It says inner locus, but it's the interior locus. Alright. That's 60, fine. Jack says 60. 60, all right, I can get 60. You good with That's... curry again tonight? I am fantastic with curry again tonight. Cool. It was so tasty yesterday. We're having leftovers for dinner, guys. <gasps> and I told everyone about Final Fantasy. You did? Yeah. How did everybody respond? They were very excited. Weren't you guys? You were very excited. I told them they had to tune in, otherwise I wouldn't get any future sponsorships for them. <laughs> That's how it works. That's exactly how that works. Uh, it's it's unfortunate and silly, but I mean, I mean it's not silly, but it, it's, how, it's how it works. Alright, I'm gonna go do some stuff. Okay, have fun! Bye! Bye! That's Jas, by the way, for anyone who's new here. 
He is the head moderator, he's my best friend, and he's also my housemate. He's our high-vis hero, because he works and he has to wear the high-vis at work and he comes home and yep. Yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of inside jokes here. We have a lot of inside jokes, but we're always very happy to explain them. I'm going to... How did I do this? What have I done? <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. Thank you, Jack, for saving my ass again. <laughs> 60 or 30, I forget. I think the first jump is 30 and then the next jump might be 30 as well. So I'll try, I'll grab the 60 and see how we go. Boop, 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 boop. Catching all the orbs, getting all the orbs. Um, you can fly to the entrance. Ah, oh, okay. So I don't need to teleport? Is the dormant alcove, oh, you know what? I can fly up to the interior locker. No, the interior one's inside, isn't it? Wait. One minute and there's a dog pile of moss. I know, look, I, oopsie. Yeah, I did an oopsie. 60, okay, how long did it take for the key? Uh, not too long. Not too long. Um, we weren't being super effective or efficient about it, but it was maybe, oh wow, uh, I'm gonna grab these. <laughs> I, I want to say it was somewhere close to an hour, but I'm also, like, there was times we stopped for battles and I stopped to just chat to people or to look things up or, like, I wasn't super efficient about it. So, um, you you may have better luck than I do. Um, but apparently, because it used to be terrible, apparently the drop rate has been greatly increased. I got it on my druid after, like, not even five minutes of doing a world quest in the area. So there's that. Uh, so we go interior locus... And then use a different locus shift to access the dormant alcove. Uh, no, none of these are okay. This one, yes, dormant alcove. Amazing! Ooh, shiny room with purple piles. A ticking sand pile. Check. Ooh. Shiny. Shifting sand pile. Check. Sparkling sand pile. Ooh. Probably crap, but it's it looks pretty and it upgraded. <laughs> um misshapen sand pile. Glinting sand pile. Lumpy sand pile. And humming sand pile. There we go. Ta da! Apparently, there's a torn ethereal drape in here as well. Oh, no, Fogor alcove. There are extras. Okay, that's fine. Um, so I got an achievement! Yay! I like achievements. They make me happy. Oh, now it's the spears again. I hate this. Okay, good. Whew, everything's fine. <laughs> Trim is so good for ults. Yep. Yeah. But you have to get all the keys first, though. Like, that's the other thing. to say the same thing rings might actually be an upgrade for you to kek no they're all 246 i've got 252 rings double 252s everything i got was 246 but i think that that depends on your cipher thing as well you know the the what's it and that how, how is that let's try that again how it has the upgrade levels depending on how much you've spent on ciphers pretty sure that's that thing. Why is Pulp Covered Relic still showing, but I've got it as completed? That's odd. It shouldn't be. I've got handy notes set to disappear things when I don't need anything from them. 
Ishigi won't get from World Quest 2. Farm a ton of ciphers. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I have to do food shopping. Enjoy, Seeker. Food shopping is like, food is delicious. So food shopping is good. No effect on those piles. Ah, oh, okay. You really can drop other things. Oh dear. Did it just disappear or I'm confused? Oh no, it's over there. <clears throat> so I'm going to go down to Faith Repose because uh, the next achievement I have is Traversing the Spheres which um, is the one I was working on. I need the bloody anima charged yoke. It's the last thing I need and I am just over it. I'm beyond over it. Hello, Sam. Gonna peek a bit. Hello is more appropriate. Hello, choose Renny. Okay, I can do that. Uh, you may need to remind me of a result because I know that they disappear when you go flying and stuff. So I might have to resummon every so often, but we'll see how we go. Uh, yeah, look, immediately. Good lord. <clears throat> what other things are being like clock cipher, etc. Yeah, it's still a treasure. Oh, absolutely, it is. For sure. For sure. It's also weekly progress, yeah. Uh, Alright. <laughs> Is there anything I actually want? That'll be helpful. Oh, okay. I'm at five of six. Okay. And then I need what do you seek? It's a forge tap, yeah. yeah. Uh oh, actually? Yes, yep, yeah, ephemera strands. Ephemera strands make an ephemera orb, which can potentially drop an anima charged yoke, which is what I need. And I've made how many of the bloody things and still no joy. No joy. <clears throat> how many threads are I need? 15 to get the orb, to make the orb. Every time. So this, this, uh... I can never remember which one's actually... Ah, uh, she's just covered in bees! Yep. Yep. Unfortunately, you need the oak. I do. There's one ephemera strands. God damn, this is going to take forever. I just read the ciphers once you have the quest stuff and the Mount Pet stuff. The rest is mostly just meh, yeah. Well, there's an achievement for unlocking all that stuff in the forge. So that's why I kind of am unlocking everything. I just was like, hmm, do I need to get anything particular first? But I think I've got everything particular already. Oh my God, where are the, like, where are the threads?
Not getting any threads at the moment. I'm on eight. Nine. Ten. It's more like it. Remember what I was doing last time is sticking to one side of the path and then wrapping back while on the other side. So maybe that'll help this time. What do the abandoned orbs actually do? Native creatures of Probis Fauna have fallen into madness, but their little ones may still be saved. <laughs> Guessing you need to do all of those. Now I've, that's two that I've done, I think. Does it just make them pretty? Have a attracting beauty buff now, so that's a thing. Oops. Butterflies! Yeah. Yeah. What? Haven't I already done these? Okay. <clears throat> I wonder if there's a better, more efficient place to do this whole farming thing. Eleven. Twelve. Hello Dunno, I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you? How are you today? Doing good too? Oh, so good to hear. Unstable adjutant. Oh, you just sell those ones. Yeah, that's the selly ones. Cool. Oh, it's a hurricane. No, oh no, it's just it's a hurricane under the Under the thing. That's fine. Under the sea. Under the sea. Still got 14 FM restraints. Do these ones do the thing? Do! Are you a major all the things collector? Um, a lot of my play is guided by all the things, yeah. Um, like I plan out what I'm gonna do on certain days based on like completion percentage and stuff like that. But I'm not like a big name person. So it, it depends on what your definition of major is, I think. <laughs> that 
that's not what I wanted. God damn it. No anima yoke for fear. How many has it been? I, th I could have sworn I was tracking it in... This talisman. Toys and items? Oh, it's not in there. Yeah, I don't know how many I've done then. But it's too many. Too darn high. Uh, you're pretty hard on specific things. Like, my answer had my tenacity. Thank you, Rose. Yeah, I, I do go pretty hard on certain categories. Uh, but yeah, I'm not doing, like, I'm not doing completionist mode. Like, I'm in unique mode instead. Um, and I don't work on, like, all the categories. And I do other stuff as well outside of ATT, but not super duper often. So yeah, it, it kind of, I guess it depends on what your definition of major is, but I do enjoy it. I like it a lot. What's your insane account mode percentage on ATT? I don't do insane mode, so I can't tell you that. It's also going to be quite low because I don't, so. <laughs> But yeah, if that's what you consider to be major, then no, absolutely not. But that's okay. Everyone plays a little bit differently. And that's fine, as long as we're all having fun, right? Major collector? Yep. A bit that way, ain't it, Zam? You're having fun, you aren't wasting your time. Correct. But I'm not sure that anyone was talking about wasting time though, so that's okay. <sighs> I gotta find something that brings joy. Makes you happy. Regardless of what other people might think. As long as you're not hurting anybody, of course. That's a, that's a big no-no. We very much like some. Oh, for God's sake. Ah, oh, Deep was just curious on oh, your ATM, ATT playstyle. Yep, well, that's it. That's my playstyle. Um, it is not the be all and end all. There's a lot more to the game than just collecting uh, for me. Um, but I do also like to collect. So, yeah, that's how I kind of approach it. I also don't have time to play and collect outside of my stream times because uh, I have I spend a lot of time running a business and working a day job and all that kind of stuff so uh, yeah my numbers aren't exactly where I would like them to be uh, because you know if it's a if it's a task that I could potentially do every day I don't have the time to do it um, I, I have to just make do with doing it as often as I can uh, which usually ends up being once a week uh, so but that's okay it is what it is everyone's Everyone's got different stuff to do. Um, yeah, I just uh, do what I can. Hope for the best. And yell at RNGs Jesus when I don't get drops because that's the way. <laughs> Wednesday, Thursday. It is. It is Wednesday. If it was Thursday, I wouldn't be streaming. Clear. Hey, it was a big announcement. Sponsor Final Fantasy stream. It was. It was. Um, still don't have my contract or the brief. I mean, it could be in my emails, but I have my phone's over there, so I can't see notifications for emails and stuff at the moment. But, um, uh, yeah. Once I get all that, it'll be, and, and sign it and send it back, obviously, then it'll all be locked in. But the intention currently is to do that on Monday. But we'll just have to see. Um, you nope, know, stuff happens, and sometimes you got to push stuff back because you know people don't uh, send stuff when they need to, or uh, there's hiccups with things, and things need to be adjusted or corrected, or like there's just so many possible things that could go wrong. But the intent is for it to happen on Monday. But of course, I'll keep you in the loop. Anything changes it means business always. Hey, Andy, welcome back. 
Line wheel calling. So there you go. Fantastic. Around five ephemera strands. I need to get to 15, make an orb, crack it open, and pray for a yoke. Uh, yes, it is reset day here in Europe. I hope Iron Jesus has the earplugs in for the stream of curses. I am almost certain to be sending their way as invisible remains beyond my reach. You'll get it eventually, Draco. Absolutely you will. Uh, I got mine. And if I can get it, anyone can get it. Promise you that much. It'll be that one week that you're like, nah, bugger it, I'm not going to do it. That'll be the week it was on the loot table. So you've got to just keep consistent with it and eventually it'll drop. How many runs are you doing every week? I goes, yeah, really well, me, really well. How about yourself? I hope you're doing well. Uh, what are you after? Uh, Draco is after Invincible, the mount it's often referred to as Invisible because the spellings are quite similar and because people swear it doesn't exist, hence being invisible because of the low drop rate. Obviously, it shares a drop rate with a lot of other things as well, but this one's the easy, most easily, uh, most, the easiest to pun with. There we go. Sentences. Sad times, all the rest of the player allied. Rest of Shaman Hall to unlock Xandalari Trolls! Yas! Well, good news is that allied races are pretty easy to unlock these days. You do still have to level them up. But then you can do a race change if you would prefer. You don't have to then level up a fresh tune as your allied race. Unless, of course, you want the uh, the transmog. In which case, have fun. I leveled all mine up and I had a lot of fun doing it. A lot, a lot of fun. But to each their own, of course. No judgment if you want to uh, pay for a race change instead. Apparently, my strategy to get rest off is run it with fear. What did you get? What did you get, Jack? I'm pretty sure it's the longest uh, that amount has evaded me. I'm on around 8 10 runs a week at the moment. It's varied over time. I started at one run per Dream Wrath itself. Wow. Far out. All right. Yeah, I've got um, I've got 50 tunes that I can run things on now, but often the amount of time it takes to try for one run is the restrictive factor. Like it takes 12 hours to do, on average, it takes 12 average 12 hours to do 50 tunes on Shah. Uh, and that's that's a long time. And I can't I can't afford to do that every week. Uh, I I just don't have the time. Um. So, yeah, but it's certainly interesting. It feels good when you rack the numbers up real quick, too. Is that the time walking out? Ah, oh, right, yep. Yes, definitely. Yep. We had two of them. We did one, one day, we did uh, the most recent time, wasn't it? It was on the 6th of May. We did time walking, BC time walking. And, um,. We had two Reigns in the Infinite Time Reaver drop for people in groups that I was in. Like, holy cow. Oh, just this pirate dragon. Bloodling to ever not an alpha holy cow. I can sleep any time I want. This is at the very least give you one free race change token to use on allied races. But why? You unlock them so you can use them. That's like... They're under no obligation to do that. You can, like, especially now that they've done the, the leveling changes as well, it is so quick to get a tune up to 50. And then it's pretty, like, with, uh, what's it? With, um, Fair Threads of Fate, it's, uh, quite easy to get a tune from 50 to 60 as well. It's, yeah, it's not necessary, in my opinion. Maybe they will one day in the future, but like, if they if they introduce new allied races or something like that. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's easy enough to to level them or whatever. Whatever you decide to do. Uh, Mer, Zam, Adam, Meaty, Gooses, congratulations to all of you on your bonusship. Well done. Well done. Uh, if one takes experience to do a run, my numbers vary and have real life that demands my time as well. Rude, I know the feeling. 
I know the feeling. I have my daily task list and I'm, I'm lucky to get a few minutes to myself each day. Um, but that's okay. I chose this life. This is, you know, I don't have to stream. I don't have to build it like a business. I don't have to do social media and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but if I want to live off it, then I do. So that's kind of, yeah, how it works for me. Oh, uh, two Phoenix at one Sunday. Yep. No idea how bad it was before. Brand new to our So, oh yeah, no, it was, uh, it took a lot longer. Um, and it was also a bit of a mess. Like, uh, so nowadays, obviously, you know that you, you, you can talk to Chromie. Uh, once you've leveled one character through BFA, you can talk to Chromie and then you can choose any of the prior expansions to level through, right? Um, back before that change was a thing, so as of Shadowlands pre-patch, before Shadowlands pre-patch, you'd make a character and you'd have to level to 60 in vanilla content. So like your starting area and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but of course you'd only get through like one or two round, one or two zones maybe, uh, especially if you had, uh, what's it? Uh, heirlooms. Uh, and then you'd start Burning Crusade and you do half a zone and you hit 70. So then you go to Wrath of the Lich King and you do a zone and you'd hit 80. So then you'd do, you do, hey, awesome. Um, and then you'd, you'd go do Wrath, but you'd only get, uh, sorry, um, yeah, once you got to 80, then you go to the next season, but you'd never get to actually play through the entire storyline of any of the expansions because if you tried to continue through the storyline, you'd be getting so little experience that it wouldn't be worth it. So your best chance was to cut that storyline off at its ankles and go to the next one, regardless of where you were at sort of thing, um, which didn't feel very good. And it didn't really give you that kind of like where to go. Like you'd have to, you'd hit your big thing and you'd get the thing. And then you'd be like, wait, hang on a second. All of a sudden I'm really, I'm leveling really, really slowly now. This sucks and is boring. What am I supposed to do? You go back to Orgrimmar and hey, there'd be something on the hero core board. Um, like it didn't really give you that kind of direction very well. Uh, so yeah, now you play through the entirety of a, well, almost the entirety of one storyline. Just one, you pick one and you play through it and, and then you hit 50 and then you can go and do your stuff. So it's a hell of a lot better, a hell of a lot better. Uh, it just, yeah, flows really nicely and stuff. Um. I did like 30 times. Fear raids, what is this madness? Yeah, of course I raid. I just haven't done it for a while because I've been like, no, I want to do all this collectible stuff. And I'm like, nah, I, I, I want to raid. I want to, I want to get my OTC and I want to help with it. Not just kind of come in, swoop in, grab the achieve and... GTFO again, you know, I want to actually do the thing. Plus, it'd be nice to get some gear and stuff for uh, Mythic Pluses so I can get my mounts. You are not ah! prepared! Mota, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. How was your stream? Hope it went well. Um, uh, pretty sure we're in touch like 30 times. Yup. Uh, back then the XP was capped per zone. No, uh, it wasn't capped per zone. It was that it gave you, say, 1,000 XP. But if you were between, like, if you were between 60 and 70, 1,000 was decent. But then as soon as you were between 70 and 80, 1,000 was nothing. Because when you look at how much XP is required for levels, it's like, it was 1 to 60 and then it'd jump for 60 to 70, and then jump for 70 to 80, and then jump for, do you know what I mean? It like, it, it just kind of, every time you shifted to a new expansion, you needed a vastly larger amount of experience to actually make levels in that expansion. Um, that was the, yeah. Because mm, you're mobs fixed levels, yeah. Yeah, nothing scaled. Uh, you don't get good amounts of XP for doing content above or below your level, yeah. Yep. Like dungeon leveling more, it was more varied. Now it's like pick one, do that to 60, or I can change manually. Love a shuffle feature to have all dungeons in a big ra in a random pool. I. 
I don't know, may maybe. I just, I feel like if you had, because there are so many dungeons in the game, I reckon it'd do some kind of damage to the, um, like, to the queue timers and stuff. I just, if you ever tried to queue for a particular dungeon, you'd be screwed. Because all these other people, like, it, yeah, I don't know. I, if they could make it work, then maybe. But I, I don't, uh, I don't know how they'd make it work. So they level all my characters to be a fan. Sure, kind of did the zones. I went to other zones. By the level shown on the map, if I was ever in doubt, yeah, yeah. But as like as a brand spanking new player, you might not even notice that there's that kind of stuff on the map. Um, yeah, it was all a little bit interesting. I do love the leveling system now. Like it, it works really well in my opinion. I use my shadowlands boost on my rogue since I did. I keep getting majorly slapped up. Things are scaled so hard. What do you recommend for gearing up at fifty? Leveling to shadow, leveling to 60 is what I would recommend, genuinely. Uh, because like questing gear or, or what stuff that you get along the way gets you massive amounts of gear uh, on your way to 60. And then once you get to 60, there are some there are some catch up mechanics there, but you, catch ups don't work unless you're max level. They just don't exist. Um, it is indeed a raid, NG. Hello, welcome on in. Thank you for the caster command, Shiva. Well, thank you. Brilliant. I'm so glad to hear it. Welcome on in, Mooningham. Hope you're having a fantastic day as well. Thank you for the emotes. So, cube level 59 to 60 is around 320k XP. Yeah, it's it's a pretty big thing, but you also get a crap load of experience from level appropriate quests and stuff. Like, if you tried to level, if you tried to get from 59 to 60 using, like, vanilla quests, it gonna take a while. But if you're doing it with Shadowlands quests, it's fine. What I would love is Torghast leveling. Not with the old beta endless levels thing. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool. So I'm just all dungeons. That's what I'm saying, Rose, but then people have the ability to queue for specific dungeons as well. So if they picked a specific dungeon, it might break the queue and it might, like, I, I don't know. It just... Hmm... And you'd have, you'd have a handful of hated dungeons from across all the expansions and the moment that a group got placed in there you'd have four out of five people leave or something and it just, I don't know. I, I'm not sure it's, I mean you already get that with such small pools like time walking. Back when Wrath time walking had Pit of Sauron, if you zoned in, immediately most of the group would just leave. You know, bugger the, the, um, uh, trader, not the trader thing, the, um, uh, you know, the thing for leaving. They, they didn't they didn't care. They just didn't want to do Pit of Zaron. So the same thing had happened with leveling queues. And leveling queues are already so small. Like, there aren't that many people who do them like that. It's just, yeah, I don't know. If, if they could make it work smoothly and you wouldn't be waiting 45 minutes or, or an hour or more for a queue, then sure. But I just don't see them being able to do that, personally. I understood what you meant, Rose. I was talking about other people who are tr who are in the queue with you, but who are trying to do it differently, like already happens. Um. But I want it. I'm gonna make a group, then roll the dice, and what we get. Yeah. I don't know. I, I still just. I still think you'd end up with too many people leaving. And then other people getting shitty because how do you not know this dungeon? When, you know, it's however many decades old, and yeah, I, um. There might also be some technical limitations around having 70 something dungeons in one queue thing. Like, I just, I don't know. I, I personally don't like that, that idea. I don't think I'd use the queue if it was like that. Um, should level via twisting corridors. Just do Shadowlands main quest line then. Yes, yep. If it's your first character, you'll need to do the main story, but you can switch to Threads of Fate if you wanted to not, if it's more than, if it's not your first character, but yeah. Um, yeah. The best. Brilliant. 
You queue and it doesn't pop in five minutes. Blizzard offers you to expand the queue to any dungeon from any expansion. Do they really? There you go. I didn't know that. I don't dungeon level. So I guess maybe that's why I haven't seen that. Interesting. Alright. It was a chest and now it's gone. But that's fine. Yep. This is so long for dungeon. Are you kidding? Five minutes is nothing. Be thankful that you play healers, Rose, because that is that is ridiculously quick for the vast majority of players. You have a privilege because you have chosen to play healers. That that's like you you get a benefit from choosing to do that. Um, but yeah, five minutes is not long. Good lord. In the UK. I'm not. I'm from Australia, Astro, but my father is British. And so when I was learning to speak, and because I was, Im you know, learning to speak, the first thing you do is imitate those around you. And because I was imitating an Englishman, I end up with a little bit of an English sort of thing in my accent. But no, I am from Australia. Born and raised. I've actually never been to England apart from traveling through Heathrow, so there's that too. <laughs> Give me, please, an animate charged yoke! Another 15 threads we go then. Good lord. I am having terrible luck with this. Actually, terrible luck. Oh, fuck her off. Um. Deserter debuff. That's the one. Thank you, deserter. I'm like, traitor seems too harsh. Surely that's not the word they use. You're right, yep. Sucks. Only really viable to level in Torghast with the daily slash weekly quest. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think I've seen people talk about it being daily, but I don't know. I've never tried, so. Um, I would make it see you fear solo queue for a specific one. Your group is now forming. Finder will fill out your group as if you queued for random. So make the groups, then pick the dungeon, but someone picked a specific one. They just become the first group member. I don't know. I'm not a programmer. Yeah, but I'm guessing that that's not how it I mean, maybe that's how it works with other, like, other dungeon queues already, but it's still, yeah, I, I wouldn't use that feature. Um, it would also make it exceptionally confusing for a new player. Do you want to queue for dungeons or all the dungeons? It's like, well, all the dungeons? And then all of a sudden, someone who's leveling through BFA gets dropped in a BC dungeon and go, what the hell is this? Where, where are these, what is this going on? Like... How does this fit in the story in the slightest? Yeah, no. Nah. It's it's not a it's not a good like unless again you go in with like a, a what's it like um you have to have leveled one character completely before you can access his queue or something like that. But yeah, I, I just I don't know. I don't like it. I wouldn't use it. I disagree. Respectfully disagree with you. Uh, and you're not going to be able to change my mind. Sorry. <laughs> Um, what's your favorite class and spec overall and why? Fire Mage. Uh, I've been playing a mage since I started playing, 15 and a bit years ago. Um, and I chose mage, honestly, because I was confused. Uh, when I first tried the game out, um, my brother had an account and he was there with me and he's like, yeah, do this and do this and da 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 da. And uh, I created a character, and it was a caster, and I'm so I'm sitting there with my own account. I bought my own account, like, literally days later, because I'm like, yep, I like this, let's go. And uh, and I was going through it, and I'm, like, uh, reading the, the things, and I'm like, I know it was a caster. I know it was a caster. And uh, I kept going, kept going, and I'm reading all the things, and it was mage, and I'm like, ooh, that sounds about, and yeah, fire, that sounds about right. You know, arcane, frost, and fire. I'm like, yeah, okay, I think that was what I was playing. Uh, and I got to about, this is back in BC, and I got to about level 20 or 30. And I went to my brother and I said, hey, when do I get my pet? He was like, what pet? And I'm like, my pet. Like, you know, there, there was a little, like, an imp thing. And he's like, oh my god, you were playing a warlock. So originally I played, like, very, very right off the bat, I played a warlock. Um, and then got confused and chose mage instead. But I didn't, and by that point I'm like, eh, oh well. 
And I've never, I've never had a different main. Not once. I like the utility of mages. Love my portals. Not sure how I'd go without my portals. Um, I like that I can create food, um, so I don't have to go and buy it from somewhere ridiculous. Uh, I'm, and I like fire. Like even in real life, like I candles and all that kind of stuff. I really like fire. Um, love the smell of it. I love the way that it moves, the way that it looks, uh, the heat and the light and all that kind of stuff. So it kind of, fire has always clicked with me. Back when I was raiding, like, I want to say hardcore, but that sounds so strange. Like I wasn't server first or, or racing or any of that kind of crap, but um, we, we were raiding four nights a week, four hours a night. Um, so that's a part-time job. Um, and I, so occasionally Arcane would be like the meta and so I'd play Arcane, but ever since I quit doing that kind of raiding, I've always just played Fire. Uh, occasionally I'll jump into like Frost if I need to kill Vesidus, or um, back before I got Arcane Explosion on my bars, if I was farming old content, I'd switch to Arcane so I could Arcane Explode everything to death, that kind of thing, but my main spec has always been Fire. Um, ever since I was able to stop raiding, which was at the end of Wars Adrenal. So from Legion onward, I've been fire. And I like it. It's fun. I also love how mobile I am. It's good. Um. Oh, Outliers. Love a few more teams most players. Just have to drop as an alcoholic. Which ones, of course. Not a main noob. Um, Brett mainly did, yes. Hi, uh, Frank keeps trying to get me to come back to WoW. I guess I'll be releasing Wrath of Lich King. Um, as uh, on Classic, yep. So they had WoW Classic, which was vanilla. Uh, and then they had TBCC, which was the Burning Crusade Classic. And now they're bringing out Wrath of Lich King Classic as well. Yeah. So it's not, they're not like... Yeah, not not with Shadowlands. They're not re-releasing it on retail, but it's uh, on the other the, the other branch, uh, the classic branch. Uh, wait, how long do DPS wait? Uh, up to hours, depending on the time of day and what region you're in, all that kind of stuff. It can be literally up to hours. And depending on what, if you're leveling, which expansion you're in, and all that kind of stuff as well. Minutes to an hour plus, 30 plus minutes is average, I'd say. I'll just play a bit HP. Um, sounds like the early days leak you. Enjoy your lurk, Kaz. Thank you for your noises. Yeah, a little bit, hey. A little bit. I just want my anima charged yoke. Like, why is it this difficult? I don't understand. I don't get it. Drop rate must be horrendous. Or I have really bad luck. Uh, DPS Dungeon Qs aren't too bad from my experience, maybe 20 minutes at most. Yeah, it again, it depends on which expansion you're in. If you're at max level queuing for dungeons, it's quicker because there are more people. There's a larger player base at max level. Uh, but if you're leveling, and if you're not leveling through BFA, if, you choose, if you've chosen anything else, um, WAD has fairly speedy queues because a lot of people choose WAD because they they know that it's like the fastest expansion to level through. Of course, that depends on personal skill and ability and all that kind of stuff anyway but um yeah but some of the less played expansions like bc or wrath because they're considered to be the slowest ones to level through uh you can have really long really long queue times as a dps especially if you're queuing solo if you're queuing with a tank or healer friend obviously that changes things um but if you're queuing solo yeah you're uh you're in for a wait it is indeed daily there you go hey my tracks it should be two max. What? Well, it's not, Rose. There are more DPS in the game than there are healers. Healers and tanks are in high demand. You know this. Like, logically, you know this. Ah, uh, the MMO's DPS queues are far worse. Literally fallen asleep in DPS queue in XAV. Um, a lot more DPS queuing than tanks. Healers, correct. A lot of people don't like the responsibility that comes along with being a tank or a healer. 
or they do play tank or healer but they're afraid of pugging it because they're afraid of being yelled and screamed at by randoms or kicked out of the group because they're not pulling fast enough or keeping impossible to keep alive people alive etc etc like dps queues are long deal with it like <laughs> why are we still having this conversation um F FXIV DPS queue is by far the worst, especially for the crow required trials for the story. Um, understood that to be honest. Okay, have a look, Rose. Have a look at how many healer specs there are in the game. Out of the 38 and 36 specs that there are, how many of them are healer, how many of them are tank, and how many of them are DPS. Then consider the things I said about toxicity in groups and the fear and the social anxiety stuff. And then consider the responsibility stuff and all that kind of thing as well. Just because you can doesn't mean everyone else can too. Like, seriously. Uh, I reckon all the things. Brilliant. Other games are worse does not mean DPS queues and WoW are good. Uh, Taken to absurd extremes. It's like saying to someone who's lost a finger, it's fine. Other people have lost whole limbs. Oh yeah, of course. Of course. But that doesn't mean we also can't talk about... Like, just because we're saying something is worse doesn't necessarily mean that they're saying that this is good either. I don't think I've read a single message yet that has said, Wow, queues are great! You should see other games' queues. I, that's not a comment I've seen yet. They're just stating facts from other places as well. Measuring GPS was either Marksmanship Hunter or that. The ability to make portals one. Yeah, portals are just amazing. They're so handy, so, so useful. Especially if you're any kind of collector that wants to bounce around the world with abandon. Excuse me, worse are just less bad. Uh, party wipes, usually it's the blame, it's the healer, the tank, or the DPS. Yep, exactly. This tank's pulling too much, or a healer sucks, so they can't keep the keepers alive. It's, yeah. People don't like queuing as that stuff because they don't want to deal with that shit, rightfully so. Thank you, Shay. Thank you. Yeah, definitely keep an eye out. I'll give you guys updates in the Discord. Now that I can talk about it, I'll absolutely drop some updates in the Discord about exactly when it's going to be happening and what we're going to be doing and all that kind of stuff as well. There is a chance that it'll be very much solo play. Like, I won't be able to incorporate a bunch of different people into it. Um... Especially if I'm supposed to be demonstrating the new player experience and not getting carried by viewers and friends, you know? Um, but yeah, no, it'll be, I'm sure it'll be a blast. Um, this is always the tank. Uh, no, I've seen plenty of times where the healer's been blamed, especially when the tank is the one that dies first because they've pulled three packs more than they should have. The healer will be blamed for not being able to keep them alive, even though the healer was doing their darndest. They just couldn't. Which demon hunter was less restricted with race options? Here it's because of law reasons. It is. Nice to have some more options. Yeah, no, it's entirely because of law reasons. Demon hunters have never been anything other than elves. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, do you ever play the classic? Um, I have before. I don't have any plans to in the future. Uh, but they do, there are occasional like community run events and things like that that I wouldn't have to do any pre-prep for that could be fun. This is like, I don't have time. Like it is a massively, a massive time investment. Classic is far more of a time sink than retail is, 100%. Um, less to do, but it takes longer to do everything. Um, so it's something that I, ha I don't have time for both and I play retail. <laughs> like that's what I love. Uh, so there are a couple of events that I've heard of happening around the place via Alenia um, that maybe I might possibly jump into one in the future at some point. But um, yeah, not no concrete plans at this point. So let's go again. Yeah, but you're not common, Rose. You, just because that's what you do doesn't mean that's what the vast majority of experiences are. You seem to be looking at this from a very, very narrow perspective. You need to understand this from the rest of the player base. The rest of the player base's perspective, not just your own. Uh, no links in chat. Can't link anything, including clips. Um, should I miss a surprise as well? Yes! Sponsored stream from Square Enix. We're playing Final Fantasy. 
protection to more generally rather than positively minded individuals. Correct. You need to think about this from everyone's perspective, not just yours. It's almost never the DPS that get the blame. Correct. Uh, hey, Scarlet. I suppose mostly case you pull it, you tank it. Uh, not always, though. That's the thing. Um, could just set it like after X period of time, we'll be promoted on GQ to speed things up. That's what they already do, Nee. That's why this whole conversation got started. Because the, the DPS queue, the, when we said after five minutes, it does that. Rose said five minutes is too long to wait. Bullshit. F straight up, bullshit. Five minutes is infinitesimal compared to what most DPS have to wait. Just because Rose only plays healers does not mean that that is the greater experience of a WoW player. since I don't enjoy playing DPS, and that's fine, but if you're going to try to suggest a change for the entire game, and then you discover that it's already a thing and then you complain about it, you need to understand that the game is not catered to you and your preferences. The game is catered to everybody who plays it, and to everybody who plays it, five minutes is a decent, like, that's that's not much time to wait at all. This is always the tank's fault, well, yeah. And if the tank gets the blame out first, then it's the healer's fault. The tank's able to get a word in first. I miss playing where my disprey is not quite a healer, not quite a DPS. Yeah, they did change it a fair bit, didn't they? It used to be like truly a hybrid, and then I think they kind of realized that there were very few situations in which people actually wanted to take a hybrid. And in most cases, you'd be better off taking a full healer or a full DPS. And, uh,. I don't think it quite plays like that anymore. I think they tried to hold on to a few. I don't play Disc Priest, but I, I think they tried to hold on to a few bits and pieces uh, from times past, but it's definitely not the hybrid that it used to be. It definitely leaned heavily, more heavily into the, the healer side of things. I play tank, I'm too dumb for DPS, not like healer because it's way too much responsibility. Yeah, but if you pull stuff you're not supposed to as a tank, oof. Can I? I'm gonna do that wrong. Yep, will other people feel that way when they're asked to play healer or tank? Sen! Thank you so much for the sub! Three months, my gosh! Not so sunny UK. Oh, it's been raining here as well, Sen. Welcome back. Hope you're having a lovely day. Maybe not. Perfect. Never give up. You may think it's balked, but I promise you, it's probably not. Ooh, 15. Ugh, apologies I missed it earlier to wake up. That's okay, Draco. Play as a tank in BFA, so many toxic players, but in the end, every time I queued up, got in straight away with no waiting, so no complaints here. Oh, it's a balancing act, ain't it, Angus? Welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Hello, I can hit the sack. Enjoy, rest well. We'll see you next time, Rota. Thanks again for the raid. So you're talking about fear and new stuffs. Huh? Oh, yeah, okay. I've uh, been tanking for 15 years in this game. Toxicity after a couple of bad pulls is mad. Tanking my Mythic Plus the other day. Mage was laying into me after two dodgy pulls. My god, like, get over it. Yelling at some- not you, the mage. The- like, get, get over it, seriously. Like, if you lay into- here's- here's a little bit of psychology for you. If you get frustrated and you yell at somebody and you take out your frustration on them, what do you think happens when that person gets yelled at? They get flustered and they make more fucking mistakes. 
which makes them yell at you even more, which means you make more mistakes and eventually they just explode the group. Like, get over yourself and just take a breath and help the person out. Good Lord, if you call them shit, if you yell at them, if you insult them, they will make more mistakes. Good God. Ugh, that's why my raid leading strategy was a hell of a lot different from anyone else that I'd ever seen. When, back when I did it, obviously, like, people have changed a lot now, but, like, yeah, it's, uh, people are idiots. <laughs> Legitimately. What is it going to accomplish? Um, this is what you said. I had like 100 characters, 50. Are there benefits to having multiple characters? Uh, for me, I have multiple characters because it means like if there's a lockout for something, like if you can attempt a mount once per week, if I have 50 characters, I can attempt it 50 times per week, up to. If I, if I run a raid, which is a weekly lockout, and I don't get the piece I'm looking for, I can jump to a different mage, another mage tune, and run it again and get another chance at it, that kind of thing. Um, it also means that I can have more like all the different professions because each character can only have two primary professions so i have a group of tunes who across all of them have every primary profession um the way that i do gold making is drizzling roses garrison gold making guide exclamation garrison in chat will get you the link uh, and the more tunes you have for that within function and garrison the more gold you make because it's completely passive you throw some stuff in and then you take gold out basically so um, like over time, you throw it in and you wait a week and you take it out and there's gold. Yeah. So kind of, um, so the more, like if I, I the, the more tunes I have, the more gold I can make all that kind of thing. So yeah, that's, um, the reason I got 50, which is the cap for the account. You can have a maximum of 50 characters per account. Um, uh, Goose's Fade, Dunno, Ponge and Silver. Congratulations to you all on your bonus shit. 50 tunes per account and eight accounts per Battle.net account. So one Battle.net account can have eight World of Warcraft accounts, and each of those WoW accounts can have 50 tunes. So you can have a maximum of 400 characters. I'm not going there. Um, I do not have the time. I have actually said on stream, uh, and it was clipped, that if I managed to make a full-time income from streaming and was able to quit my day job and could still afford a second WoW account, money-wise, not not gold wise actually if I could afford it in my budget then I would level a second account of full of tunes but that has not happened yet so no uh but yeah so that's uh, I, I originally got the 50 characters because there was a mount there's a there is a mount that's only available for two weeks out of the year and you have a daily a daily chance at it so if I had one tune I'd have 15 attempts if I had two tunes I'd have 30 with 50 tunes I had 750 attempts I still didn't get it, but I tried. And I did all 750 of them. So yeah, that's uh There are benefits, but sometimes it's not worth it to some people. I'm starting to get actually kind of pissy with this. This is like ridiculous. This is not the first time I've sat here and done this. Like I'm, I've spent hours gathering these goddamn threads. Ugh. Um. Yeah, it was weird to that. Um, the conversation we were having before was about um, queuing for all dungeons. Uh, then it was about healer queue times and DPS queue times, etc., etc. Um, I'm so excited! Fun of is my main love at the moment. There you go. Yep. Well, sponsored stream. At the moment, it is scheduled for next Monday. Uh, but I have yet, I'm yet to receive the contract or my brief. Um, so I can't really talk much. Like, I, I can't tell you what exactly we're going to be doing because I don't know yet. Um, but as soon as I have that extra information, I'll be able to let you know that, um, but they did let me know that I could tell you. So that's what I did. Um, that was the big secret that I've been not being, not being able to talk about for a while. Um, but yeah, very exciting stuff. And it's, it's, it's huge, like working with, uh, I mean, you know, I've, I've had the amazing benefit of having worked with Blizzard and now getting to work with Square Enix is like, these are, these are monstrous developers in the space and having them on essentially my resume, which is the pitch deck that I'm planning on building, 
having that on there is is huge. Like that's that's massive. Um, and yeah, so it's at the moment it's one stream, but if it goes well and they're happy with the stats and they're happy with how it goes and everything, this has the potential to turn into a series of streams from the conversation. Like again, I don't I don't have my brief, so I can't tell you exactly what's going to happen. But from the conversations I had prior to them confirming that I've been chosen from the shortlist. Uh, was that they're looking for uh, content creators with RPG experience who have not played much Final Fantasy before um, and they're wanting us to play through and experience what a new player would experience. So right from character creation, um, I'm assuming I'll probably have like a level target that I'm going to need to hit uh, in the first stream and then if if all goes well and I fulfill the brief and you guys are there and everyone in chat is hyped and like supportive and all that kind of stuff and we get good numbers and all that kind of thing then there is uh, a chance for future sponsored streams as well and do like a whole series of you know getting a bit bit further in levels maybe going through a first dungeon or even a first raid or looking at professions or whatever it happens to be like it's a it's a whole thing so I would very much appreciate any any support people can throw in, even if it's like, even if you're not going to be available that day, throwing up a lurk would be hugely appreciated. Um, all that kind of stuff. It's uh, and sharing all the like when I post the social media posts about it and stuff, that all the sharing, commenting, likes, all that kind of stuff, like really spreading the word as best as we can. All that kind of stuff is really going to be so important for this. Um, yeah, it's a. Uh, yeah, it's a. This is a big deal. This is a really big deal. Uh, like, obviously, it's super cool, but also from like a, a career perspective, this is a big deal. Uh, so I would absolutely adore any support I can get. Fantasy, indeed. It's pretty big how that work. Through the experience, I'm I'm sure that I will. I have played, I've dabbled in Final Fantasy before. I've never, I've always ended up going to the same starting zone. So I'm very adamant that I want to start in a different zone this time. Um, I, I don't remember the names of them, but it's, it's fine. Uh, so I want to pick something I haven't played before so I can start in a different zone and experience that. Um, I've only, like, I've done a few, three or four times, I think I've, maybe, maybe two or three feels more accurate. I've times I've stepped into it, but I've only ever gotten, like, halfway through the, that starting zone. So I'm, I'm still very much new to the game. Uh, but yeah, the new player leveling experience is what they're trying to show off, and they're targeting ANZ uh, people because of the new Oceanic servers. So yeah, like, it's, I fit perfect. I check all their boxes in terms of what they want. And uh, apparently I also checked their boxes in terms of my attitude and my my actual, my stream stats and stuff because they asked for a lot of those and I handed them all over and apparently they were happy with them because if they weren't, I don't think they would have gotten the okay. Um, yeah, and so now they've just got to see if I can attract and retain viewers for a stream. And if I can, then more money for fear, basically. <laughs> more streams. Uh, I am great at buffing my healers heaps when I do play DPS. Stand in fire is my go-to. Yeah, look. Look. Uh, I didn't know DPS queue was that long. Yep, it is. Ah, uh, that guy have to heal. Ah, uh, this is literally opposite to everyone else. A DPS is the only role you can actually be carried easily in difficult content. Correct. Correct. You can't really carry a tank. You can't really carry a healer unless you have another tank or another healer there. And even with tanks, you, you still can't really carry them. Um, but yeah. Melee party. Yeah. Yeah. Just gonna holy pallet and have a non DPS healers. There you go. Um, 
Like, first eight, eight days leave, yay, amazing. Approaching this from perspective of someone who's been playing since BC, you know, that doesn't make me magically wise. Where at the changes I've seen, I've led a progression raid guild, not limit levels, obviously, but I have led raids and been head healer. I won't have a bunch of healer, exp I have a bunch of healer experience. I won't pug as a healer because of the toxicity. Yeah. Yep, that's pretty, that's pretty standard. Um, yeah. Uh, it's not so much upset, Rose, it's just that you are speaking from it real like you are speaking from a very, very narrow perspective. And it did kind of come across as no, that's wrong. And no, it's not. Like, except people's experiences. Like when they tell you this is what they've experienced, then, you know, unless they're actually trying to lie to you. But if there wasn't, it was like five or six different people telling you the same thing, sort of thing. Um Yeah, it, it almost, I'm trying to explain, it almost felt like you were speaking as a, from a place of privilege because you get shorter queue times as a healer and that's a, that's a privilege. Yes, you can choose that privilege by rolling healer, but you, it also comes with a whole handful of responsibility and toxicity and etc etc that you yourself may not have experienced, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And so talking from that place of privilege, very clearly not understanding that you are privileged, it can definitely come across the wrong way. Uh, and I think that it did, personally. But, um, you know, you've, you've now learned, and uh, there you go. That's, that's what life is all about, right? Learning and adding more things, adding more books to the brain library and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I was really close to living that dungeon. Oof, rough. Sorry to hear that. Experience. Uh, no one's so brave. People can your teammates only makes them less likely to help you. Legit thought it was a meme. How many people leave when the slightest thing goes wrong in group content? Sorry, infinite wisdom party member flame for 10 minutes or explain mechanics in two. No brainer. Yeah. I, I agree. But no, it is unfortunately, like, it is a meme because of how often it happens. Which it shouldn't, but it does. There are, there are a lot of people in this world who are impatient and who have a very narrow thing of experience. Like if you, if you are this good at a dungeon, not understanding that no, that not everyone else has that same level of experience. How, you know, how do you not know that that's the pack you're supposed to pull? I've done this dungeon a hundred times and everyone knows that pack is supposed to be the one you know, you know, everyone doesn't. That's, yeah, but very, like a lot of people don't seem to get that, which is a problem. But there's no way for Blizzard to fix that unless they literally walk you through saying, please pull this pack, please pull this pack. But then they just remove the extraneous packs from the dungeon and then all the dungeons would be hella boring because you have to just pull and kill everything. So, you know. But yeah, people are um, very self-absorbed and don't understand that other people have different experiences. Um, there couldn't possibly be any other way of doing the dungeon. And they they feel like, oh, well, I only have 15 minutes to, to blast through this dungeon. I assumed, because I've done this in 15 minutes, that everyone can do it in 15 minutes. If we're not going to be able to do it in 15 minutes and it's going to take... 17 minutes instead, then I'm going to leave. Uh, yeah. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Anyone in chat had a payday bar? I don't know what that means, sorry. Uh, hello Thor. It is WoW. You are correct. I am playing World of Warcraft. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome on in. Uh, this is the reason you're eating with Cafe because I don't tell them to do more like your reading style, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, look. I'm I'm definitely not helping Cafe. I, I'm joining them as a raider. Um, it's not like I'm carrying them or any of that kind of shit. Uh, but yeah, it is, it is one of the reasons. Uh, I, like, obviously, Krazzy, like, I love Kraz, he's awesome, um, and so, you know, he has a guild, they're willing to take me, 
they're willing to take me when like on my schedule rather than having to maintain a percentage of attendance they're willing to take me even though i'm not on their server and can't actually join the guild and all that kind of stuff so that plays a really big part in it but it's also it's a consistent group who's happy to have me um so that's and then yeah the fact that they're pretty chill uh and you know they're the vast majority of them are uh, a bit older like myself um, a lot of them have kids or other, you know, expectations of themselves and things like that. But at the same time, they still make progress. Like, they're not, like, I, I'm not sure I'd be able to raid with a group who, um, I'm trying to think of how to say this without coming across as, like, exceptionally dickish. Um, I know where my skill level is at. I know it's not mythic, and that's fine. I'm fine with that. Um, and I, but I also know that it's not normal raid. I know that I am capable of doing more than normal raiding. Uh, there is absolutely nothing wrong with sticking with normal raiding. Nothing wrong with that at all. But it doesn't challenge me enough. Once I've once I've done the boss once or twice, I, I kind of I know what I'm doing, and it kind of gets a bit boring. Um, Obviously, I keep doing it because getting gear for myself and for the, the raid team and all that kind of stuff, but um, the fact that they can push into heroic, like they're, they're, they're chill and they're casual, but they're at a re level of progression that I am I feel challenged by. Maybe it's not, you know, ridiculously difficult, like what are we even doing, 80 wipes on the boss kind of difficult, but it's it's challenging enough that it it's entertaining. Yeah, so Carpe are a, a great fit for me for lots and lots of reasons, as noted previously. Um, I should like to be self-sufficient when it comes to professions, yas. Yep. It also helps with like the collecting stuff and like it's just, it makes it easier if you can just do it yourself, eh? Hey? Reminds me of the time I got booted in LFD in less than 30 seconds as a healer because the tank decided to pull four packs and died immediately. Then they vote kicked me, I had 20 minutes of deserted debuff. Like what? Yeah. Yeah. That's, um, that's why people don't random queue as healer. That's why they would prefer to heal for a group of their friends. Uh, 24 tunes, one of every class on both sides of the coin. Perfect, there you go. Yeah, I've got, um, four of every class, an extra mage and an extra druid. So five mages and five druids. Uh, and 30 Horde and 20 Alliance. Isn't the amount eyes narrow? Yep. Yeah. Heartbreaker, named appropriately, because it breaks everybody's hearts. Next year. I'll get it next year. Yeah, I've done 1,600 total attempts across, a, like, I think three or four years, maybe more. Um, so... Next year, I will not be adding another 750 attempts to that because it'll drop and so I can stop. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm not I'm not angry that it hasn't dropped because I know it's 1 in 3,333 and 1,600's only just half of that. So, like, <laughs> I, I know that if it had have dropped, I would have been I incredibly lucky. But that's okay. Next year. Don't want to get to 2,350 attempts. Pool bobs and skull mans. Oh no! Magic carpet. Uh, no, this is the Archmage's prismatic disc. It's very pretty though. Um. So you're supposed to be kind of bringing your audience, your community, into Final Fantasy, and your inexperience is a positive in this regard. Correct. Yeah, so um, I don't think it's just my community that they're looking to bring in. It's like new players as a whole, like they want to bring new players in. And one of the reasons uh, players have been kind of, I, I'm, I'm assuming that through their research they've figured out or whatever, that one of the reasons new players have been put off by joining is that they, jo they join up and they play for a bit. And the, the, the first expansion is such a slog that they leave halfway through and never come back. 
And so what I'm supposed to be doing is, I believe, again, I don't have my brief yet. What I believe I'm supposed to be doing is demonstrating that the new player experience has changed and demonstrating to A and Z players that we have oceanic, uh, oceanic servers now so they'll get better pings and all that kind of stuff as well. Uh, plus a community that's going to be mostly online at their own times and things like that. Um, so going through, because I because I don't have the experience already, I won't be blitzing through the new player experience at lightning pace. I'll actually be stopping and exploring and reading stuff because I don't know what's going on. Uh, because I haven't done it before. So that's kind of what they're looking for, yeah. But someone who has also had experience with MMORPGs or RPGs in general, so we know the general gist of how the game, the base game works, how you have a class or a like job, at the, I think they call them jobs, um, and how leveling works and how killing monsters works and blah blah blah, like all that kind of stuff, because that's not a feature, that's not a type, that's not the not a, a mechanic that's in other games a lot. Usually that's kind of an RPG thing. Yeah. Uh, silly door crafting gathering in SAV, best I see new AMO. Oh, that's awesome! Brilliant, because you show what new is like, correct. Exactly. We just 18 18,740 Oh my god, we're so close, Shiva. Holy cow, so close. Pretty sure it was Gardenia or something like that you started in. I don't know, I don't really care, I'll figure it out. <laughs> once I get my brief and once I know what I'm actually supposed to be doing, I will sit down and plan my stream. Um Thanks, forgot. Brilliant! Brilliant. Yay for reminders of single drama coming from healer and tank privilege, where healers and tanks' preferential pugging ability has made DPS pissed off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actual dungeon question. Is it worth it for the XP to kill everything? Uh, not usually. I mean, I would like to say yes, but I mean... When you're in a dungeon, you're in a group of five people, and if you as one person wants to kill everything, but the other four people don't, you're probably not going to end up finishing the dungeon, because they'll just get crap, like, they'll get shitty and leave. So you're probably... It may be worth just, like, going along with whatever the majority want. My boss is for DPS, yes. Uh, I've run that dungeon a hundred times as well, through 98 of them were 13 years ago when it was current content you toxic numpty. Exactly, right? Exactly. But, you know, it is what it is. It is on us as a community to fix that issue uh, by not tolerating it. When you see it, report it. The standard you walk past or ignore is the standard that you accept. That doesn't mean you have to engage with them. Not at all. You can report them. Um, yeah. Uh, heard it here first. People, he's gonna leave us if we can't do the dungeon. Fifteen minutes, also extreme. Toxic numpty. I like that. As do I. As do I. So we talked gear before. Is spamming dungeons also good for gearing? Uh, once you get to max level, yeah. Um, while you're leveling, gear. So I, I'm not a fan of dungeon leveling. For especially for new players. For the pure reason that quests and quest rewards are designed so that each zone you go through, you get a new set of gear. Like, it'll give you boots, and then it'll give you legs, and then it'll give you gloves, and then it'll give you pants. Uh, wait, no, I said legs already. A uh, glo- uh, cloak, and then it'll give you a hat, and then it'll give you whatever. But it'll- by the end of the- by the end of a, a group of quests, you'll have a whole set of gear. And then it'll replace that whole set of gear and then replace that. It's designed to give you rewards that are spread out. You're not going to get seven pairs of boots from seven consecutive quests. That's not how they are designed, right? Whereas in dungeons, you could go a whole day of dungeoning, get plenty of experience, but not a single drop. Or you could get seven pairs of boots and that doesn't help the rest of your gear. Um, that's why I'm not a fan of dungeon leveling. When you when you've got to the point where you have like heirlooms and stuff like that, it's less of an issue. Uh, so like leveling alts and all that kind of thing. 
because you can it doesn't matter because your heirlooms are leveling up with you rather than having to replace it constantly it of course still does affect like uh belts and i think boots and stuff there are a few slots that aren't covered by heirlooms which absolutely are affected by that issue but it's not as bad as say not getting a new weapon for seven levels uh because the weapon damage is a big thing especially for melee uh so yeah but once you hit max level um, spamming dungeons is a good idea to start with, but then after that, once you've gotten a few drops from here and there, you end up starting to, like, target specific dungeons that drop the slot you're looking for. Like, you might go, okay, well, I've got a fantastic cloak now, and I've got fantastic boots and, and legs, but I really need a pair of gloves. Which dungeons drop gloves for me? And there might be three specific dungeons that drop a, a set of gloves that you could use. So you'd end up targeting those dungeons. So it's not necessarily spamming, just like going for whatever you can get, however you can get it. Um, but it's... It's okay, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of how... I would recommend going about it. Uh, you could use, there's a website like Raidbots. Uh, where you can plug your character in and it'll tell you where your best upgrades are kind of thing. But even then, um, uh, going through storyline, like once you get to 60, going and unlocking Corthia and then unlocking Xerath Mortis, there is so much catch-up gear in this fucking zone. You may not even have to step foot into a single normal dungeon or heroic dungeon. You might be able to go straight to Mythic. Um, if, if you're comfortable with uh, mechanics and stuff like that, like if you already know what the mechanics are, um, because again, mythic people queuing for mythics are going to un expect that you have already done normal and heroic and that you know what you're doing. Um, so it might be worth running through them on, on the lower level difficulties just to learn them, but yeah. <clears throat> um, getting to learn mythic plus dungeon now myself, playing tank occasionally, I not point off the impacts, I do a percentage slash time and so much else. Yeah, mythic plus is a bit of a different beast though, like that's also... Like, the whole idea of it is to maximize efficiency so you do the entire dungeon in as little time as possible. A lot of people don't just want to time it, they want to plus two it. Um, so that they can get the appropriate gear for their characters, especially if it's their key. Uh, but yeah, definitely recommend if you're doing Mythic Pluses and you're fucking tanking, to go and get yourself Mythic Dungeon tools and to learn a few routes, or at least just watch the routes, like, like follow them as you're playing the game kind of thing. Um, cause yeah, like that whole game mode <laughs> is about optimizing. So if you're not optimizing, it will cause you issues and your group potentially, especially if there's a very, very, very good reason people don't pull that individual goddamn pack, uh, as I've learned. <laughs> Can we talking about getting lower level up in general, open more PvP content to stop dying? Kinda, of question should be reliable, filling out your gear, what contents giving you trouble? In terms of slopping and leveling, even the current expansion, going through the old content. Hey a panda, AI is honestly the worst. First expansion has changed though. Listening to every bit of the story really helps you get through. Story is so good. Yeah, they've revamped the leveling experience though, like fairly recently. Like it was one of the most recent patches or something. Uh, that was one of the whole bloody reasons they're actually doing this campaign with ANZ creators is to showcase the new leveling experience. Um, I through Miss Q, that music turned on as a sin. Uh, when I was leveling a tank through LFD, I had a macro head as it entered. Asked if people were looking for a fast run, pull and keep running, or quests and extras. Beautiful, love that. Communication is key! Communication is freaking everything. If you communicate expectations, if you say, I am a new healer, please let me get mana regularly, or I am a new tank, please help me figure out which things to pull, etc, etc. If they kick you at that point, you didn't want to be in the group to begin with. <laughs> Four real Z's, clear the dungeon, killing bosses, and your quick quest log. Uh, you flat amount of XP, this is what you should be doing for in leveling terms if you are rested XP and killing mobs. Faster if your DPS plays work together well, in general, completing the dungeon's priority. Yes. Yep. Agreed. Uh, I just saw your comment. Oops. It was my rogue. Use Shadowlands, boost, got to 50, and just everything hits so bloody hard. Levels are around 900, 900, and my computer right now. Uh, also, if your DPS dungeon leveling is more okay, since you can quest or farm gear while waiting for the queue. Yes. Yeah, waiting for queue is how I did most of my archaeology solves and achieves. Beautiful. 
on the floor. Uh, and to get the Dratnos roots. I'm assuming the Dratnos roots are a thing for mythic dungeon tools that I mentioned before. I know I'm a little bit behind on chat, so I just wanted to make that link for anyone who was very confused. Um, as I was reading it aloud, that is. Probably made sense as soon as it was typed in chat, but maybe not so much now. Um, the tools we showed mythic trap. Um, pay much more attention to stuff in streams like the roots and mobs will be avoided. Probably recommend trying out another spec if you're having issues. Definitely sub if you're not that yet. A lot better single target damage helps with solo content. Play Outlaw, don't like the other two. Dungeon tools, make sure you're using Vile for healing. Yeah, strong defensive. Vanish is also powerful if you're dying. Yeah. Yeah, have Vanish bound uh, and have your Red Vial bound as well. And pop it as soon as you hit 60% health, pop that Vial. Doesn't matter if you're not low yet because the faster you pop it, the faster it's off cooldown so you can pop it again. Especially if you've accidentally pulled too much. But yeah, Vanish is, uh, Vanish is a big one too. I, I play Outlaw on my Rogue and she's squishy as hell. Even at 60, she's... What, what gear level is she at the moment? Um, uh, she's at 195 and she dies endlessly. She's just... she's She feels squishier than my Mage does during leveling. Uh, and Mages are hella squishy during leveling. I don't know what it is. Like a, someone wearing leather should not be as squishy as someone wearing cloth, but whatever. Um, yeah, having Vile bound and using it with regularity helped a lot, uh, as did Vanish. I still occasionally forget to use Vanish, though. And then I go, oh, no, I'm dead. Oh, no, Vanish is a little cooldown. Bugger. So, yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. We'll be boosting character again and mess up with scaling of the mobs. New player, don't know how it's supposed to work most likely. Uh, it didn't, it doesn't screw up with the scaling. Um, they scale to your level, not to your gear level. Uh, so if you had leveled to 50 manually, it would, the, everything around you would still be at 4950. Um, there wouldn't be any change there. What it might have screwed with is if you're not familiar with playing Rogue, I don't know how good it is at teaching you how to play once you've boosted. When, you, when you're leveling, you're given a new ability every couple of levels. So you learn how to use this ability and then it slots another one in and you learn how to use that one and then it slots another one in and you learn how to use that one. And so you slowly build your rotation one ability at a time. Whereas if you use a boost, I don't think you get that. So you've probably got a whole lot of stuff in your books that you're like, what the fuck does this even do? I do not, I've not used a boost. All my 50-50s have all been leveled manually, not a single boost. It really doesn't take that long. Highly recommend leveling properly. Personally. But I know that not everyone has the time for that anyway, so. I, re I get it. I understand. I just don't think it's a good idea. Um, I think Boost you feel rogue specifically is a bit face melty. Yeah. Rogues are squeesh. And I'm Panera, no, I just meant the air, otherwise, are fragile bones. When they hit the ground, yeah, full damage is the thing. Um,. I know I managed to evade tank elites on my outlaw dark iron rogue. That being said, I had decent agi by then. Probably built in dodge was good too. Yeah, it really it also depends on your like experience with the class and stuff as well. It's it's a big thing. Uh it's not great at all at teaching with boosting. Yeah. No. Yeah. boost outlaw rogue seems like the simplest of the specs I know. I uh, do this max out and help me so much with my rogue. It's my initial let's try around booster rogue. And boost first tune like ever, yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't tell you that anywhere though, Ish, and that's the problem. Like if you get in and you buy Shadowlands as a brand new player, you get a boost included. Why wouldn't you want to use it? Like, hey, I can skip to play with my friends immediately. Hell yeah. But yeah. Then then, then yeah, then everything's screwed. Um, either way, it's max DPS. Ah, good. Max DPS is the add-on. Brilliant. I have boost from x packs etc. Use them on rogues and gather the rest of the way to 60 before deleting them. Ah, oh, dear. The native creatures of Probus Fauna have fallen into madness. Oh, it's this way? Uh, Fade, Meaty, Thor, Cat, Dunno, Hypno, Draz, Garden, and Zam. Congratulations to all of you on your membership. Well done. Well done. Uh, I agree boosting is bad unless you know the class. I regret his spaghetti. I mean, you could always make a new tune. You could always make a new tune. You could even make a new rogue. There are no restrictions on that. And actually level it up.
It's two handed. There we go. Um. CBS is nice if you want to get it done. I'd strongly recommend not using it if you actually want to learn the class. Assassination is simple spec for Rogue. Also, just don't think Rogue is for me. Too stealth oriented. That's why I play Outlaw, less stealth reliant. Only level them stay classy. I will never choose to play Rogue. Uh, I can play at new max level straight away. Nice. Wait, why do these 20 abilities all do? What's the order? Why do I have Taunt as a DPS? I give up. I quit. And that's why. Yep. That's a problem. That's a problem. Right, where? It's in the corner there, I see. Oh. Only learning to spend 15 quid on that boost. You can sit there and run until the last watch for glad and had a land. Oh, no, no, you don't have to delete it. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's literally what I'm saying. You can roll another tune and have two rogues and level up the rogue while you're learning how to use it and then you've got two to farm for like mounts and shit if that's something you want to do. Like there's no negative to it really. It doesn't cost you any extra to have another character or anything like that. You've got 50 character slots. Don't have to delete the original one. God no. Good lord no. You know, so I'm gonna place it beautiful, wonderful. Ah, oh, for the same class. This is madness. For less squishy experience, I recommend uh, leveling a paladin, DK, druid, or warlock. There we go. That's from Jack. All right. I think I'm gonna have to go do a share stream in a moment we're approaching the halfway mark and i know that i'm pretty sure raid starts somewhere around 7 30. carpe 7 15 7 30 something like that um Not doing Monday. Wednesday. It's in an hour. Yeah, okay. 2015. But that's their time. Not. Wait, hang on. Oh shit, it is 8 15, isn't it? That's right, and that's why. Because they, they don't do a four hour raid. It is. Look. I am so used to doing four hour raids that a three hour raid just seems weird to me. And so I'm, I know, I knew that they finished at 11, so I'm like, they must start somewhere near seven, right? No, they start past eight. So I've got plenty more time to get this bloody yoke. This is where I'd put my yoke if I had one. Yeah, look, we'll. Oh, that's 15. Ugh. Um, from one ill class to the current leveling warlock is fun. One word, hunter. Hunter, your pet does all the face rolling. Hello, Tabak. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a lovely day. Because I used to rig initially try to rush through horde stuff to unlock sea trolls. Want my horde main to be guardian druid. Yas. Pelly equals ultimate. I'm not squishy. Uh, run around gathering like 10 little bombs and prop at a time. Warlock is unkillable. Accidental hashtag. That's okay. Um, Destro, druid is far. Most try to cross play for a main. Uh, Ash means a hunter, my pocket tank pet with a healing ability. Many times, thank you very much. Just hit with Fawcett, will be I think once I get there, still level 12. Take Dark Pact. It's just most of the nice main one of each role type, tank healer, melee range, plan plan guardian, druid, restor shaman, rep pally, and frost major roll. Fair enough. No more time to get this yoke, though how will you get it when you've launched your PC out the window? Good, good question. Book! <laughs> Good question. 
Ah. I just there's a toy for this as well. There's an there's an achievement, but finishing the achievement grants a toy. I think I put I did. Every so often when my hair is really clean, like I just washed my hair today. If my hair is really clean, I tend to put my headsets on tilted backwards so that the strap comes across like my crown, the crown of my head. And if my hair is too clean, the the elastic strap will slide because it's fabric on essentially fabric. It'll slide down the back of my head and it, yep. And I was like, why is my headset sitting funny? Because you're an idiot as hell. Um, strongly recommend leveling as prop pally. Anyway, I hope you appreciate the clip name I just did. Ah, fuck. That was not what I meant to pull. God! Damn it. Oh, I didn't pull as much as I thought I did. I, ho I thought there was a whole pack running around with it, but it was just the two of them. Okay, that's that's better. It could have been worse. Could have been worse. Plus specs made available, didn't realize I could choose one. Ten. Uh, I did a class trial as prop pally. I don't know, it didn't really grip me. Felt so rotation wise. Prop pally's been the highest APM in game. Actions per minute, although that is because of Shield the Righteous. I think I don't mind me. Hey, Sink! Welcome back. Here's a question. Here's an answer, potentially, maybe. She yelly, maybe. Gotta ask the question first, otherwise I'm, I might not know the answer. Does switching specs save hotbars for each spec? Yes. Do you have to reorganize them every time? No. You do have to set them up the first time you switch into that spec, but yes, it remembers them per spec. But we're as high as APM at the moment, you Necrolord banner and a bunch of off GCD shit. There you go. Interesting. Hey, Jas. Um. Do we want to do dinner, like, well and truly before raid? Or do you want to do it a bit later so that you can get to 11 without getting hungry angries? Hangries, there we go. Because I am getting a bit hungry, but... I don't know. Actually, because we're doing leftovers, it doesn't matter. I can eat when I want to eat, and you can eat when you want to eat. Perfection. Although bubble tea. Bubble tea. Be a nightmare. That's why it does it that way. Pelly only has one off GCD shit. It presses a lot with four set. Ah, uh, okay. Methinks it's near as an interest in doing things the tricky, trickiest way. We have no cooked rice. Oh, okay. Shit. Um, we have rice to cook though, right? Okay. Is rice cooking something we could potentially do at some point soon? It's most in server. Beautiful. Microwave. Well, no, we only have raw rice. We don't have a microwave rice cooker. Only a pot. Seems awesome. As we've been being thrown in the new player blind with no knowledge of the game at all, it's good to have another feeling of what is everything in MMO in a long time. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a it's a trip. There is like seventeen years of game knowledge. Like it's a big ass thing. But as long as you just take your time with it, it's good fun. Still involved me clicking on a link, which I don't tend to do during stream. 
That's right, I'll have a look later. that I have to hand in. Oh, it's the Aeon Matrix. All right, let's go do that. Just to break up the monotony of goddamn. So not cash money, five ads in a row. It's not done by number of ads, it's done by time taken. It's a 90 second block of ads every 30 minutes to keep pre-rolls off because it has proven, like the data shows, that people stick around. They're more likely to stick around through a mid-roll than they are through a pre-roll. So it helps grow a streamer's uh, viewer base, which is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to grow. They also give me money, which I use to pay off my dental bill. Not pay off, but save up for my dental stuff. Uh, I've got $23,000 worth of dental stuff to get done. So every cent helps, let me tell you. So in actual fact, they are directly cash money. Just not. For the people watching them. Oh wait, I already did those, didn't I? <laughs> Ouch is right, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of work. But it's alright, it has to be done. Uh, and so, we are doing it. Why well, I'm doing it. Oh, and a wee medical team. Yeah, we're good. Little stream. No worries. Thank you very much. Enjoy work. Hope it treats you kindly. Subscribe and dodge them completely. You could, but unfortunately not everybody has the money to be able to subscribe, and I can't totally respect that. Um, subs do not get ads here. Um, there are some channels on Twitch where our subs will get ads, because it is a setting that the streamer controls, whether or not subs will get ads. Uh, some streamers have ads on for subs so that when an ad plays and they go and take a break, everyone takes a break at the same time kind of thing, rather than just some of the, the viewers or whatever. Uh, but uh, I choose to have them off for subs because I don't really take breaks that often. I probably should, to be perfectly honest, but I don't. Um, but yeah, not everyone can afford to sub and that's okay. It's okay. You are supposed to have done that. Just retrieved it already. Um. um. Ask a nice issue to hold fear talk about her dental work. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This joint second AMP from Simulation Craft for Aurea is highest. I'm just gonna say I don't know how your bum doesn't go numb sitting in a chair so long. Mine sure does. I've been doing it for a very long time. And I also shift around a lot. Like, I'm sure you guys have seen me, like, curl up with my legs under me and then kind of sit straight and then sort of lean. Just, like, I, I move a lot. I move a lot. I don't deserve to be just because I'm stingy with money. I hate spending money on anything, even things I really want. Fair enough. Hello! Hello, Kim. How you doing? Welcome back. This is great. Buns of steel. Oh, dear. Yeah, no, look, I, I feel you. I'm I'm tight with my money as well. Um, it is also obviously a recognition of if I don't pay for this thing, I don't necessarily get to have it. Um, like, uh, you know, obviously like buying stuff and, and whatnot. Uh, but I've, there have been, oh God, so many streamers I've watched over the years who after a while just haven't been able to do it anymore because they have to step up their hours at work because they're not making enough money and so they can't they don't have the time to stream anymore and all that kind of stuff so it's um like financial support is a huge thing like a huge thing for streamers um uh, i i'd probably 
like with the amount of ads that I run and the amount of time that I stream, if you are here from start to finish of every one of my streams in a month, I get from you watching ads just short of what I would get from you if you had have subbed. So this is one of those cases where let's not complain about ads because <laughs> they literally help me do what I'm doing. Um, and they literally pay for anyone who's unable to pay for themselves, which is fantastic. Like it's, it, it really is good. It's, it's a way to support streamers without having to pay them, which is a great thing. Um, but yeah, um, subbing is not something that's expected here. It's not something that's required. Um, I, I've only ever done, I think, one sub-only stream, and the only reason we did it as a sub-only stream was because it was a bonus, and it was pole dancing, because I, I, I don't so much anymore, but, um, I did. And, I mean, I could still, I guess. I've lost a bit of the strength, but I've still got the muscle memory. Um, pole, pole dance for fitness, and so we put it on, uh, sub-only because it was a bonus stream, and, uh, to help lower the harassment I received. Uh, and it helped. It did work. Um, there's a, with sub only streams on Twitch, there's a five minute window where you can watch even if you're not subscribed and then after five minutes it comes up with the screen that says if you want to keep watching you need to subscribe to Fiyama or whoever it is you're watching. Um, so in those, you know, five minutes of viewing there were a handful of people who uh, jumped on in and dropped their harassment but that's, you know, that's what we've got mods for. But yeah, we don't, uh, subbing is definitely not a requirement here. Um, what classes in your opinion are the hardest to play just in general? I don't like priests. Um, uh, I don't like Shadow Priest specifically, but that's probably because I play all of my... Um, they seem to have a bit of a ramp up time, and because I play them as alts, uh, I play all my alts with uh, one button macros, because my brain doesn't function in a way to allow me to learn 36 rotations. Uh, I, I, ju I just can't. It's a physical impossibility, and that's okay. I accept my limitations, and I find tools to help me get around them. Uh, and so I have uh, GSE, which stands for Gnome Sequencer Enhanced, and it basically makes, uh, you can get multi-button macros and all this complicated sh uh, stuff with like modifiers and all sorts of dealies, uh, but I just use plain old one-button macros for all my alts and they work a treat. Um, but priests seem to have, like, yeah, they're just, they, I don't... They don't gel with me. And that's okay. That's okay. Uh, now for real though, only thing I don't like about ads is upgrade yeah, interrupt a conversation between viewer and streamer. Other than that, ads are Gucci. I, honest to God, would prefer if I had a, you know, you know, so you've got me and then you've got the rest of stream and then you've got the chat box over there. If you shrunk the chat box down by a block and stuck an ad there permanently, that rotated every 15 to 30 seconds permanently and I got my same income from it and I got no pre-rolls, I would take that in a heartbeat. If that were an option that were available to it, I would take it in a heartbeat. If I had lower third ads that had kind of pop up and then disappear every so often, I would also take that because it doesn't interrupt the, that's the thing, like ads on TV they plug them in at times and they, they turn off the entertainment. Or if it's a sports ball game, I, um, it's, I don't use that in like an offensive way. I just, you know, all of the different sports. If it's a sports game, usually they'll stick an ad in when there's an interruption of play or they're checking into something or, or whatever and there's no actual happenings to be watching at the time. So they'll play an ad and they'll come back. So for those of you coming back from the ad break, we've just had a call from the referee that that was bullshit. Uh, you know what I mean? Like it's... That's the only, that's the big thing. I, I, ads are a necessity. 100% a necessity. Twitch needs to keep the lights on. 
if Twitch doesn't keep the light, Amazon, if Amazon doesn't keep the lights on, I lose my income. I lose my career. I lose my job. So they need to make money. Twitch needs to make money. I just wish there were other ways that they could do it that wouldn't affect the continuity quite so much. Even if, if they put a lower third, I could move my goddamn camera. I could adjust my UI so that my camera was up top so that it never smacked me in the face or any of that kind of stuff. But And they have trialed plenty of different types of ads around, like along the way. The problem is a lot of companies don't quite know how effective all these different ad types are yet because they haven't done enough research into them. And so often they're only willing to pay for a traditional ad. And if people, if companies don't buy ad space from Twitch, then Twitch can't show ads, you know what I mean? So they have to sell whatever they can sell. But yeah, no, I, I definitely agree with you on that point, 100%. Uh, I'm an irrelevant specs. Uh, I don't like making people repeat themselves. There are ways around that. You can do a clip. Once the ad finishes, if you hit the clip button, you can see 60 sec like the last 60 seconds there that you can kind of play through again. Obviously that means that you're missing the current 60 seconds and that kind of stuff, but yeah, it is what it is. The other option is that I literally just go walk about for a minute and a half every 30 seconds, uh, every 30 minutes. Um, but I'm really bad at noticing that an ad has started because <laughs> I've often got too many other, what I, what I could do, can I pop this out? I can. Can I make this always on top? How does one make a window always on top? I know like some things like Zoom and stuff have options for that, but like how do you, is there a way to make a, like a Chrome window always sit on top of everything else? I know that if I do go and do like a, a chair stream, like if I go and go to the bathroom or grab a drink or whatever, I absolutely play an ad manually then so that I'm away while it's happening. And it also, that skips the auto ad. It pushes that out. But um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, do you have an ad on this somewhere? By the way, yes. Uh, Ali has linked it just below for you, Tebak. Below your last question. Uh, exclamation add-ons is the command to get that link to pop up. Thank you, Ali. Why would people do that? Why would people do what? Uh, abuse somebody for pole dancing? Because they think it's their entitlement. Uh, they, they believe that anyone who is using a pole for an exercise is going to take their clothes off. And that they are entitled to see that. And if they expecting somebody to take their clothes off, that they are also entitled to um, demand things from them or make suggestive comments in their direction. Or insult them because they think what they're doing is horrendous and awful and bad and sh that I'm a bad person for doing it. People are idiots, basically. Um, Killing a prop warrior last week was very confused for a while as I hadn't seen one for so long. DPS, DK, Affliction, Warlock. Uh, if you're familiar with Discord setup, I personally think it'd be better if ads had the setting of priority speaker. Yeah, but then why would people pay for an ad? if the stream is just going to talk over the ad the whole time. They're not going to get the visibility that they've paid for, and therefore they'll stop paying for them and then Twitch will die, literally, because they won't make enough money and then Amazon will just stop the servers. Literally, like that's that's how it works. Twitch has been losing money for years. Amazon are trying to make it profitable, otherwise they're just going to turn the servers off. Because they're a business, they need to make a profit. They have shareholders and shit, I'm pretty sure. And uh, in America, Companies are legally required to do everything that they can to turn a profit for shareholders. I really like using Amazon Prime sub as a sub. Correct. Yeah, Amazon Prime is great. Uh, you've got a you get a free well included in your subscription is a Twitch sub that you can use anywhere. It doesn't automatically roll over on the one streamer each month either. So if you're wanting to support a bunch of different people. You don't have to like, oh crap, I forgot to cancel it. No, you do, every time you notice that it's available, you can just stick it on another streamer if you want to. Uh, or on the same one. Totally up to you, you know? Can I ask what you're doing? I don't see progression for anything. I haven't played WoW in months. I know where you eat, no idea where you are even. I'm in Xerath Mortis. Um, what I am doing, there is an achievement 
called Traversing the Spheres. These, these spheres here are progenitor forges, is what they call them. And they have like a latent energy in them. Um, and they're all over the bloody, they're, they're everywhere. There's a really big one in the middle of the map. They're, but they're everywhere across the entire bloody zone. And um, if you use this forge tap that I have, um, you get energy from this, which is why they go purple and glow. Uh, occasionally, they'll drop an item. Uh, very occasionally. Too occasionally. Uh, they drop an item. Uh, and there's the achievement is traversing the spheres, which is use Firim's forge tap on progenitor forges throughout the Xerath Mortis to obtain the following rare proto materials. So the last one that I have to get, you do this, you do this, uh, and it drops a white item called an ephemera strand. Uh, I don't have any in my bag, so I can't show you. Uh, and then when you get 15 ephemera strands, you can use them and it turns into an ephemera orb, which is a green quality item. And then you crack open that orb and you can get a variety of things, one of which is a blue item called an anima charged yoke. And that anima charged yoke is the last item I need for this fucking achievement and it will not drop. I've done this for hours and hours. There you go, ephemera strand. So you weave 15 into a into a uh, ephemera orb, and the orb drops the yolk. But yeah, it's just um, <sighs> yep. <laughs> um, uh, I know it's there. I just don't know how to do it. My two ways all of them problems. Ah, none of them are native to Windows. Fantastic. Wonderful. Is there something that is native to Windows where I can make a browser window that sits on top permanently? I mean, there are there are absolutely other ways I can do it, but they would involve shrinking chat even more, and I already have to scroll because I'm behind on stuff. You're very welcome, Tevak. You surely have to expect getting harassed if you choose to use a poll for exercise. I'm very hoping I see that that is sarcasm. Please clarify with me whether or not that is sarcasm, please. It is at Icy Lemons 923 I need you to tell me whether or not that comment is sarcasm. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt here. Um, why should everyone have to expect harassment though? Why would it be something that has to happen? It doesn't. Absolutely not. Uh, no harassment is ever warranted. Correct. Correct. Auto hot key script is the easiest and most reliable. Okay. I don't know what that is. That's fine. I will. I will, uh. Can I? I wonder if I could have it come up on my phone. If I could set up the. I wonder, because I know I have my dashboard, I can bring my dashboard up on my phone, but I don't know if it has the, um... Because then I can just sit my phone there and that's a screen that I can absolutely check. Um... Why people that don't go to space sing space shanties? How would space shanties sound like? Are David Bowie's space oddities and Elton John's rocket man space shanties? Look, maybe. Potentially, Van. That's a very good question. Maybe they do and they just don't broadcast it. Maybe it's like a private thing that happens within a crew to, to like bond them as a team. Welcome on in. Custom rendering has issues with OBS. <sighs> okay, thank you. I'm saying you have to expect there to be some... I'm saying you have to expect there to be some people to harass someone for pole dancing on stream. No, we don't. You absolutely don't have to expect shit. If someone comes in here, I ban them. If someone comes in here to harass me, I ban them. Why do you have to expect somebody... Why do you expect somebody to have to harass you for doing something to better yourself, to make your body healthier? That, no, absolutely not, you don't. It's not like I was doing it in a fucking G-string and nipple tassels or something like that, which, by the way, would be against Twitch Toss. I was 120% within Twitch Toss 
fully clothed. I have leggings that are sticky so that I don't have to grab the pole with my skin. Literally the only spe- I was wearing exactly as much coverage as I fucking am now. Why do I need to expect to be harassed for that? Why? Why? Not saying it's warranted, it's just reality. People will react a certain way to it. That's why you put it on sub mode to avoid most of it. No. No. Mostly I put it on sub mode because it was a bonus stream and I specifically said that I would do it as a sub but only bonus stream. Just because people will react a certain way does not mean we need to expect it to happen. If we expect it to happen, We'll be fine with it when it does, rather than calling them out for their bullshit and attempting to correct their behaviour, or block them from being able to behave that way in our presence. No. Absolutely not. An extra ten bucks you can order your next poll with a three-year warranty of common decency. This is sarcasm. Yep, those people are assholes. Uh, maybe space taverns with space shanty shouts. I'd like that. That could be fun. That could be very fun, Van. If that is the case, I will look forward to that. Good evening, Raven. Hello. She banned them when they came in here acting like that because they're immature. Yeah, but that's why, why do I have to expect it though? Why do I have to expect people to be horrible to me? That's not, that's bullshit. I'm sorry. Absolutely not. I should never have to expect that somebody will treat me badly. Or tell me that I should use their penis as a pole to dance on. Which is actually what a person was banned for telling me. No. Absolutely not. It is unacceptable behaviour and no one should ever be expected to behave like that. You saying you have to expect people will treat people who pole dance badly. There will be somebody, the weakest link, who goes, Oh, it's expected for people to treat that person badly. Therefore, I am expected to treat that person badly. I should treat that person badly. Fuck no. Piss off. Absolutely not. If we expect it and let it fly, it will continue to happen. Again, giving you the benefit of the doubt, maybe you worded that wrongly. Maybe you chose the wrong words or something like that, but... What you are saying is not okay. What you are saying encourages bad behaviour. You do have to expect is people not to be horrible to people. Yeah. If you expect better of people and chastise them when they don't live up to those expectations, then maybe, just maybe, the human race might improve one day. Um, I think my Google Food lied to me didn't stay on top of a battle net launch for a while. Uh, no, that's all right. That's okay. I, I think I've figured out a couple of options that don't rely on code to make something do something. Um, I'll just, I'll have to have a play with it uh, next stream. I'll set up one of them and see how it goes and see if I like it and then maybe the next one. And that way, I mean, like actually properly taking uh, like a stretch break and stuff every, every half hour. Probably good for my health. And it also means people don't miss out on conversation. Which is a good thing but you know occasionally i do get caught up in a particular conversation and miss that there's an ad starting just because people are dicks doesn't mean we should accept and expect them to act that way it allows them to think what they do is okay expect better correct thank you for summarizing thank you for saying it far far better than i was media <laughs> the reasons to go to space less we were people in space most people that are in space are very smart geeks that for some reason also exercise because they had to because they had to, your muscles, like they, because you don't use your muscles very much in space, they wither away. If you don't have much to start with, they like, oh, mm -mm, your body needs an, a, a particular amount of muscle to like function properly. So yeah, they got to stay healthy. It's interesting, hey? Like those, like the anti-gravity exercise, like the resistance bikes and stuff they had. It was so, like so funky, super cool, super cool. 
You're telling me you did not expect a single person to ever say something harassing towards it. That is not what I'm saying, I see. I knew it would happen and I was disgusted by it. But we don't go around saying, you just have to expect that to happen. If you're going to do that, you have to expect that you're going to be harassed. You see where that phrase gets dangerous as fuck, right? You have to expect that if you're wearing a short skirt, you're going to get catcalled. If you're jumping around and having a good time at a concert, you have to expect someone's going to get shitty with you and punch you in the face. You have to expect that if you're walking down a dark alley alone... I'm not going to finish that fucking sentence. You don't have to expect shit. You prepare yourself for the potential that it might happen, but you don't expect it. There's a goddamn difference. Hello, Flib. I hope you're doing wonderfully well today. We want to do it and my mind didn't even go there with the poll stuff. Yeah. The only reason I knew that I was going to be harassed when I did it online is because I've been harassed for it in real life. That wasn't okay either. And I wasn't expecting that either. Space Summer Friends of DM, currently running DD Homebrew Game in the next game. Let's run a space run! Oh my god, Sin, yes, you have to. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, I see you are in the wrong here. You are you are in the wrong here. And you just keep doubling down and now you're lolling like it's no. This is it's not okay. What you're doing is not okay. Dancing, I think, man, that would I would break my back. Oh, that's so ridiculously <laughs> strenuous. It bloody is, though. Why is it expected, though? I think you're misunderstanding me. Okay, I'm not saying it's okay. Not saying it should be expected. All I'm saying is that there will 100% be people that react negatively to it, and that's a fact. No, that's not what you said, though. What you said was that I should expect to be harassed for pole dancing. Do you under like this? This is why I said earlier. Maybe, maybe there's a misunderstanding here. Maybe you've chosen the wrong words, but then you fucking doubled down on it. So how am I? How else am I supposed? Like you should expect to be harassed for having the word lemon in your name. Like you know, like it's ridiculous and stupid. But how? How else were you? How else are you supposed to take that? That is that is what you said to me. Is that I I have to expect to be harassed. Because I did pole dancing. No, wrong. Microsoft Blizzard choose bards in a while, they'd be overpowered. Um, I don't think bards fit in very well with the, uh, like, they'd have to change the entire mechanics of battle, I think. Uh, depending on how you'd want bards to actually behave, but the way that, like, the way that bards work in other games, I'm not sure that they'd work with the, the combat mechanics of World of Warcraft. So just so you see the Chinese running up and down poles, swing around them, do people harass them? No, why not? They're on a pole. Yep. Saying it's expected is the biggest load of crap I've heard. Excuse language. Thanks, girls. That's all right. Um, your, your language is excused. It's not wrong for an expected people to be civilized as opposed to being trash. Yep. 
some rendering will, I believe, stay on top of other Chrome renders. Have issues with that screen capture? Yeah, that's alright. Yeah, that's um not something I'm willing to take a risk on, but that's okay. Understanding you seem not to understand why that perspective is generative of poor behaviour. I think the point you seem to be missing is when we all call it out, we can change the world we live in. This is the actual point. Say, if it was male presenting through doing poll, what boil down to expect harassment if it was a masculine person? I don't think so. So it's sexist. Brilliant. I'm not avoiding reality, I see. I know that pole dancing is seen negatively by some people. Those people can be expected to shut their fucking mouths and ignore what they're seeing and move on. Someone who is against strip clubs doesn't go to strip clubs. Someone who is against fucking lollipops doesn't eat lollipops. It's very easy. Why, if you are negative, if you have negative feelings about pole dancing, would you click on a thumbnail that clearly, de like, clearly depicts a human person on a fucking pole doing some kind of fitness thing? Why would you click on that just to harass them? That is not an expected human behavior. That is an incorrect human behavior that needs to be changed, that needs to be corrected. The fact that you are the only one having this feeling and all of these people are around you telling you, trying to explain to you why your th thought process is flawed and you are, you are ignoring them. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. I was to cool down the orbs, how come you can't stand by one and just spam it? Um, there, I think it's like five to ten minutes. I can't quite figure out exactly what the cooldown is, but there's a strip- I keep going along here, like along the green bit. I go like one side of the path and then I go the other side of the path and they've- they've regenerated by then. But yeah, it's long enough that it's more efficient to actually move from orb to orb. Um, so like if I- if I wait for that to go away, the purple, and then push it again, it says no residual material present. So they do, they do have like a, a recharge period. Yeah. Um, you're spinning my words. That's literally what you said. Correct. Yep. You seem to be avoiding reality on this argument. No, you're just ignoring all the people who are telling you why your thought process is incorrect. I'm saying you have to expect there to be people who harass someone for pole dancing on stream. Yep. Yep. That's what I said. Literally. You have to expect to be harassed for pole dancing on stream. That's... I... Yep. I have chat logs. I, I can click your name and see exactly word for word everything you've said prior. Just by the way. My battle is a distraction. Many appreciates. Thank you, Zam. Um, Twitch has weirded me out. Just want to add for my bank. Oh my god, Sin, that's hilarious. Ah, oh, finally, there were more serious consequences for internet harassment. Harassment is harassment, IRL or online. Both are illegal. Uh, illegal depending on where you are. Sometimes there are some types of harassment aren't. Some types of harassment will get you fired for your job, but not arrested, if that makes sense. It's not actually like illegal, illegal. Uh, it's because it gets iffy with privacy laws. Yeah. I expect it. I don't mean it's what people are supposed to be doing. I'm saying that that is what they will be doing, even if it's disgusting and correct. And yes, it does need to be corrected. I agree with that. Look. By propagating the idea that it is expected, Okay, actually, here's a really... Okay, so my my dad and his half-sister... My dad is really, really good at dad jokes. Like, phenomenal at dad jokes. He's, like, he's been training for 32 years or something. And his half-sister is only uh, a handful. I think she's, like, five, four or five years older than me. Not even. Um, so she's far closer to my age, and he's obviously my father. And he had me when, like, uh, mid-twenties, so a fair bit older. Um, and they developed a, um, they didn't like grow up together or anything like that, but that's, you know, fine. There was a, a thing that they would quite often do, uh, because they still spent time together, even if they didn't grow up together, where she would ask some kind of a question and he 
would respond with a dad answer, like a dad joke as an answer. And she would go, oh, and face palm and all the things. And then her response to that would be, expected. And he would go, delivered. Because when you expect something, people find a way to fulfill that expectation. So if we put it out there, if we propagate the idea that it is expected of people to ridicule, harass, all that kind of shit, someone who does pole dancing, regardless of their gender, people will fill that role and deliver your expectation. Because there are people out there with literally nothing better to do. That is why your thought, pres your thought process is wrong. It doesn't matter whether it happens or not, it should never be expected. And we should not propagate that it should be expected because there will be people who will find a way to deliver it. And we don't want that. As you said, it's wrong. You agreed with me that it's wrong and shouldn't happen. So don't put it out there. Stay that it's a while expected. and listen. Just don't. It's real fucking easy. Just don't do it. Ah, uh, Thor, STV, Kat, Zam, Neke, Fade, and Hypno. Congratulations to all of you on your brand shit. Well done. <clears throat> People have devolved into cavemen saying that it should be expected is as bad as saying it's as, a, as it's okay. I agree with that. I agree with that. There's been perks and tattoos for longer than that. I'm invisible. Oh, that sucks. This is a strip of them playing a lot of Lost Ark and stuff respawns really fast. Oh, nice, Sin. Well done. That's awesome. Man, you have to expect I can build a shelf. <laughs> I mean, I can build a shelf. Yeah, if it's from Ikea, yas. Don't build this to a legit cause a fight. Really? I'm really good at Ikea furniture. Like, I am, I'm super good at Ikea furniture. Yeah, we've literally been spending like how long explaining to you? That this is a bad idea and you just keep like doubling and tripling down on this it's it's not okay half an hour amazing if it takes 30 minutes to learn something when like 10 15 people are trying to teach you it yeah that's no that's that's malicious malicious ignorance purposefully avoiding the learning so that you don't have to accept that you might have made a boo-boo. Not okay. And to everyone who's still here, don't harass people. Thank you. It's just that simple. Argument makes me want to pole dance. Good! <laughs> there are so many gyms around, holy shit. Maybe not so much like further out into the suburbs and stuff, but I know in the cities that like pretty much Okay, I'm, I can't, okay. So I've checked, I've looked at Brisbane, Sydney, and Melbourne. I don't know about the other cities, but there are, like, there's such a cluster of, of pole gyms and stuff like that in, in, like, all of, in those eastern major city centres in Australia. I am sure that it's quite similar elsewhere as well. It, holy shit, it requires so much strength. You don't even realise it's a workout. One of the, one of the reasons why I got so deep, I did it for years, I haven't done it in a long time, um, mainly because I, I don't have the money to go to a gym and doing it at home with like YouTube videos and, and DVDs and stuff like that. It's not, it's, it's not the same. Um, I, I kind of need the feedback from a trainer to say like, you know, straighten this there, lower that there, da, da, that kind of stuff, like to make it right. And having, you know, walls upon walls of mirrors so I can check my form is really helpful. I don't have that at home. Um, I do have a pole in the lounge room, which is where I did the pole dancing stream, uh, but it's not doing it as like my all, uh, coming home, like learning something in a class and then coming home and practicing it. Absolutely. I could, I could do that am amazingly, but um, doing all my training alone at home is, is not, it doesn't really work so well for me, but um, the, uh, now I've forgotten why I was explaining that. The reason I got into it and stuck with it for so many, so many years is be like traditional exercise. I'm really impatient. <laughs> I'm, I'm really, really impatient. So if I'm doing, if I do crunches, if I do 20 crunches, I'm like, where are my abs? Um, <laughs> if I'm, if I'm going like running or whatever, it's like, why is this not all of a sudden easier? Why has my cardio fitness not gone straight through the roof? So 
because I like Im because I kind of need I'm I'm a gamer. I do something, I get the achievement. I do something else, I get a level. I do something else, I get a piece of gear. It's all the same, you know, it's it's the instant gratification. At pole, I may not be getting oh, immensely went. stronger right there. Dap! Much appreciate the sub. Welcome to the Fionati. Thank you so much. Hope you're having a lovely day. Um, right, so I didn't get abs after one class. Uh, I didn't get beautiful, sleek, incredibly powerful shoulders after one session, but I did come out with a new trick. There was a new thing that when I entered the class, every, every single class I went to, I would go into the class and I would come out with a brand new trick. That was my progress. That was my experience. Those were my levels. It didn't matter that I was, and then all of a sudden, um, there was one point where I, I had to take a bit of a break because I was, I was not well, um, uh, it was my, my autoimmune stuff. And when I came back, I'd lost, I think it was like seven and a half kilos or something. And, um, and I'm not big, so se like seven and a half is a lot. It's like a very large chunk of, it's more than 10% of my body weight at the time. Um, and actually it'd be more than 10% of my body weight now. Uh, but yeah, I'd lost seven and a half kilos. And, um, I went and I did a thing and I'm like, holy cow, that got really easy. And then it clicked about half an hour later. It didn't get really easy. I'm just lifting less weight. God damn. Uh, so, but like, it's one of those things where yes, you absolutely get stronger over time, but because you're also exercising and potentially losing weight, the moves get easier at a faster pace because you're both getting stronger and like less weight. It's yeah, it's actually honestly freaking awesome. Like I really love it and I enjoy it so much. And there are, there are things that my body can do that is just unbelievable. And as a person who has arthritis, like the fact that my body can do those things is mind-blowingly awesome. Like, just so, so super cool. So super cool. Um, I wish I could do pole dancing. I'm real clumsy. That's okay. You learn it. Like, honestly, you learn. You don't start off going upside down and taking your hands off and all that kind of stuff. You start with, like, climbing. And so if you fall, you literally just land on your feet and you've fallen about this far. You know, it's... Honestly, if you want to try it, or if you wish you could try it, most gyms will have a trial session where you can go in and do one class for free or for like 10 bucks or something like that. I really do recommend it. Uh, vast majority of gyms these days are also co-ed, so it doesn't matter what gender you are, um, all that kind of stuff. It's, it's just, it's really, really good. And all body types as well. Like one of the best pole dancers, like, I mean, you know, you think of, you think of someone who's like, wicked ripped and has toned abs and, and long legs and all this kind of stuff. And I mean, you know, there are definitely some who do look like that. One of the best pole dancers I've ever seen in my life is twice my size. Not height wise, but it, it means it takes her a fair bit more strength to do the same stuff that I would do because she is lifting more weight. Just, you know, speaking as respectfully as I possibly can, but good Lord, she's so graceful. She makes the most beautiful shapes with her, like all the, the lines, like the line that runs like down one arm and across the leg and all that kind of, like all those lines are just gorgeous and beautiful. And she's just so artistic, the costumes and the, the body paint she does and all, the, oh my God, it's absolutely gorgeous. Just, just beautiful. As is um, this bubble tea. Yay, bubble tea. I like beautiful bubble tea. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. But yeah. Um, there are there are very very few restrictions to, to pole dancing. Very few restrictions. Um. Uh, yeah, I, I did put it that way a little while back, blogger, but um, it was steamrolled straight over. So, oh well. Um, the chair is kind of a shelf, so yeah, it is a shelf for your butt. <laughs> inside out once from Ikea that's, that's amazing that's so like great. all the pegs where you're supposed to put the things for the shelves are on the outside of it but perfect beautiful beautiful I have the best shelf is it just call it the floor but what if <laughs> that's great I love that that's so good to show my badonkadonk on some oak yes 
It's a figure on the inside. Defeated, yeah. I see what you had to say there. Oh, they can still they can still watch Sheebs. Uh, block uh, banning a person doesn't stop them from watching. Uh, it does stop them from being able to clip uh, and all that kind of stuff. But most people tend to leave when they can't see chat because they I don't think they get to see chat. Um, but they can actually watch the stream physically. Fun facts. <laughs> hey, Asil. How you going? Welcome on in. Hope you're having an awesome day. Um, it's not rocket surgery. I, know. <laughs> I thought you screamed about me for frig's sake. I'm so me. sorry. I'm so <laughs> Are you okay? I have dinner. Thank you so much. You are bright red. I mean, I have been ranting about pole dancing for like half an hour. Eat food. Drink, drink. It'll cut. It'll cool you off. Thank maybe. you. Maybe. I don't know how warm it is. Oh, I knocked a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was honestly, when I was flying over Heracon's pond, in my brain, I thought to myself, after that fucking conversation, I best get this fucking yoke. It's about time for, it's almost time to get ready for raid and stuff. But I do have one, I've got the domination cage already. I need the forgotten proto vault. Uh, and is that not a quest chainy thing? Oh, ah, crap. That's that one. <sighs> I know it was up the other day and I missed it. God damn it. Okay, that's fine. That's, uh, but that's not the last one I need. So I've got the enlight- oh. Cyphers are the first ones and Synth are fived. Um, I don't think I have enough Genesis modes to do anything in terms of synthesizing shit. Where are they? I had some. Yeah. Oh no, I have 360 now. Okay. I wonder if... I'm gonna check for mounts first, because they are more important the to me than battle pads, but... Have fallen into madness. Right. But I don't know, maybe we'll put a bunch of them into a Super Mario costume, hating on that. Hubs and I just moved in together, put a shelf for my healer, got a small argument, but now we laugh about... Oh yeah, no, in the in the moment, it's like, oof, yep. Anytime that I've done that, and I've kind of gone, okay, let's go get some food. <laughs> because it makes everything better. Everything. Uh, what did you need to test, Cope? Hello. Welcome in. Um, there's one in Everton Park. There you go. Japan countryside. I don't think there's any here. Look, maybe not. Maybe not. Fire Mage kind of looking to it. Fire Mage is good fun. I'm not very good at it, but I enjoy it. And that's what matters for the most part. Depending on the group you're with, honestly. Let me stay away from Miss Helix. Tell me what steps you want me to do. Look, Dupe knows what's up. Yeah, I've done karate more time. I've been bounce the most impressive bruises for fitness. Yep. Yep. She didn't think it was motivational ASMR speech. Just here for it and realized what was happening. Yeah. Yeah, look. It happens sometimes, Dirt. It happens. But that's okay. We try to educate. And if we can't... We try to educate. And if we can't... You know, we've, we've done our best. We've, we've tried to better the world one person at a time. If the if that person refuses to see our side and blatantly ignores it, then it is what it is. That's okay. Move on. More important shit in life. Mm. And thank you again for the sub. Welcome on in. It is in the room pencil and chipped his tooth. Oh my god, that's one powerful pencil. It would interest me to ask what the pole exercises do for your body. What the hell doesn't it do, honestly? Um, so... It is strength head to toe. So, um, for like the first part, um, you know, if you're bracing yourself 
Uh, you can't just kind of relax down. If, if you're, so if you've got one hand up and one hand down and you're off the ground and you're bracing, you can't just relax into that bottom arm. You've got to be like pushing and then you've also got to be pulling up from the top one. So you're working like all the muscles of your arms there. Obviously your shoulders, especially from like the, the lifting and the twisting and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, shoulders are a big thing. Core, uh, like <laughs> core is everything. Best abs of my life are from pole. Um, almost every single move you do, in order to get into it or out of it, you need to either crunch or flex or bend side to side um, using your core muscles. Because the thing is, you can't always, like, if you're grabbing a pole and moving yourself or pushing against the floor, you don't always have, because you're up in the air, you don't have those points of solid to push against or to help you bend. So a lot of the time you have to just do it with sheer muscle power. So you develop that. And your legs, again, you know, if you're launching yourself up, you're also climbing and that kind of thing. And then uh, when you're hanging upside down, you're pulling up with your legs to and, and squeezing and engaging every muscle group in your legs and your thighs, your butt, everything to hold you on the pole um, cardio because you're using all of your muscles at the same damn time. And if you're doing any kind of dance routine with the pole moves in it, that's also your cardio built in there as well. It is, it is total body, like total body. I, I, I cannot like, yeah, <laughs> total body. Um, stay well, listen, indeed. Yeah, my passionate talks. Yes, is the fear talks. Amazing core workout as well as thigh and arms. is literally everything, yeah. The Fiamma rants. Look, they're fun. Ooh. I can get a new mount. All right. So is that, that's mount. 661. Where is it? Where did you go? Ah, oh, there you are. If Yama talks emotes, what does it look like, Zam? Ah, oh, maybe, 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 maybe we need. I've seen a few people when I'm doing my Fiamma talks use like a notes emote. Like someone has a book out and they're taking notes. Maybe that's what we need. <laughs> Maybe you want to learn fetch. <laughs> I'm so confused. You're saying this is a reasonable consequence of this action. It's expected that harassment causes distress. It's not expected that pole dancing or being on the internet results in harassment. Yeah, wholly and completely fucking unreasonable. Those result in harassment. Agreed. Thank you, Jack. Yeah, endorphin and other hormones. Yes. Like that after where my brain cut and like, ah. Oh. Why? No, I, okay. Well, I'm sorry that it sent, but I'm not sorry that you said it, because thank you, I appreciate it. I used to do karate almost two years, semi seriously yellow, orange, and almost green belt. Nice root, awesome. Amazing plus this footage on TikTok, it mostly made me want to try. I don't have a pole equipped gym in my city. Yeah, they're, look, they are popping up more and more. Like when I started pole, uh, the gym I went to was like, there were only a couple. Now there's like seven or eight just in the city alone. Um, it's, yeah, it's definitely growing. Mmm, <laughs> cool and healthy stuff. I seen you drink once and mmm, because I've been doing this too much. <laughs> it's because I've been doing this too much. It's also consistency without drinking several times. I'm chronically dehydrated. I don't know the difference. Um, is it bad for me to say that going to gyms at a co-ed worries me because I'm not super not uh, I'm super not comfortable with my body and would get self-conscious working out in front of guys? No. Um, no, that's not a that's not an uncomfortable thing. Uh, sorry, that's not a uh, it's not bad to say that. Um, I would I would suggest that like because I felt the same way before going to my first pole gym uh, like class thingy. I bought shorts that were entirely too long for doing pole because you need to grip with your thighs um trying to think one of the trainers said get it real close to your hoo-ha there you go that's yeah cool so um you like you need skin grip that far up your legs 
to be able to do some of the basic moves. Um, so you are, but the thing is, everyone's wearing that. Everyone. Everyone. Regardless of their shape, their size, their gender, their anything. Everyone is wearing that because you have to to be able to grip. Um, there are now, uh, I've got a pair of leggings. Whoa. It was leg day today and my legs are just, God, I'm dying. Um, oh, can you see that they're shiny? Can you see how they're shiny? So the shiny is sticky. It's silicon. Um, let me show you that. Um, see if I can get this to show up. Do you see that pattern? It's a fucking phoenix. Uh, yep. So um, these are expensive as hell. Pretty sure these cost me like 160 bucks. They're in US, so they look they look cheaper, but the conversion rate gets you. Um, they're full length, all the way to the bottom, and they've got a, a little hole, yeah, hole in the bottom to stick your uh, heel through, um, so that you can get grip on the top of your feet as well, because that's a place you grip in pole. Um, but they're often used for winter, because winter's bloody cold, and you still want to train in winter, but you don't want to freeze. Um, but they also help with grip. They help because they're, they're super, 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 super skin tight because they have to be. Um, because if you've got something that's loose on your skin and you grip and then you let go of your hands and your pants shift around your leg. Are you quite all right there? That's odd. Um, but they do cover more skin. I would, I honestly, I would recommend, um, what happened there? I would honestly recommend starting training on skin, not with pants, uh, simply because, um, training your body, because it does hurt, like, skin grip hurts, it stings, uh, but that that feeling passes very quickly um the bruises like you bruise pretty badly but after a couple of weeks of bruising in the same place you stop bruising there uh so being able to train your body to to do do that kind of stuff um is good so i wouldn't start with the pants um but they are an option for kind of uh later on if you need them and that kind of thing because uh like if you start training with pants and then you decide okay i'm gonna wear shorts now you're pretty much going back to step one and having to retrain all those tricks again because they hurt in ways that they just didn't hurt or they tug on your flesh in ways that they just didn't tug on your flesh when you were wearing pants. You have to relearn them all over again, basically. Whereas it's transferable the other way. You can learn it with skin and it tra transfers perfectly to wearing pants. Um, but yeah, like the, the key thing is like everybody in the whole damn place started from somewhere. Everyone and they're all doing it in the same outfit. Um, and nobody is there to look at you or your body. The, the trainer is there to look at the shapes your body is making and to help you, like, you know, straighten this leg or squeeze harder here, move your foot here just a little bit around there. But no one gives a shit what you look like. Like, they just don't. They don't care. <laughs> they're there to make money from training you or they're there to learn some new tricks or they're there to get fit or they're there to ex enjoy themselves or whatever it happens to be, and they do not care about you, apart from your safety. That's it. <laughs> Speaking from experience, no one gives a shit. Like, class one, everyone was kind of like... And then three minutes in, no one cared. Everyone was just like, yep, yeah, okay, cool, let me kind of get my leg over here. And and then it was like, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, do you need? And they're like, yeah, I can't quite get my leg. Can you just like grab my ass and move my hips that way? Uh, are you sure? Yeah, just, can you just, and then you just kind of, you know, hands on their ass and push that way so they can grab their leg on the right place. No one cares. Like, I mean, obviously, again, you know, just there that the consent was, yep, but no one cares. Um... I love all I make things explode and just kidnap Jasper for bubble tea. You can order your own from the internet. Bubble tea club. Very easy. Very, very easy. Super easy. It's rate of fire a lot. GG. All the hydration. Now that timing. I know. Wasn't it perfect? Someone better. Oh, excuse me. Well, there are nine clips, so I think I'll have to go through those later because I have a feeling 
It may be hate clips, but that's fine. You um, are not ah! prepared. Cricket? Hello, lovely. How are you? How is your stream? What's happening? Seriously amazing. My luck is trash. <laughs> that took me so many hours. Good lord. A spicy stream. Yeah, a little bit. That's okay. Don't know what this is. Blame mods for stuff. Stop scrunching. Any other salty title people here? This is abusive mods. Oh, no. Um, people have got as almost the perfect group. It is, right? So, so cute. So when she fishes for eight hours. Yep. Certification currently. A boop emo, not sure on the definition, but enjoy. Amazing, Kaz. A lot of trainers will say there's no specific way to train one body part. The majority of exercises work out most of your body. Yeah, but not like boulders. I mean, I'm sure there are some that do, but yeah. Boop is when you boop a snoot. Here's the boop. Nice core training, like low crawling on legs and hands, and we start commuting by crawling. Yas, just try not to get hit by any vehicles. Um, let's see. I'll be like, go to check doors, listen to it. Gonna go check bot later. No worries, Zam. See you next time. See you next time. Here's my question then Do you think being a male doing pole dancing exercises, their penis would get in the way? Uh, some moves, yes, most moves, no. Literally, some moves yes, most moves no. Uh, the bigger problem is that many guys have more hair uh, on their legs, particularly. Uh, more hair means less skin exposure, means less grip. Um, yeah. But no, um, like, the, the guys that I have pole danced with have done... Firstly, you guys, you bastards. So, like, from from my experience, like, and and genetically speaking, I'm trying very, very, very hard to not like do the uh, you know gender being like sex versus gender, all that kind of stuff. Like, please be aware that I'm trying to take this conversation as delicately as I possibly can. Um, but uh, like, people with double X chromosomes usually genetically speaking end up having, and because of hormones and stuff like that, having a lot of lower, like lower body strength. Whereas people with XY chromosomes and therefore different hormonal balances and all that kind of thing tend to have more upper body strength naturally. So it's easier for, for, uh, cisgender guys, easier for cisgender guys to build shoulders and muscle, and it's a bit harder for them to build leg, whereas for cisgender women, it's easier for us to build, like, leg and, and butt and all that kind of stuff, and it's harder for us to get shoulder and arm strength. It's, like, from, from what I've noticed and from what I've seen and from what I've read, that's kind of the way that those things tend to happen. So, for me, I, it took me three months to learn how to invert. To, and to invert in pole dancing, you, you grab the pole, you pull yourself up, you pull your legs up, like you, you pull your knees to your chest, then straighten your legs and you shoot up with your core and push your hips up, hips up against the pole, and then you wrap your legs around in a very certain way and then you let go of your hands. And you're hanging upside down like this from the pole. That's an invert, basic invert. It took me three months of doing pole and then they started to teach me how to invert. And from there, it took me about another six weeks to actually get it. The guys class, it's the first thing they learn. And they straight away. Because they have that upper body strength that helps them pull through and get themselves up there. And the core strength that does that. Whereas climbs and, and laybacks, uh, a layback is when you climb up the pole and you have the pole between your thighs, you cross your legs over and then you lean back and you're only holding the pole between your thighs, no other contact, and you just like stretch yourself out and then lay down basically. Uh, guys have a lot of trouble doing that because they can't get their hips to rotate in the certain way to grip the pole as it's needed. And they don't have thick thighs that literally save lives because they prevent you from knocking your head on the ground. <laughs> uh, so they, they can't grip in that way. Whereas we, again, we get it really, really quickly. Uh, we meaning cisgender females that were in my, in my class with me. Um, it was a really easy one for us to learn. So there's there are some that are easier and more difficult depending on your particular body arrangement, like where you hold your natural strength. Um, it is like we had we had one girl in my class because the place that I went had guys classes and girls classes. They weren't 
separated by walls or screens or anything like that. It was a co-ed gym, but the class was designed for girls and a class designed for guys. Of course, they would they allowed guys to go to the girls' classes and girls to go to the guys' classes, and it was all everything was all fine. But um, in terms of what they taught was was slightly different because it was easier to do, and the guys learned less dancey shit. And we learned more dancey shit because we wanted the routines, whereas they were taught to show off their masculinity. And yeah, it was hilarious. Um, But (laughs) anyway, um, uh, I forgot where that story was going. Right. No, I had one of the one of the girls in my class, one of the women in my class, I should say, sorry, um, was was skinny. She was like stereotypical hot girl, like very, very slim, beautiful set of abs, all that kind of stuff. She had a thigh gap. The rest of us were just a little bit chunky, or chunkier. I don't have a thigh gap. Thigh gap is like, obviously, you know, you have to have a whole lot of less thigh volume, but you also have to have your hips orientated in just such a way that your leg bones part in a way that allows you to have that thigh gap that was apparently really desirable like 10 years ago. She had a thigh gap, naturally, just part of the way that her body was oriented, uh, oriented. Um, she could not do a layback. It was physically impossible for her to do a layback because her legs did not go close enough together to grab the pole. So when, when we're doing it, we crossed our ankles, right? Cross, cross at the ankles. So like the, she crossed at her knees and still didn't have enough thigh grip to, to be able to lie back without her hands. Um, so like, look, all body types, it's just... Some things will be more difficult for others than others and all that kind of stuff. Mm. 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 Screen is a of square and Enix and Enix is name play on the word for it. Oh, that's where Enix came from. I did know that the name was a merger. I was like, yeah, Square, because someone said, what, what was Squeenix? And I'm like, because I didn't say Squeenix, but I said Square Enix, but I speak fast, so it must have run together. I'm like, you know, like Square and Enix, like... I don't know what an Enix is. So they go. Short for Phoenix. Didn't know that. I mean, like, give a crap about imprints and gyms and the beefhead egotistical type dudes who think fat people don't belong in the gym, in my experience. Um, those people don't tend to go to pole, gy- ch- pole gyms either. Because they don't understand just how strong it can make you. Because they just pump iron and, and lift weights and, and that's it. Um, but each to their own. Each to their own. Mm. I finally got to the raid. Mm, doesn't get that like up there. Mm, I politely disagree here. Hmm. Raid raiders indeed. Hello, raiders. Welcome in. Zoe and Poker and Jay and and Koaz. I love your name. And and Shockwave and Lights Out. Welcome everybody. And Delsid. And fly and cricket. Hello, I'm doing well, thank you. We had a we had a bit of a discussion earlier because we had someone who had some very um, disagreeable opinions about me and stuff. Anyway, it's fine. It's fine. I'm doing. I'm honestly doing really, really well. Having a fantastic day. How are you, my dear? How is your stream? Tell us all about it. like the ones here. Yeah, I'm trying real hard to catch up. I'm currently uh, eight minutes behind. Big Pokemon Go ready stream. Yay! Oh, that's so good. I'm glad you had fun. That's brilliant. I don't play Pokemon Go. So there's a lot of people looking for it. Make it a try. Yes! Hair could be pulled out in the spin and that sucker would hurt. Um, Depends on the spin. Most spins, you don't actually grip the pole too hard with your legs and stuff because you don't want... You want to spin, not... Hold on tight and stay still. Uh, and also spinning poles exist. So the pole actually rotates in place. So you grab grab on and hold your beautiful thing and then it just kind of moves you. It's kind of fun. Uh, very disorienting though. Learning how to spin on a spinning pole is super different. Um, first time I did, I nearly puked because I didn't... It's physics. If you make something smaller and closer to the pole, it'll spin faster. And if you lean out it'll slow down, right? But what happens when a pole spins up, it speeds up and you go, crap, don't want to fall off. Yeah, it makes it go faster. (laughs) I got so dizzy. I I legitimately nearly puked. I absolutely fell on my face. 
I uh, didn't injure myself, but I, I managed to get off and was like, whoa, smack, um, and then sat down for a bit. <laughs> Good fun, though. Good experience. Neke, Draz, Like, Raven, Thor, Great, and Cat. congratulations to all of you on your bonus Well done. Well done. Um... If you decide to re-download, let me know. I hope you catch up on game things. Yeah, it's about to travel the world playing it. Oh my god, Cricket, that's amazing. Oh my god, I'm so happy for you. That's so cool. So cool. Really enjoy it. Nice people help with raids and tasks. Extra loot. If a reference buddy too, brilliant. Yeah, get Cricket to re like refer you. Get the get the bonus fun stuff. Oh my goodness. Isn't it so cute? So cute, strong legs. Ooh. Check your cache. Okay, I will do that. I will check my cache. Um. Good. Uh, yes, follow Fear on Instagram. I'm not gonna read all of it out. I'm just gonna skip over it quick. Uh, get mood only. Do you want to leave his behind? Which one? Twenty twenty badge. Dino is so cute. Yas. Here we go, there's the emote only. Look at you all. Super cute. Wait to finish using Need and Raid gear. Out for now, no worries, Nee. We'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out. Add a few more tunes to the mix. Literally, I have two of every class at 60. I don't need more before Dragonflight's extra two. No design to not go to the gym after HRT surgery. Don't wear form fitting clothes unless wearing my binder. You can't bind an exercise. Maybe one day. I mean, you don't need form fitting clothes to exercise either. Like, I mean, yeah, pole, um, like baggy stuff opens and, and falls apart and not falls apart but like if you're going upside down it falls down and all that kind of wonky stuff but it's um like you absolutely can wear super baggy clothes to to exercise in 100 percent oh wait i have to go downstairs i mean sweatpants were originally designed as a as an exercise that's why they call sweat pants hoodie and a and a pair of tracksuit pants are uh, and track suit pants <laughs> track suit jumper like they're they're baggy they're designed to be uh conservation of angular momentum yas is that to ensure an extra strain on set of heart um i think it's because it's like a binders compress everything and so you can't expand your lungs properly, can't get air enough. And so like, I've I've heard of people like passing out and stuff like that because they can't get enough air and oxygen while they're trying to exercise. But that's very anecdotal, read on the internet kind of stuff. Um, but so I could be wrong. That's a chest piece. Hey, Jazz. If I upgrade to a set piece, What's it going to do to those eye levels? Because either of those could be set. Music. Apologies. We really supposed to give the bind you need while working out. Yas. Uh, boxes wear heavy clothes during training specifically to make it harder and for weight management. Pants and convert to tear. That's a chest. That's a cloak. Yeah, it's a chest. It's a 275 chest. <laughs> they stay the same, so take the chest. Yeah. Actually, let me... Real quick, like. I was bad at breathing right when I do push ups. I can believe the breath and workout thing. Yeah. Yeah. Me, like, doing the, the really, like, intentional force out of breath during the difficult part is the only thing that literally keeps me breathing during a workout. It's stupid and ridiculous. I am a numpty. So when it is inaccurate, the secondary stats will change. Ah, uh, right, of course. Damn. <sighs> because the thing is, it's a 275 from a 252, but it's a 272 from a 246. So it's like three item levels difference, but it's six item levels difference for the items. Highest level, uh, level chest, yeah. You knew about best is about on mage, yes. Yeah, and uh, the recommended um, recommended slot for my other legendary is gloves, which is where it already is. So, ha ha ha! Oh, I got a 13 top, Jess. That's a tasty key. Just 
Just as we're main start secondary stat budget. Perfect. Apparently the legs were the better upgrade for, for everything, but yeah, no, I'm gonna upgrade them, so. I'm gonna make him into tier so I get my two set. Lucky I'm a DK, why? Why, what? Is that a ha-ha sound? I don't know, just a sound. Problem? So just weight training a little harder. Having to press everything the more you buy and the less chest inflation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But no, um, there are some, like... There are some really good sports bras out there. Like... Um, my... The sports bras I have are built to be shaped because I get... Like, I'm, I'm really uncomfortable. Like, my flesh is uncomfortable. Not, not like, my body image type of deal. Like, obviously, we're talking about different things. But I'm physically uncomfortable if a, a sports bar, a sports bra presses me too flat. Like, my boobs hurt. Like, legitimately. They're not, they're not even that fucking big. I don't know why my body is an idiot, but it is. Um, so, I have to, like, the ones that I have have shaping in them to, but the fact that there are ones that, press me so it's flat that it physically injures me tells me that there are some pretty compressive sports bras out there. And if they're marketed as sports bras, may still be saved. they should be fine to sports in. Should, under most circumstances. But yeah, definitely a good tip there. If that's something, obviously, um, comfortable with. Uh, double switch and try it single, not enough for me. CC myself, CC stuff myself in top. Oh, those boots stand Lego boots. Oh crap, that's right. I was going to do the Lego thing. Where it's down, top bottom, isn't it? God damn it! I'm very good at everything. Can't you tell? Um. I would imagine that there are sports bras out there designed specifically for mask presenting the uh, mask people. So I'm not sure what the correct terminology here is, and please correct me if I'm if I flub anything. I, I please do. Um, but you might not even have to go double. It might just be that you're looking for a specific brand of sports bra to help with certain things. You know, possibly. I, I I don't know. I haven't looked into this market. It's not it's not a product that is aimed at me. So um, it's a uh, yeah. <clears throat> so why does it have this? Oh, because it doesn't do any, it doesn't actually make it tier. Okay, that's right. There you go. He's got a two set. A lot of well-endowed athletes will flatten their chest as much as possible, which sports bras can achieve. Uh, because let's face it, two heavy lumps of fat and glands. There are glands in there. Come on, let's. let's if it was just fat, it'd be a lot easier to manipulate. <laughs> there's there's glands in there. Um. I'm doing sports, just isn't comfortable. No, and it's not very aerodynamic either. So, like, flattening everything out and, and redistributing it as much over as much area as we can uh, is, yeah, definitely a thing. Uh, just let me remember I think it was Target. Let me see if I can find it. Um, I have to double bra for gym where it's uncomfortable. Fair. Totally fair. Do do be careful, as with anything, you know, um, off-label use is, is always something you need to be careful with. Uh, but... Yeah, because I imagine if you're doubling up on sports bras, you could end up having the same effect as a binder, which can be bad for your chest and all that kind of stuff in terms of trying to breathe. But as long as you're being careful and everything's okay, then yeah, definitely. There's no no judgment, just a concern for health, promise. Um, you know, that targets for an MLS men's soccer player wearing one, uh, showing it off after scoring a goal. Oh, cool. Well, that might... Uh, hang on a second. That might be... If that's men's soccer, that might be like a, a chest 
brace or a chest bandage, not a sports bra. Not what we're talking about, potentially. Not sure. Ah, <sighs> so many magical products on the market these days, eh? Blizzard loves us. They want to give us more chance for ethics. Munch managed to get through. So, I don't know if I have to get out of take out of my cache. It's either a weapon, a weapon, a ring, a ring, or a helmet. Do we go? How high item upgrade? level is the weapon? There, I can get a PvP weapon, so it's upgradable, or I take a 265 weapon. Are you ever going to be able to upgrade a PvP weapon to 265? Mm -hmm. It's currently at 263. I'm not even I'm sure the extra transmissions. Well, that would make sense, Shiba. That would make sense. And I mean, that, so I was playing with the hunter on the weekend, and I got more. him to 1900. Stability, and I'm like, boosted. yeah, of course, of course. Well, just making sure that it doesn't it. like compress you too much but to the point that you the have weapon, difficulty breathing. That's the only concern. From, well, probably not the jailer. only concern, but the big one. Yeah, no. um, you are on the priority. Sort of like health monitors, feed med information back to the medical team. Uh, That's so super cool. That's 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 super cool. Yeah, probs not. Unfortunately, yeah. probs not. Keep this information into this. Zembo's going, yay, it's Serena Williams to build a bra like product from the Will and Dad. This allows you to breathe. Oh, cool. There you go. Interesting for just being this much more petite than crazy. Oh, yeah, I can drag everyone down to Raid Channel. That's probably logical. That's like you're making balloon animals. <laughs> I wonder what difficulty we're doing. I have no idea. Uh, I found one for swimming. Uh, for yeah, I've got a couple of things cool. I want to bring up. Like, nothing bad. But first thing uh, you guys hopefully would have seen, and, and you know, my stupid bloody announcement today uh, sign ups, but the Friday night, um, normal raids. So. Pretty well open to anyone at this stage. Kush uh, will be leading them. So uh, oh, anymore. Oh, oh no! Make them on. I can imagine. Wait, it's got to happen once every uh, couple of imagine. blue moons. Um, uh, Tomboy <laughs> X. It's around. I saw something about yeah, it. Queer transport bras, MJ, all genders, and non-binary. Bit easier. Like it's Pride Collection. It's crazy. Uh, we will be dropping normal pretty soon, I imagine, uh, on um, main raid night. So it's probably if you're after any loot, it's probably a good one. Uh, also, if you've got mates oh, or what okay. have you that want to have a stab at raiding, like it's as far as I'm concerned, no worries whatsoever. They're more than welcome to join because we will be having a full pose. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it's kind of fun to play the old uh, every now and then. Um, Kraz, am I able to drop the link to the server in like my Discord so people can join if they've just heard that in stream and want to join you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, All I right. can set up cool. a. I can set up a, set up a channel. Uh, be a follower stuff for that as well. As a rank, yeah, we can do yeah. that, and that would be cool. Awesome. All right, cool. So, if you heard that, guys. Cool. Uh, <laughs> so I might be Although I'm streaming too, so it's whatever. We've sort of been approached by uh, the ex original GM of this guild, who has been playing Alliance for a long bloody time, uh, and he doesn't really want to leave Alliance. He wants to stay there, but him and a four or five mates want to start raiding. Again. Um, so they've sort of Already. again. Well, it would it would help us a lot. Um, I have sort of said, look, let me get back to you. Cushion, Stick, and I have obviously just chatted about it. 
we're sort of open to it, but I wanted to be really clear with you guys, and I will be really clear with them if this, if this does go ahead. They're not there to recruit unless we're really desperate. Like at the moment, we're sort of half recruiting for other Raiders where we need it. Uh, so for them coming on board in 9.2.5 would be awesome. It would solve a lot of our issues. I'm really nervous about it pushing us to a 30-man Ray team plus. Like I think he, you know, the, the idea got sort of pushed that oh, but if we had a raid team that was big enough, 10, but we had to work together still, but we could raid separately, I was like, no, no. I don't want to have a bit of a... We, you know, we, for those who have been around long enough, we've gone through two phases where we've got two fucking big clicks and everything just goes against it. And if you don't know everyone, I don't know, I just never feel quite comfortable in such a big group. So, so my thing is that we're a guild, we'll share a community, we'll share a Discord, we can have alts go to their guild and vice versa. So like, it'll still be a Carpe DM. It'll just be an alliance for us so you can play on both. Hopefully we can do a lot of that group activity together. They're big, like they're big keys as well. Yeah, and they love their keys. So they're definitely more about that. But uh, a few of them do want to raid as well. And uh, one of them's definitely a tank. Uh, who he taught Crows how to tank. Who know. He taught me a fucking tank so he can yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, come on, I'd like to think I had some input in that. I think you're a You never lady. gave me the aggro push. You taught me how to tank properly, yeah. <laughs> you told me how to, you told me talking about a half tank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still, he's still learning how to tank. Yeah. When are they hoping to introduce this cross, uh, cross um, ally thingy? Next patch. 925 yeah. sometime. So, so next so. year, it is what, a month or so away? Oh, at least. Way longer than that. It's at least three months away. Yeah, yeah, we've got a few months for it. So, like, it's it's not going to help us right now. But um, essentially, essentially, like, I'm pretty open to it. I just want I want to make sure that we don't lose our identity as a guild either. So, yeah, she's stopping her, so stopping her, like. Avoid opening up because that's been the issue where you, people come in, they'll try and do that. It's big and then it doesn't work. It's, yeah. Basically, well, with, with a guild that doesn't raid, it's just picking up five people with it. There's only like four or five of them. I can pick that. I'll, um, I'll definitely get more information if anyone sort of violently gets that. And, and like I said, I have some real big Prepare issues yourselves. that could occur. The I'd like to think they won't, but against I won't know until I talk a little bit more. I just want to He's right. That kind of stuff is really dangerous. dangerous. Champions, Not even 24 take hours. The fight to the jailer. It was something that was brought up previously, but then they went to a lion we somewhere now. Lots of guilds have communities, I guess you call it, where there's a whole load of friends in one community. You can be in different guilds, you can do different things, but you're in a community. And if there's a spot yeah, open yeah. for someone, then they come. Which which we could do, that could be a, an on top of uh, for this. But they, they essentially will create a guild, which is Carpe DM as well, and we'll share the Discord. We can't really share the guild chat, obviously, which sucks, but we'll essentially raid with them. Or they, they will just... Oh, raid with us. Raid no, we should say. There's a difference there. There's, yeah. We have the numbers. Like I said, um, food for thought. Have a think about it. Uh, any any questions any issues anything that i haven't brought up here and I maybe haven't thought about please message me it's this is obviously fucking months away if it happens at all or message me but happily to grab them not that good at pvp and the ones that i have built but they'd be all right they'd be they can they're like well i know i've not done jailer still used to be a, as a warrior <laughs> i didn't think we were doing jailer show for that but that's fine we've got our three you just need um, the arms so we can do it So mind control. Who? Crazy yeah, I'm back. What? I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not a fond lover of two raid teams. It's that yeah, you know, I don't the want. team, the B team, the good peoples, the bad peoples. It, it causes friction. It's not worth it. Yeah, there might be two raid teams. Yeah, we don't want to do that. I don't think any of us want to do that, which is good. <laughs> And I don't really want to do myth. Like I'm happy. It's one of those things where if we have the numbers to do mythic, I'm happy to do it. But I don't like benching people. I don't like having that. I'd rather just all go together and you know actually be able to play the game and have fun rather than being like I'm going to play tonight and then sitting on the bench. I just hate that lot idea and concept. Sorry, Taz. Let me just clarify. This is this is nobody from the last 
at least six years there. This was the original Guildmaster who made Carpe Diem. Um, has been around a few times. Uh, come back and quit WoW and here and there, and uh, has essentially. Uh, he's really excited for uh, cross faction play, um, but he hasn't played with us since Myths of Pandaria. Hey, no, he didn't. We did some. We dabbled with him a little bit in Hustle Master before he went to the lines. No, the mechanics, yeah, it does. So that was a try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like was, no like, more jail. I assume so. And in saying that, I know a lot of yeah. his guild when he because he split his guild up from Bath to go Change to Rune P1 Jumpy Hall, Rune P2 Good Mare, Rune P3 up. Soak. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, please, please, My targeted ads lately have all been Wailera. All of them. All mellow. It's really funny. <laughs> really funny. Oh, okay. There will definitely ever, never, ever be. <clears throat> Alright, mods, uh, it's your turn to be active in chat. Uh, when I am doing this, I will not be paying attention to, to chat because I don't want to wipe the team. That's like. Yeah. Number one important thing in raid is making sure that you don't fuck them over. Um, so. I'm going to be not as active. <laughs> That might be a good way. Uh, we mm. could start a carpet. <laughs> <laughs> mm. But yeah, what you heard Crowns talking about earlier was that they're doing an alt run on Fridays now. Um, What's it? Baby to da 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 Baby to da 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 And there's going to be a sign up in their Discord for it. So I asked if I could put a link to their Discord in That's our Discord. That's the guild in the left. Said, yeah. Click um, the other one. Okay. Is there, so, is there yeah. a way of sharing that out? Because that might be a good way as well. Fear, and we can base it through that, maybe. Just until I can figure out the uh, a, a, a good way of doing it in Discord. Who's squishy here? Me. Speaking of, Kraz. I didn't Don't get to change your aura. Uh, do we you can use retribution aura. Yeah, you can use you red know. aura. I, got I was like, Alenia's not even Alrighty. here. I forgot. Um, I forgot you switched over. Tiny. He's gonna get grub or error with two hits. Let's just get. Is your caps not key broken? One. If we Does get you? three, I will cry. We, would, we are I not getting any of the okay, for funny. the rest of the day. I'll get. No, I just opened my cache, took a weapon. I know it's gonna happen just because that's the odds. That's the game. Uh, we don't have a cauldron, do we? This time, because in the day. Uh, no, we probably need to look into that when he's not around. Because unfortunately, he, I think he's gonna be busy for a couple of weeks by the sound of it. Sure, I've got the thing. I might be able to knock a couple together after tonight. <laughs> That'd be cool. Ooh, free yeah, I'm working on my rep for my alchemy at the moment, so. I think Maz might have them, he just doesn't have any shade stones. Uh, you, Ghost and Maz, you guys good? <laughs> Don't die. Yeah, I was gonna pinch some pots, but they don't. <clears throat> <clears throat> have any flasks or? No, I got a flask. I just haven't got any pots. Agi or phantom or something. I have intellect pots. Well, that's not gonna help you. <laughs> it's not gonna help me. You are correct. Well, it might. It might make your spells a bit stronger. He's a teddy bear. Make you intelligent. Yeah, get out of the mechanics fire. faster. Ah, uh, moon fire. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> oh, that's kind of cool. That's one way of doing it. That, that will He's busy. Out. All right, I'll do a last ready check. Um, um, I put okay. down some food. We'll go and rush through this and jump into heroic. 
With that community, the invite member button is greyed out. Could you stick the invite link, like the URL, in the Discord somewhere? And I can share that. Uh, yep, give me... No, no, not right now. Like, I mean, sorry. Sorry, I meant, like, in future That's... at some point. Thank you. Oh, like, I was looking, trying to figure out how to make it, like, a <laughs> link and all sorts, as you said it, and I, yeah, I couldn't figure it out. Perfect. I'll do that. Yeah, it's all right. No, not high priority. Here we go. <clears throat> Everything's fine. <clears throat> Every time you open up your battle net, you've probably got to see his name. That's what I'm saying. Hello, yeah. Hey, me. I'm cute. Oh. Bombs in the holes. Oh no, there's one DK. Pillar, go hide behind the pillar. That's what that is. I'm right a DK that can teleport. Next bombs, and if you after the bombs come and stuck on tanks. Get ready for an LOS. Find shelter. LOS. I'm trying to do too much. I can raid. I'm good at raiding. <laughs> Alright, that's easy. Cool. That's the loss break. If you if you're outside of the pillar, you get MC'd. Target you. Uh -oh. Room in pit. Okay, go. Jump in pit. Um tank combo in ten seconds, get ready for a stack. Oh, it's supposed to be near the boss. Shit, okay. And stuck on the back of it. Run. Away. That was easy. Okay. Your fate is sealed. Thought I was gonna need to blink, but I don't need to. We have a lot of sight coming shortly. Get ready to LOS. Find shelter. Hello. Oh, I saw it. Tank combo. Oops, stuck on me, Jesus. That was not. That was the whole time. Well off. Bombs away. <coughs> oh, I shouldn't. Coming this way, a bit cross. Too busy cool. learning, not watching my cooldowns. Tank combo in 10 seconds. Oh, Utilize those bombs and back with the tank. There's a bomb in there. You get ready for LOS. Find shelter. Oh, line of sight. New DBM is really fucking have, good. Does T always pull columns up during this phase? Yep. Phase two. We're getting for a phase change here, so. Sixty-six <clears throat> percent, maybe. Knocking back. Go for the knockback. Move away from the middle and some edges. Pillar? Spread. Okay. Big blue swirly break a pillar. Gotcha. Show the one near us. Watch your step. Show the one near us. There is one on the other side of the room. Oh, yeah, I can boost. I can boost to it. Needed. MC is coming in shortly. Get ready to move towards the middle. And move towards the middle. And stack together. Nick goes two down. We get to kill Jess! Yeah. Knocking back. I'm back. Sorry, I was miles away to see that one. I watch. 
Me. Both of you. <laughs> you ready for an MC shortly? Yeah. Got him in here. Oh, that's good. Down point for a second. Got the knockback right in the hole. Phase change coming in about 10 seconds. Alright, here comes a phase change. Supposed to be. Knocking back. Alright, what? Well, I was in the thing in the shattering. Run the shattering didn't break that last one. Ah. It's gonna phase anyway. I wouldn't yeah. have bothered. It's more just to have us the way to run around. I'm MC'd. On yeah, purpose. Move. Nothing you can do. I didn't fuck up. I don't think I fucked up. Can't fall down the right, moving towards the moon. Phase nope, they all closed. I'm moving back towards the moon. To yep. Yeah. Let me get in position. Um, if it's. Okay. Get to Mag, get him up. Azroth, how's the health bar? Ooh, lust! I know what that means. Spread. Get loosely. Be a knockback Not coming in shortly. Knocking back. Alright, uh, watch out for the knockback. And we're gonna soak the Helps stand between the boss and the middle. Danger, danger. Get rid of the fog, get rid of the move. Which way? Doesn't matter. Defile! Where else is it? I missed that there? ability. Stuck I also up. don't miss ability. Oh, double spirit totem, nice. I am helping. <laughs> Not you always say you miss padding that, Check man. the knockback. Let me away from the edge. Danger, danger. Check to the fall again. Help, sir. Soak. We got a torment after the soak to so spread loosely for it. Rupture. Are we on the ground? Not bad for a learning attempt for me. First attempt on Jayla. Never seen the fight before. Don't jinx it. Oh, good luck on it. <laughs> <laughs> That was awesome. Oh, that's a trinket. That's not what we want. <laughs> Neat. Both of us got the trinket. You don't need it. I'll take it. I'll take it too. Oh my God, I'm the time. Not bad for never having seen the fight before. Go us. Oh yeah, I probably should have. <laughs> <laughs> I just that was fantastic. You you were doing. I do. I read the dungeon journal. And that's, that's about it. Yep. Precisely. Just panicking. What's happening next? I like that fight. That's nice. It's does, a bit does anyone want the, anyone want the, the, the DPS trinket? Um. It's a shit one, by the way. I'm, just, I'm offering it, but it's still shit.
<laughs> You're not wrong. I'm sure someone said it nearly killed them once too. Wouldn't it be good for PvP, bro? Nah, you lose your PvP. <clears throat> that was perfectly enough, Raoul. Thank you so much for that. Congratulations, Seeker. But yeah, that'll remind me not to ask you about it. I'll ask Seeker about it instead. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> no, no, no. <sighs> They'll run away from you. If you'd uploaded, you need... Yes. Yep. Perfect. I think it was going to be baby mod dupe. Okay, you can now zone in again. I'm on a right. Apologize and just leave him there as well. <laughs> no, the damage would break him too soon. Like, surely everyone else's damage would just completely. That'd be great though. Pass my bedtime now. No worries, Meaty. I hope you're resting very, very well. Uh, and yay for suggestions. Hopefully, I'm really, yep. really hope that you can find something that works for you. I know you're probably gone already, but that's. I don't care. Like, yay. I'm so glad. P3, don't stand in black stuff. I'm not standing in anything called Defile. After my 25 heroic Lich King attempts. No, absolutely not. <laughs> like back in Wrath. Nope. Defile? Wrong. <laughs> we do not stand in Defile. Um, MC, did you not purpose to fuck up my phone? No, I said I didn't think I fucked up. Did you know the That's fights great. on heroic there? It's the exact same as normal, just with one extra mechanic on each. Yeah, nah, it'll be fine. I'm, like, not to horn tooth or anything, but I'm one of, learning on the fly is one of my skills, so I'll, I'll be okay. If I'm Can concerned, I will speak right up. First. I believe I shouldn't fall in a hole. <laughs> She's got a good point. GG indeed. Do not take trinket, no. <laughs> well, some people are it's saying got it's Aggie and strength. Yeah, it's, and me, you need to get it's Aggie and strength trinket anyway. It's the chains of domination. Is this one? They, I can't use that. Yeah, that's something that literally spans faster than you can run. Yeah. Except it doesn't actually drop on somebody's head. It just drops near people, which... The reason Lich King one couldn't grow that far, like it would only grow that fast if multiple people were standing in it. If one person was standing in it, you could run out of it. And that was the point. <laughs> Aggressive horn dooting. Look, I'm... <sighs> Alrighty. Well, I want to reassure somebody, no but I don't want to be like, I'm fine. <sighs> uh, we do need to summon Maz. I uh, have the Maz mag. Right. <laughs> hey, what happened to Andrew Grub? I saw him log in no longer. Well done, Rel. Defile in that jailer was like... What the? What? <laughs> <Are> you... <laughs> oh, dear. I know it was... Yeah. Hmm. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. That's okay. Adventure. <clears throat> Fair enough. I'm 257 now. We need to summon still. It was 252 a week ago. <laughs> Might be raging gate, yeah. I enjoy how broken industrial look is. I love it. Oh dear. I really wish we could skip this fight. But it's fun! No, it's not. Just not the kind of fun you're looking for. Just uh, die and go AFK and do something else while we do it. <laughs> Sounds good to me. An officer here. endorses me dying on this. Where the heck is Kraz? Something, something, children, I grow? Maybe? Yeah, that's what I guess. Soon as the tank is here, we can go. Tank's not here, man. <laughs> I'm Biz Brover. I need a healer, too. <laughs> Where are you <clears throat> guys? Where are you? Did oh, you are we that close to? Oh my gosh, we're at forty nine percent for the Shah Toon, Shah Farm. You're in the wrong one. 
How much gold to stand in front of the bosses that spawns P2? <laughs> I'm nice. assuming you, you must have phased in half a second before I did. Glitched so. <laughs> right. into the matrix, excellent. We're good now. Good to rock and roll. We did it. I'm helping. I can pay that. I'm not gonna. All that I got as loot was uh, a dirty nappy for my daughter. 50%! Oh, what, a, what a surprise. Yeah, no. That, that thing's gone. And how did that make you feel? Disgusted. Just say, get hey, on Garrus and go make it. I gotta say, dirty nappy is better loot than what we all got. Yeah, so far away. <laughs> I mean, I he's out of line, but he's got a point. I, I don't think I agree with that statement. Yeah, <laughs> after dealing with him. Um... Can't breathe properly. Urgh. No. Dragon Burr. And now we I stand hit. around and wait. <laughs> Ow. Is anyone getting any damage on? They're just melting that fast. Someone is, that's how they're melting. Bonk. Or is it just everybody doing a little tiny bit and they just fell off? Yeah, probably. Jazz. <laughs> Jazz and Hero. <laughs> <laughs> when did they go in? Find shelter. Spin to win an eternal AoE damage. Alright, right, Judge, do we jump in there? Please, please, please. Oh, please, damn uh, it. I am. Um, I'm gonna knock back. The uh, automatic dude in front. Watch out for the wave coming in the middle of us. You want to take the ball if you can. Uh, to be clear, I've never seen a heroic boss in here either. Just. <laughs> this is fun. This is honestly the most fun kind of rating. Is, is going in totally blind. Uh, and succeeding! <laughs> Damn it. Time? I'll waste time that really badly. Interesting that my combustion now lasts longer than my rune does. Yeah, yeah, keep doing it. I'll take it back on this one. Yes. Just a thing in the there is jump in shortly. <laughs> Can we cut the one at range so it gets closer to us? No. Jump in the um, shield. You did Find it again. Shelter. What do you mean? I'm not oh, they're right, aren't they? That's fine. It looked like one of them was. <laughs> oh, I'll try harder to not do that next time. Kill the uh, defense matrix. Let's just stand still for a speed up. Let's go kill the other one. I'm in danger! Are you? You sure? Yeah, they were chasing run me. That orb. You have your bubble of shame. Ow. In. Yeah, I wasn't quite close enough. If you can take me, grab I'll run the orb in. If I can fucking get the orb up. Or Jazz can take it. That's just the game. Jazz, there you go. Phase across. 2. 
Now Jazz is apparently going to stand in the face because Jack said so. I'm not getting paid, man. <laughs> Finish off these ads. <laughs> Do we stack? We're not yet. Focus. I think I just want to know. Yep, this fight sucks. It's not the best. I mean, it was kind of cool to foul. It was half cool the first time. It was Ten never minutes. cool. That was a new fight the first time. After that, it I love. Bit. I love to invoke on a bear like this form. It's just like. Wah, 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 wah. Was lost at fifteen percent or eighteen percent or so. Yeah, you're stuck now on three. Yes, now he's dying. Stuck. Mystery, get closer. Stand in the action hollow. Surely we can't see it, dude. Oh. Oh. Everyone's in a bubble. I just see green numbers pumping everywhere. Finish him! The way opens! <laughs> Step carefully! Mortals <sighs> were never meant to enter this sacred ground! Daughter, I I get you will soon daughter. witness the bones uh, that expand your understanding of right existence. Hopefully it won't take as long as Some time, because she hopefully not pooed enough. Of reality, sending you spiraling into insanity! <laughs> That's not daughter. Do you think so? Wants... She's gonna sleep rest well, Shiba. Bye bye. The pattern is flawed. Reality. Anything up to end when you really need to know stop wipes, yeah. We see what crap I've everything's crap. <laughs> it's free really to watch though. Oh that's my I keep hearing all apocalypse. Yeah, it it's bad. apocalypse. Apocalypse! It's telling me that my um I've got my eight Instacast Pyros, so if I hard cast a pyro, I get a mini combust. It's letting me know that that's happening. It also this bar here. Watch it. Not on trash, but like on a boss. <laughs> on trash it probably won't trigger. Unless from Mythic Plus and Jazz is tanking. I mean I was thinking about it. Every time I insta pyro, the number goes up and the timer fills back up. You get a life to kill him. Uh, <clears throat> why would you want to do that? Oh, he's fucking there. God damn it. Six. I mean, it is a fun thing to do, though. I work in my favorite is still just playing the breeze just to grip you off the edge. On, like, just. Environment. In that last raid, you got me a classic. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I've got a video of it. I reckon. Yeah, wasn't it on friggin' I? 
That's what that, that is. was a good one. Yeah, oh, I did it to, I'm pretty sure I did to grub or no, I too. <laughs> I that, no, that was the eye was when I intervened. Now I'm on fire. And he gripped them. As he jumped or something, and so I intervened off the edge as well as somebody else could pull off the edge or something stupid. Maybe he's going to have to spoil. Yeah, it's alright. I'll learn as I go. Totally fine. No biggie. I'm not sure how far they are into Proic, honestly. Um, they raid Wednesdays and Mondays, so I'm probably not going to see any Brom fight tonight Marley's unless we do really well. To off. <clears throat> the They've already not found. I might have to finish the bops. Is there a mechanic up to end and might kill you, but not the raid? Good luck, yeah! You have discovered an ancient That's right. locator. With it, you can access the sacred <laughs> pattern and move yeah. through it. Yeah, so we found the points in the raid. Yes. Yes. To, um, to the right. Uh, actually, let's go do the sausage and blitz that one out of the way. Because we can go that way. The sausage, left, 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 left. Not right. Left. Sausage. I don't know if I can go that way. What do you mean? Just press the... No, no, no. Click the one that's straight ahead. It just takes. Oh, not left. left. Yeah. Okay, straight, not left. Good. Yeah. I was very confused. I'm like, there is not one to the left. What the hell? We, we call it to the left because you immediately go left. Mm. But you can't see that when you've never been in here before going that direction. Can we interrupt him? I tried, but I was. Yeah, so did I. Can we get a dispel on? Where are we at? All right, now I got him. Here we go. All right, Kraz, uh, you can change your aura. Map switch, yeah. It's just like. They're all of a sudden flying in a direction that I don't have a thing for, and I'm like, um. <laughs> you didn't really go AFK checking your daughter. You were too easy to do that. So, what you're telling us is it's a missing link? <laughs> I've got no words. <laughs> Yeah, you do. You just had three of them. I stole them from someone else. Isn't that four words? I believe the words you were searching for that was, that was great. Hey, Kraz, are you still looking for that link? Yeah, yeah. So click invite member, and then there's a drop down arrow box where you can change the settings. Yeah, I was just in there and it's like, not letting me do it. Do, are you Generate the owner of the... Room? Thingy? Are you the one who made it? I am. I am. I don't know why. It's... I just reloaded. But... I might have to do a Google. I've probably got an add-on blocking it. Probably my pet battle add-ons. Quite a few things. <clears throat> Watch out for nothing. Whee! Boy. Um, so I really enjoy the chill of watching someone else raid. This is this is pretty chill. Raids get a hell of a lot more intense than this. Let me tell ya. Now this is this is good. Okay, it's working. Yeah. No. Uh, where's the best place to share that? Then? 
Uh, if it's in my Discord, the Warcraft channel is probably the best bit. Um, if you add a description of what it is and why people should join it, then I can pin it and just tell people to check pins. Because I'm lazy. <laughs> it's true. Oi! You're, I'm oh, allowed to fine. say it. <laughs> I'm your housemate. Alright, the wrong button. Probably will be. Me dying. <laughs> Never mind. That's also pretty good. Mm, Should actually do some tier losses today. I mean, I've got two piece now, so four piece would be nice. Yeah. Well. Test uh, stream. Anyway. So sure, sure, we're pretty for a couple of spicy on tanks. I can imagine. Oh, we've we're got everything. Oh, yeah, shit. Oh, what? Well. Oh, we actually this, or... Fear lazy, never fear busy. I'm running. Fear doesn't do stuff because she's busy, not because she can't be bothered. It's because she doesn't have time. There is a big difference. Stairs. But also pointing people to something that they can do is is so like it's work hard or not. Like work work smarter, not harder, you know? Instead of ah blah 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 doing a thing every time, it's just like, nah, check the pins in the Warcraft channel. Can't heal you, mystery. <laughs> <laughs> the little rat was blocking Yeah, if side. anyone is keen to learn raiding in a really Surprise chill both environment didn't die there, Grub, uh, on a Friday evening on normal, uh, they will likely have a an eye level requirement for joining. I, I had it a will massive be something you can very easily achieve. <laughs> you can very easily achieve just through uh, play in Zerith Mortis, so like open world play. You won't need to do any dungeons or anything like that, I don't think, to, to get. I think they only want 239. From what I was seeing in the discussions before, which is which is pretty easily achieved. Reverse. Not gonna lie, yeah, like easy. that's that's pretty easy. <clears throat> so yeah, definitely worth. Five percent haste in blood. Yeah, but I've got haste. I get haste as well. I got 50, I'm running fifty percent haste. You know the tank line thing no, on crap. Vaguely, 30%. I remember wanting to avoid it. I think. Oh, wait, what was that? God. Oh. You are yeah, dead. Okay. Dead, 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 dead. Uh. Was it? Was it? Because I had aggro. So. I, uh, it, it wasn't to do it. I, uh, I stopped in the beam and jumped and was trying to pour a beer. You meant. But why, Drac? Look, look where my, uh, look where my body is. I'm like, not even near you guys. I was too busy yeah. fucking around up the back. Oh, Why'd they have to run? Route. Why'd they have to run around? We'll have groups one and... Taz, you can be with group two. And then I'll also move the rest people up. Oh, no, that's easy. That one. Yeah, we do we need a feast for peoples, or are we all good? Uh, I can I'll drop, drop one. one. No, I won't drop one. Then. Yeah, okay. Can I get a mage table, please? Still got my three stack. Thank you. You're welcome. Kush was just getting a coffee. So I'll give my feast to you then, sure. like, Oh! <laughs> Understood. So see the tank coming, run opposite direction to get through it faster. Except how many people so, are intelligent? So, soon as Kush is back, basically, super Can't straightforward to fight, uh, we will tank it. Uh, I'll check my marker down so you can kind of see roughly. You tank it between the two where the X is, around there kind of thing. Group will stand like in facing inside towards the middle of the room. Um... And then we follow the tanks around, he'll teleport, we nuke him. Oh, that's only on heroic to see, I think. Pretty straight forward. Is there a KD down? <laughs> Shoot. Hurry up, Kush. Anybody got a mailbox? I have a KD. I need one. Yeah, 
Ah, oh, okay, deep gotcha. An illusion. What, what are you hiding? hiding? Why do I always struggle trying to search this? Oh, excuse me. As soon as Kush is here, we will call it. And then we will kill it. And then we will kill the next boss. Sounds like a solid plan for rating. It's taken his years to come up with that strategy. <laughs> I'm glad you got there. Perfection. It's a good technique. That's well. Absolutely. Ah. Oh. That's that. Can we get a lock port up, please, Maz? So I don't think I'm straight here and go as soon as he's back. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Seeker. Yes, definitely. You should follow Fear on Instagram. And I mean, all the other socials too. Why not? So, that's all there is to that fight. So oh, a healer. Mm. I'm not sure if that priest heals. Maybe? But I've only ever seen them as DPS, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, did Fee get Jess into WoW? Uh, no, we met in WoW. I actually recruited him to the guild I was running at the time. He had never raided before, ever. And applied to us, and uh, I convinced my crew GM that it was worth taking a risk because it means he wouldn't oh, be bringing yeah. any previous guild's bad habits with him. What'd you do? Yeah. Oh, nothing, like. So <laughs> she's just walked in <clears throat> like a milk that is empty. It's fucking half, like half full. Oh, uh, okay. You what did get to handle it first. <laughs> oh, what is. What's Prog Jazz? Where are you guys up to? Higher to the, to the room. Logger in. With the handcuffs. I don't know. He said he was getting coffee to not fall asleep and he would be right back. Or I could jump off the edge and get you right here, grub. Mm. Oh, of course, Ali. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Of course I can. He's here. Alrighty. If a battle triggers a during push. a raid fight, Except please let me know we afterwards. I will forget. Guaranteed. Oh I'm shit. Go with it. <laughs> I hope you don't run off in that time. His voice must prevail. Lost on Paul. That's fine. That's the boss being pulled, by the way. <laughs> On the ad, you know the thing you told you told him to not get hit by. Huh. All right, group one stuck in line. Yeah. 
stuck in nice and close with the healers. We get one yep. Neke and Meteor. Dunno and Root. What's when? Bob and Dr Bob? First. Bob and Dries. <laughs> Congratulations. Well done. Interrupt shot. That's what I second Yeah, Bob and Interrupt. Sorry. In the beam. Uh, two, two in the beam. I need one, you ain't. Nah, was it? I'm gonna take it back off me, Chris. The grant rewards button still isn't working. Is that because I haven't tabbed over to it, I wonder? Sure. I'm watching it so I can tab over and click it. Far more entertaining. Next now it's now it's now it's a real Yeah, the other one. Nothing's gonna beat the Watch me. group two go first. Just... So you're going to the green first. Sure. Watch out for the No, that's not good. That no, it's not. not. Come into this corner, pop your hit and run away from the run away from the second half. Interrupt Just keep running tween. from it until you can safely run through it. You need to taunt. Interrupt four. Interrupt five. Run away, little girl! Run Get that ad down. Cut some up. <laughs> She's now nukeable. Alright, yeah. Now nukeable. Yeah, the side of her. This is a shit spot, guys. Because she decided to. Oh, wait. <coughs> Just dying. What's when? Green first. Then blue. There we are. Stay here. Yeah, just trying to get closer to the green. Oh. That's a fucking wipe there. Oh. Wait, what? Did she throw it out of the green. The blue came. Why did the blue come? I swear I saw green as well, that's why I stood there. Oh, good. Positioning. Yeah, keep that's right. You guys have got it, you can kill it. Aha, I lived! Why did you kill it? Because <laughs> it fucking despawned first. Well, DPS harder, man. You're not pulling enough. Look at that. Ten Come on, pull your weight. It's 11.0, it's man. <laughs> I want more. We gotta cut the um, domination bolts. That's what spoils the puddles. Alright, your yeah, battle's ready to I'm be standing here waiting for Jazz to res. Like, <laughs> what a muppet. Sorry about that, guys. It, bad timing. That's alright. <clears throat> we don't lose that here. It was a 3% wipe, though. Um. Like, I can, but I still don't do it. <laughs> What do you mean? That calling stuff. Yeah, I was, like, I was gonna run away from LA, yeah. but no. It, it happens. I mean, I've I've Present. met a lot of people through Al, like a, a lot of people, um, and a lot of them are transient friends. But I mean, so are a lot of friends in general, you know. Um, I used to tank. Yeah. <laughs> People change as, as <laughs> life changes and all that kind of stuff, and Ouch. that's okay. It's a bit, it feels shit, Excuse me. but it's, uh, that's what it is. Shimmying left <laughs> and right. It was pretty shocking. It was meant to know I can't. Exactly. Yep. You're welcome. I'm trying right? to stay in melee range, and there's friggin' bears running oh, around at 170% move speed. Hey, Daz, how are you? It. As you're reading, yeah, <laughs> just and catching up at that point. Catching up. Yeah, because of backpedaling for this for tanking, I never normally do. <laughs> never usually as bad. 
I don't. I don't have it down normally. It's only because I'm tanking where I have it. Two thousand nine. I was nineteen. <laughs> I've changed a lot. <laughs> it's fine. It'll be good. I am. I am not the human I was when I was nineteen. A lot of my facial features haven't really changed much. <laughs> <laughs> Killed you anyway. But <laughs> who I am has changed dramatically. Yeah. See, it's just you don't listen to my comms. That's not my comms, clearly. I wasn't necessarily a bad person, but um, I do feel like I am a better person than I was in a lot of ways. What's your That's okay. But a lot of teenagers aren't very good people, so. What? Oh, Halo died. That's what they were all exclaiming about. Apparently, I walk with the Halo? Yeah, that's something you can do. <laughs> yeah, group one. I've learned I'm in group two. Perhaps I can control the numbers here. You better tell me if you tell me. Adds up. Interrupt two. Interrupt three. She's got four. Destructive coda. Staggering two. And then she's gonna move, so just. Interrupt two. Interrupt three. Finish off the side. Dagger in group one. I'm gonna move it out of that puddle. Damn it. Did it again. Shockwave. Shockwave. By now, but apparently not. Are you sure? Group. Second that. Group one. Oi. Oh. Halo's coming in shortly. It's gonna come from blue first. Yeah, no, it's supported. Interrupt gonna run through the blue. Interrupt two. Should be fine if you stay with me. Kill this guy. Interrupt three. Interrupt four. This one. Group one. Can't fucking dank it there. You're gonna be cut on man. I'm not even yeah, here. Once it starts, you can't move. He's <laughs> like, I turn to the end. Get down. Yeah, I'm out. The harmony will not be silenced. What's wrong? Destructive vibrato. I'm gonna drag it to the first oh. one. Yeah, 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 focus on everything else. Shockwave. Watch the old arc. Shockwave. Oh, Interrupt three. Interrupt three. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Oh, that was really funny. <laughs> Just wee! <laughs> that was great. I was standing there taunting and it wasn't coming to me. It was just chilling, casting. It's because I'm looking and it's because my thing goes group one up and then group two's down. Does that work? And I see 
Not necessarily. Where is he from? The best part is he's playing two buttons. Yeah, it's too complicated, bro. Uh, we were, we're a lot, if not all of us, different people when younger in a lot of ways. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Even like four years ago, I was a different Rest person. You know, it's like it's, yeah. Let alone fucking, what, 13? But exciting things to people up to this weekend. Uh, to do list? <laughs> um, actually, I'm not too sure. Um, I think Resto is probably It's going to depend on how quickly yeah, I can clear the to do list, but hopefully, maybe a couple uh, man, of keys to, to work on, on my KSM. Quick. Um, but I'd also like to sleep. Sleep would be nice. And groceries and I'm I'm honestly getting to the point where like, I mean it is it is kind of nice like you know Jas and I go and do the groceries together and stuff like that. But um, and we do shop at Aldi, which means it's a bit cheaper than shopping at Woolies or something. But I'm I'm wondering if I have the space in my budget. What's the to just order it and have it delivered because it might end up saving me <laughs> a bit of time. Know. Like, I just, I'm not even like directly on it. I'm like sideways and stuff. it still fucking gets you. <laughs> but I don't know. We'll see. Figure it out. Oh. I get, I'm at the point now where I'm looking for minutes to steal back from my life. How about you, Seeker? What are you up to this weekend? So I'm hearing the variety of responses from the parents of Paradigm. Ah, fantastic! Congratulations, Lawrence. We'll Why are you unlocking Balance of Power on a whole bunch of tunes? It's only half night. Mm, yeah, it's only only okay, we shall look. Thank what? you, we Raven. Rest that. well. Oh, that was... <sighs> that hurt. <laughs> no, it's just that he usually forgets and we don't have to. 30th, thing. have we go on it anyway? Take the break at the oh, end of the raid. We'll finish five minutes earlier tonight, guys. <laughs> I thought this was pretty chill. I had a sit down Bro, dinner with like really. family Ow. and then invited a bunch more people to a cocktail bar afterwards and the whole lot of us moved over to the to the cocktail bar. It was really nice. Just, very, very chill. No, we'll go to it after. Teenagers back then were better than teenagers now. I think friends and Instagram we changed them. The, we should we have, at the end of the year. Yeah, I think the... Relax and, um, I think the constant access yeah, definitely... Change yeah, things what, quite a bit. Uh, I think it's harder. Uh, I wonder if it's easy. I call crap to, out like, I think, yes, I think maybe well, teenagers aren't necessarily oh, worse people. I think the shit ones just have yeah, more right. access no, to their bullying targets and stuff like that yeah, because they can do it twenty four seven. It's not like you go home and home is a safe place anymore. Home, like they can follow you home via your phone. Um, so we're going. And, and Instagram and social media in general, like all of social media is, like people don't share the lowlights, they only share the highlights. So if you're seeing all these other people at your age who are celebrating this award they won and posting photos with their, their significant other and taking all these giggling, hilarious photos with their friends, everything looks like everyone's lives are perfect. And teenagers have a lot more trouble realizing that that's not real versus an adult. Adults have that um, that sense of, well, some adults can, you know, they know that that's not everything, not everything you see. There's there's other things behind the scenes that people may not post, but teenagers have trouble They're, not, sort they're of coming, bro. They're coming. It just takes time. Putting that together. because it just, not, not because they're idiots or anything like that, just because it's not, like, it's, it's brain development, right? I'm sure there'd be people in here who'd be able to tell you this kind of stuff far more eloquently Ooh. than I could. But um, it's that whole sense of object That's permanence. It's like, it's like why um, peekaboo is so effective with babies. Because once you put yourself behind your hands, you are literally gone. <laughs> you no longer exist. And they too. are sad. And then you come back and it's like, oh my god, yay, I love this person. Thank god they're back. You know, so it, but obviously it's not quite the same with a teenager. But there is that um, that, that sense of... This is, they post everything. They're always on Instagram. They're always posting. Therefore, this must be what their entire life consists of. Why doesn't mine look like that? You know? So I think, like, it's social media in general, plus the 24-7 the accessibility to bullying targets and stuff like that has um, exacerbated whatever issues we've got. Oh, it's a break. Um... No such thing is too old for a 30th, too old for an 18th or 21st is definitely a thing. Ooh. 
Ah, uh, Livis says no, I don't know how sad he is going to visit me part of this being hospital and not hopefully out and home by then. Yay! Absolutely! My husband's 40th felt too old for it only because we're out past midnight. This is most cross for you. I hope so too. Besides that, I've worked stuff to do over the weekend. Yay! Out past midnight is definitely not something I do anymore. Yep. Can't remember the last time. Neither do I. Last time for the 40th was probably before I had kids. Uh, only time I'm up past midnight is insomnia. Hello, Lixie. Oh, excuse me. Um. Uh, this. Okay, that doesn't count. Is this Mythic Raid? No, there's not enough people in the raid group to be a Mythic Raid. Mythic Raid requires 20 people. Uh, this is heroic. Sleep is definitely exciting. Agreed. We also have Aldi in the UK. Aldi is, like, in a lot of places now. It's pretty awesome. Uh, but they don't deliver. So that's why if I was going to get home delivery of groceries to save myself some time, it'd have to come from Woolworths or Coles. Uh, so we'd be paying a little bit more. But then, like, I think what I might do is, um, when we do the groceries this weekend, is actually note down how much everything costs and see if I could do it reasonably close from Woolies or something. Even if it's click and collect, you just go, like, we grab the thing and that, you know? Mm. Get Jess to bring it home on his way home from work on a Friday or something. Mm. That's fine. Um, it's German, isn't it? I believe so, yeah. Mmm, including two chairs, like, yes. This means a few more sleep plus kids spots. Yes, again, amazing. Instagram versus reality. Yup, got some great news today with a confirmed move start date. For work move. Hey, feeling like I have light at the end of the tunnel for a stressful 11 months. Getting excited about the new area and roll. Yay, that's wonderful news seeker. I'm really looking forward to this time already. Despising it at the same time. Object permanence. Yes. Yeah, a cold early and wet is not fun. Family activity, happy happy exercising kids is great. New job, new role can be so refreshing. We need to cut across without too much baggage. Definitely hoping so. Brilliant. All right, I am actually going to go take this break to stretch my legs and stuff because they need it because I did a leg lower body workout today and they can hurt. So I'll be back shortly. I'm not a paladin. I'm not a paladin. Uh...
Boogie Town. Want some of my jungle love? Greetings. Um, yeah, which chord is actually a question, yeah. Um, oh, we have a predator. Oh, I feel so into it. Totally. Nice to oh, does we have an in-game community or guild? There is an in-game community, but we don't use it very much. Uh, my guild is used for my alts. Let's swap. Yeah, so in guild just her and also raising powers and community through Discord is kind of pseudo guild. Yeah. Um but there well there is also an in-game community. There is, it's I believe it's pinned in Warcraft um from quite a while ago. Um Yeah, if you scroll down, there's like a Krazy post, a Fear post, a Char post, <laughs> uh, Finn, and then Fear, the one all the way down the bottom. That's the, the community invitation link, but we don't really use it much anymore. Um, we used it a lot for organizing, like when we did community raids and stuff like that. I don't really look like fangs to anyone else. A little bit. Yeah, it does evoke the shape. You're right. Do you need an absolution of top swaps? Yeah, it looks like they're going for Star Wars pattern. Do you like screen series? Yes! They're grin. They're grin, it actually works. So, um, I wanted to show you guys. So, um, most of you probably remember that I'm back on my autoimmune meds. Um, and I did the shots just recently. And I remember sitting there, you know, trying to let my muscles recover because it's intramuscular and it fuck it sucks. And I'm sitting there not using my legs and looking for something to entertain myself. And um, this is the, you know, when you get the thing in the pack. That's fine. We could do it that easy, Taz. Um, you know how you get the, the thing that tells you, you know, what to take it with, what not to take it with, blah, 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 blah all the side effects and blah, blah, blah. So um, I'm just trying to read what I can. I thought I'd show you. Basically, this fight to be aware of for you. How serious my meds. Uh, as was born they are. in the first phase, you run around and kill those ads as priority when you can you throw interrupts into the prototype of war pretty sure it's war these things are messed up this is um yeah look yeah so you want to interrupt gloom bolts whenever you can um that's phase one and then if you get targeted with this is debuff you see these blue shield things on the ground none of this is any identifiable information yeah that's right because pros can uh interrupt it pretty well Basically, if you get the debuff, the rune cover, double -sided. Death you run in the blue orb, stand there, and then get spelled, <laughs> and then you can run out of it again. Um, if you don't, you die, basically. Yeah, this is, That's this all phase is, um... one really is, just dodging mechanics after that. Phase two is on the healers to heal stuff and get pulled around a little bit here and there and everywhere. And, 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 and it's, it's Same uh... again, dodge stuff on the ground, throw interrupts it's into insane. renewal, I think it is in that phase. <laughs> phase three, we do it all at once. So that's. One two match together. You use it as a blanket. And we kill them at the same time. <laughs> it's almost a fair and height. It's just something it's normal, not in English. All in English. There are, however, this, this and side here. all over those freaking stuff. This side, you, you might be able to see. There's like a yep. couple of yep. graphy things and stuff. It's actually got Five, study results. Four. Um, on it here as well. One two, one. Demonstrating efficacy and all that. So it's, it's got study results on it, but also all the other information you usually need. Probably because this is um, like, I mean, it is designed so that the patient can do it themselves at home, but. Can you get other covenants? This is something that's nope. often done in an office, like with the medical professional, like the doctor will administer for you, sort of thing. Um, I just don't, because I need it more often. That and stuff like it's a whole yeah it's just it's a whole thing um, yeah so that's fun and I can never 
Remember how it's meant to fold up. Ooh, I think this is wait, no, that seems wrong. That goes in there, maybe. Uh, I'm here. Cries, you're on war. So Still no, but it's fine. I don't care. <laughs> it's going in the bin anyway. Ah. Uh. Yep, and then the Nazar is we have to swap. Or we can't stand in front of him. These things are messed up. How great Simples. is it when the holy crap? Yeah. <laughs> nice magic trick, isn't it? And, and you make yourself an emotion. She shaped up your sorted entire body. So I'm particularly that was the one. Get everybody back. This is all English, all in English. It's almost a fear in height. Men, I'm assuming. Found out through work, pharmacy when they test any meds, initial trials that's needed. In neutered male mice, as females are too tricky to test in because the hormones. Interesting. Interesting. With two minutes, she can do something taller than her. Uh, it's my autoimmune meds um, insert in the box. Uh, we can paper cut out. Puzzle! Yep, make an origami fear out of it. Oh, good lord. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's it's freaking huge. Um, Double sided. Tissue paper. Orange. Oh, feast. I should eat that. Gosh. Damn grub. Ah, oh, dear. You know what? Oh, just a reminder to you guys that um, Raid does go later than 10 p.m. I know I usually finish stream at 10, but Raid doesn't finish until 11. Um, Do we even have any vops? So either Push. Yes, you get bonus Sorry, video content. It was. Or you'll miss out on a bit. Um, but that's, you know, there's always VODs and you're under no obligation to be here. So if you do want to skedaddle, you are. I want to be a panda druid. Able to do so. Why are you'll be able to soon, won't you? Yeah, it's, I'm just out of turtle form, surely. No, I'll no, bear a druid all the way. Ends. I mean, you can, it's not advised, because you will miss things. The FOMO is real. Yay, it grows back! But you absolutely can if you need to. Nice red check, and then we'll do a countdown timer. To pull it, Fia, do you need a run through, or you know what the go is, roughly? Uh, good question. Basically, uh, reconstitution, we're going to kill them all at the same time. Oh, that's fine. The end, as always. Um, yeah, that's like, okay, how long are we doing that for? Damage is a lot more, and then prototype of war, keep interrupt if you can, if you, like, probably should interrupt it as much as you can, but there may be times if, just, if you see it, go interrupt into it when you can. Sure, can do. That is all there is. Um, when the ad spawn, we just have range go to far, but it's not too stressful. And we lost phase four. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Video on demand. Focus. You know nothing Strategy. of loyalty. Violence. That's about to spawn. A curious the rock. Exists to rot. More on war. Kraz, keep him interrupted. To the Archon! Probably wanna. I know, take it to the next time, Blink Kraz. Nothing is sharper than a Curian blade! Watch your Because I'm dodging stuff. Just touch. Let me confer with my sources. No. Come on, Peter. Save that. No worries, Jack. Thank you so first. much for your help today. Really appreciate it. Have an awesome day, night, oh, whatever time it is. Back, we need more. Oh, this is Out of mid. Ads. On ads. You can be him. Um... 
in more into duty as well. When we are uh, on all those ads. Target you. Well, I did. I yeah. Energy attack. I thought you had to Watch your step. Off the edge. I can't do it like Jazz. I can't take every single one. <laughs> oh, there's no brazier now. See if it gets me. Yes. Weak. Kill me. Kill out. Just jump off the edge. Flesh exists. Take this gear damage for it. You lack sound oh. tactics. Got yeah. Hundred and two K overkill. <laughs> overkill is underrated. That's a pretty juicy overkill. Well they got a mage. Hello. It's not that far, mage. is it? Interesting. Oh, I didn't go to the far enough one. Let's explain this bit before we get to finish. Oh, yeah, no. During, during like while a boss fight's happening, don't care. Um, but yeah, you like if I'm get a mage, didn't it? If I'm trying to yeah, explain okay, something that needs to be heard, <laughs> then uh, yeah. I see two mages. Yeah, like if in the middle of doing something like serious and people can't hear me over a sound effect or something, and what they miss is going to cause a raid wipe, it's you know, I'm like, okay. <laughs> but like during a boss encounter, eh, CBF. I know it's not part of the encounter, so I'm. I'll I'm drop good. my feast. Good. It's only a normal 18 one, but. Uh, sometimes four. I have five mages. Right, I dropped it already. Five mages. I'm out of the big ones now. Small ones. Oh, I see how it is, Arrow. Gonna show up on my feast. I, I gave Stu 19 of the biggie ones, so we, we're all good. Zoom. Not oh, cool. I'm trying to burn these small ones off for a while. Technically, I have 12 mages. Why? What? Nah. It's only gonna get me two and a half gold. I'm gonna be so goddamn tired by the end of this. Can't even craft his. <laughs> nice. Nice. Bed? Isn't it like morning for Jack? Or wait, hang on. Just say more Friday nights. Head out it doesn't mean head to bed. Confused. Good well, I would be on if I was available, but I. Don't know. <sighs> well. Okay, the timer is up. I'm gonna have to switch from that straight to game. Pick up sitting on phone. Brilliant. So she's bed. Focus. Strategy. Vile. You know nothing of loyalty. Kill out. A curious resolve Flesh is unbreakable. To rot. That's Take this one, Black Crows. 
and she doesn't. To the no, she doesn't fly. She flies away. Oh, Judy. Yeah, it's fine. I just need to stack the off. Watch your step. Get these uh, bin people out. Dude. Just remind me about the battle when those things done. What more did you think? Kill out. Heads up, yeah. Excuse me. Go for the ads. Uh, Raw melee. To the Archon! I will carve my runes into your soul. Spell jazz. I think I can get the down. These ads are going to go. A Curian's resolve is on my spear will find your heart. You got to take it when she lands. What's your Doesn't step? stop damage on, on war. Up some more still. Kill ads. Ads again. We should just push. Yeah, push them down. It's gonna be easier. Just push the both ads so both them together. War. Turn up. It's fine. Try is your weakness. The gravity of your sin. Remember, you two will, will need to swap absolution. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your hearts shall feed my children. We're out of this seed, Yeah, that's fine. Pro fucking, you keep the far one up. Don't stand in front with the tanks, Rob. You're good. Find shelter. What your step? More on your solution. Which is the next one? Racking. Watch your step. You wanna take this cross? I am the hand of your destruction. Can we go spot? back? Back to the. Back to That's the... a worse spot, guys. Full plan. Move around the room, um. Find shelter. No shelter from nature Push them down. A bit more into renewal if we can. I will carve the sin from the earth. And my seeds wither, so shall you. Starting with more in this one? Yeah. Run. Run spare away. Judgment. Oh, oh, we didn't hear him running away. You got war cries? Oh, you, I'll yeah, take this to interrupt and roll war for you. Can someone interrupt renewal, please? Unburden yourself. Witness true courage. Wait, what are we doing? I'm here. Children. Focus on war, yeah. No, we're tunneling, sure, because I've got to go down equally. Where is that stampede? 
across the middle, it's alright. Thrash in torment! A curious resolve is unbreakable! Let's take um absolution cards. Nothing is sharper than a curious Find shelter. Watch your step. Yep. Yeah. Top of damage on the on war and go to the others shoot die from clap. I will carve the sea. A curious soul is unbreakable. When my seed wither, so shall you. The frogs are cute, they're adorable. Your corpse will feed my children. That's dark. Yeah, it's you Winter Queen's star? prototype. Yes. You don't want to roll for it? <laughs> or will it not let me trade it? Because I don't have it. It's just if, you, if, you, if you've got a PvP weapon, it won't let you trade it. No. I need that. It's rough. Double. Yeah, that's annoying. Did it to me with a net with a ring. Mm. <laughs> oh, I was convoking it. The bread off me. Gang, indeed. That was pretty clean. Ooh, yum. Have you ever played Final Fantasy? I have! Not much, though. The Fingers crossed I get a contract soon, that means I'll be playing a little bit more of it. I'm just making a suit just a suckling pig. Yum and yum. So who remembers Livium on heroic extra mechanics? If I say yes, will you believe me? <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm a trusty Fuck no. Guy. I did read somewhere that you don't have to do all four of the different ones. You could just spend all four at the rubble or something like that. Yeah, you can stay basically on the side. You don't need to move across for the. So we go. We still move. We stay at the same. The first one twice, I think it is. And then we can move to the next one. It just depends on space. It's all really. One of the responses to the question yeah. I asked was kill stuff, kill stuff, big don't boy. stand in stuff. And then Jazz said watch the tanks get bonked. You've got the defense matrix autonomy, you gotta kill. On the far side over there, uh, we can kill him second anyway. So for Fear and Taz, the way this one works, you'll get you may get targeted with a debuff. Um, you run that out to the sightings. Uh, is it deconstructing? I need your moats. I think it's a moat. You get targeted with a moat debuff. You run it out to. There'll be a marker over here. We're going to move around the room um, slowly. 
but just so there's markers down we can see where we'll be tanking it roughly if we need them so basically we have an energy bar on the boss when he gets to full we are jumping in and nuking this dude as hard as we can nuke him down and then a bunch of ads will come in together. We then target the defense matrix autonomous. Uh, Turbo DNC cat and boy. And and I'm not on your bonus shit. I think we might um, leave it there just the because it's going to get messy with. Um, uh, and you move the moats out. That's basically the entire fight. It's very straightforward. Can we mm -hmm. please yeah, get some get some lock rocks when you can, Maz? I need some too. It's hard to do it with raid because, like, Bosses aren't always dead every half hour, kind of thing. Thank you. Alrighty. Are you good, Munch? It's amazing. Yay. Good holiday when you and we'll last on your and we'll start taking it. Um, skull, Graz. Yeah. And we yeah. do. We swap every kinetic and sundering. Nice. That's awesome. Because we. Yeah. Alrighty. Hey, Lander. Good night, you too. You too. Let me spin around. Target you. So, moats move towards bring as best as you can together. Yeah, it's fine. Run out. If you have the circle, try to uh, cover the uh, bombs and the, uh, make them disappear. Yeah. Okay, get ready for uh, positioning into the river behind us. It's about to change. Kill level. Oh, what? Right. Tanks don't move when you're getting hit. Okay. Into the autonomous, nuke it. Do you want to wipe it? Yeah, wipe. No, I just wipe it. Just what was that one? That, that was... It was, uh, that was a tank. Yeah. Yeah. How'd you go to the bomb? No, 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 no. You had the other. It was a tank one. The one that AoE slaps the tank, not the bomb one. You had a giant server on It was kinetic, kinetic resonance that got you. Don't rest. Yeah, I can see kinetic in my chat window, but I saw bomb, so I ran. Oh, good, it happens. Mm. It wasn't me. It was a tank mechanic. No, yeah, not stopping stream, just raiders. Uh, <laughs> um, what a one with jazz. Yep. Uh, that was there's an ability there where the the tanks get a big circle around them, and if anyone stands in there with them, they no, 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 basically just, die. Yeah, she's tripping me out. And uh, we were moving away from them, and the tanks so took a step, just, and I got get caught just, by the edge of the circle, and I got cauterized because that was a death. Got to get there first. Um. Oh, you released. Yeah. Uh, Just we? to be Is careful. Three of us, four of us, five of us. Can we get a lock port? We can start summoning them. Help me level, yeah. Might be able to summon them here and speed Absolutely. her up. Absolutely. Oh. Thanks, man. Just, Just I just used you all the time. Just does me. Hey, look, I was a, a mage in, in vanilla, and we were just bloody water machines in those days, whatever you remember. Yep. Yeah, and then maybe you get bugged by people to bloody do portals. But we had to pay for them. Yeah, I made a lot of gold off that. Don't know why I summoned Arrow, because he's literally speed run is right here. It's really weird, because I thought he was going to say, just like I get used at home. But he didn't say that, so it's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm actually I'm... too scared to say that. I am actually pretty tired today. I've actually been maintaining a, a regular exercise schedule and stuff, and well, I thought we summoned the DK. I'm line. just <laughs> let yeah. him run the whole way. Um, I don't think he's <gasps> run. it's not because I'm bored or anything like that. 
I promise. That's fair enough. Once I'm in, like, once I'm active and doing stuff again, I should be okay. Are you dropping that feast, guys, or are you just saying about dropping that feast? That, uh, uh, I thought I'd yeah. just talk it up about how good it is. Great way to be out. The double feast. nine last night. Oh, see you go. Mine's I, um... I already did it first, so that's your fault, Kraz. I think it was, I think it was 10, 30, 11 for me last night. Normal, normal time. I, um, I'm trying to be consistent because if I go to a bit, if I go to bed too early one night and then I stream the next night, I'll get tired really early Alrighty. and yawning and stuff on stream is not really a good look. Buff and... So it's, um, I don't know. I just did that, but I'm, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to last missing? another 50 minutes. <laughs> as soon as they call it, I'm going to be out of here. So just as a warning, oh, excuse me. Crash early, but no kids stuff to wash dry fold. Came home and had a nap after work. Bad move. Sorry to tell you, Doobie. Yeah, you're better off going to bed early. Hmm. <sighs> Soon as Kraz is back, I'll count down timer into place. You basically. So I'll Oh, I'll try and spin the boss around, so I'll be tanking facing out this way. Yeah, I mean, sorry, what's the delay? So I'm going to end up where I'm now. I'm going to spin him around. Just be wary. So you can all get comfy now behind him and Kikuchi. Bombs in short, oh sorry, promotes in shortly. Target you. Move him out towards the green as best as you can. And then take it for us. Knocking back. Push the knock back. Get ready for the. Oof. Why did I? On the ad now. <laughs> Why you there? Why is crap? Wipe it up. Yeah, I've got no idea what fuck's happening then. Like, you're really yeah, back, back, back tank, tank circle yeah. kills everyone. You know, yeah, you're gonna stand you, out with you me. know where you stand for Skrillex? Oh, yeah, stand in the exact there. same spots for this boss. I got a red on Brova. I got a res on Brovar as well. So yeah, stand with me on the inside of the circle. I'll wait for the melee. Don't release. Well, you yeah, you got the mage. Were you here the last time, Kraz, or not when you did this? Or was it Chaz and... Uh, yeah, hey, I was here. got a shadow like... priest. I'm trying to figure out, like, how I'm getting aggro when I'm not in it. I did, I'm not popping Ash and Hollow. I'm not doing any of that shit. And I took because you've got a there's a tank swap. Yeah. No, so you, if you that, if you take fine. like yeah, no, the second one, but it's it's a big AOE for both of us either way. That's all right. Just stand with um. Stand out with me next to me. Spread. Oh, that's not the right food buff. <laughs> uh, Aero, do you want to drop a feast? Seeing as Kraz, so. Have a king's. Oh, oh uh, no, Seeker. Oh, uh, yeah, no, my. Uh, so too. Fucking. Like, absolute rubbish. Add on that, like, click to oh, the side of my screen. That's been nothing. Summon so Aero. Oh, dear. Adams are overrated. No, that's a valid concern, Seeker. That's uh, valid. Does anyone have a hammer for a repair piece? Seconded that. Oh, what a hero. Saves us. Thank you. Thank you. My 11% armor thanks you. <laughs> Alrighty. Kraz, stand out with me. Gucci. But not on top of him. So stand, you want to be standing like inside the circle. Yeah. Like, oh, absolutely real. That's incredibly, like, very reasonable. So I'll pull it back and spin him around like I did there. So just as a heads up for my life. 
One of my biggest fears with like pregnancy and childbirth and all that kind of stuff is Stand setting with me, Chris. Nice expectations and restrictions on Locked people down. who come Different. to visit and all that kind of stuff and having them poo-pooed or ignored. Like to, oh, that's silly, you don't need to do that, blah, 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 but being like, I don't care, you will respect it or you will not meet my More child. Time, yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? That's a... Uh, you just, you read so many horror stories about people just totally disrespecting Knock boundaries. Knock back. Took over and position yourself on the other side of the, um, bus. We should go. Oh, yeah, I don't have to worry about it for a while, I reckon. <laughs> what the? That's... Down the boss. I love their language. It's so cute. You get down. Makes me so happy. Finish it off. Go. These ones before the big one gets here. And now the big one's here, we're gonna nuke it. You get out, you can't out your way, so it's just a single target on the big dude. You can't have just a little up. Just finish him down. Nick their dads off the rest of the way. Watch out for the circle on the ground from the boss. Keep the last out of down and most off to the left as best uh, and kind of clockwise again. Keep him grouped if you can. We're gonna move him back around a little bit. Oh, take it Chris. Take the bomb over near the bombs. I've got it. There's a moat right there, be very wary, we're gonna move it around more. Um, Take it, Chris. Yeah. Oh, I'll take it out of that resonance. Target you. Likes me, doesn't it? You can move. They have to run so far away, you can keep them to that, near that area. Just a knockback. We're gonna start moving him back Even towards little boop that adder. So we have to cascade. Reminds me of... Are games maybe? Maybe right, there's like move. Japanese move acting towards games. Towards the adder, you get a raw out of me. <laughs> and you take it, Kroz. Oh, I can't take two. Go get to that adder, reach and nuke it. Nick it down. Next big dude around. Defense on him first. You go grab the um What that keep cutting that autonomer and range can you nuke it for us? This big guy. No the, yeah, bring him no, the, uh, yeah. bring him bring him onto me, the other one on, that's pulling jumping to people. Now you can nuke it. One running out whoever it is, ghost. Just that one. Yeah, he's unvulnerable. Right. Are we just using this to bounce over the other side? Yeah, we will. We'll use the next knockback to get bounced. Knockback's a lot smaller now. Oh, it's very small, Jesus. We're coming across with him. Nick that autonomous still. There's no way to get, take the. Knocking back. Jump the knock back here. What? Target you. You gotta blow a defensive every time on those. Yeah, I don't have another one left 
knocking back. We're gonna get pushed towards the orange marker pad. We're gonna move towards a bit more. To get ready for that. Oh, should we'll be right there. Start moving towards the uh, the ad in the um thing here. The roar, everyone. <laughs> and you him when he goes left. You him down. This is an interesting fight. I'll Long pull the little fight. ones, Crows, if you can grab the. Oh, we didn't kill it. We gotta nuke this dude fucking hard. Two the big guy quick. Stack in. Bring it to me, Chris. She stopped friggin' moving it. I got my own after all. I got two, I got the heroes. Measure these ads. Target you. Moats out to the uh, clockwise area. Wow. Wow. Ah, okay. Those little guys hurt big time, but I've seen um, is that they do on the third pull like that one, we do the little guys instead of doing the, the one over here. Uh, there were those big robots, we can't kill them. Yeah, we're gonna kill what them. What I mean, stuff, yeah. I feel that. What percentage were we at? 30. We have really? to kill the big one. Yeah. Should curve it. Oh no. So I'm sitting. Yeah, those are not the best. Such a pain up here. Put us in a chase. We um, need to be a little bit closer when we're ready to move. Can you can you tank them? I can bring it closer? in. Yeah. yeah. It's just the resonance. It's not that anymore. Still stories. You should only cop one stack, guys. Thankfully, we're not locked in. Please, 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 Mm -hmm. Not that my family have given me any reason to be concerned about that. That means but... stick isn't taunting. <laughs> I've taken uh, no, no. multiple of the same no, ones. I didn't, I didn't get Babies anything, usually take two people as well, and I don't know, you know, what I'd be getting into with that kind of side, but yeah. That, that, that's uh, still um, not stick taunting. It's not so much friends I'd worry about. It's Most of my friends are like, nope, it's fine, take, I'll meet your child when they're seven, thank you. I can but, <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, family yeah. are... Then yeah, like can be. Yeah. Mm, we are number one top family, they need to get tetanus potassium dip through, they couldn't meet the kid, everyone was respectful, thankfully. Yeah, um even then I didn't have any yeah. I didn't have any major cooldowns. When it comes to children as a person you want. Yeah, we did the same secret with him really has already had theirs. My cousin had kids a year before ours. I I have a feeling I won't be the first in my extended family to have babies, so um, I'm assuming, hoping, that, that, like, my, my whole extended family are pretty, like, switched on with that kind of stuff as far as I'm aware. There might be one or two who are a little bit questionable, but most of them are pretty, you know, and they all know I'm autoimmune and all that kind of stuff, so, like, and I, I don't know how this would affect anything growing inside of this. I like I, I, je I just don't know. It's not something I've researched because it's not my problem right now. Um, so yeah, I, I cannot do any of that kind of stuff on my current medication. It is prohibited. Uh, so that's fun. Yeah, it's, uh, it's an experience. It's nearly there. Huh. 
Uh, is there any real thing? Don't come near us if you're not well for the first six weeks till first round of acts. Even people that were not so keen went and got it done out of respect for us. That's awesome. That's really good. Uh, bonus E later does touch on a nail. Mentioned to me as he thought he needed a shot and couldn't remember when he last had it. I said, oh, yours lasts for 10 years. You got it last year. Thank me later. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I had a friend of a friend basically put the soon-to-be grandmothers against each other by telling both the other already had their shots. That's hilarious. It's bloody dreadful anyone being that is a bonus for them, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. This was wash hands as soon as enter house. No smoking anywhere near house. No kissing the baby, especially on hands which go into mouths. Yeah. Yeah. All good. Thank Feel you. free to smell, baby. Do not kiss, baby. Like... <laughs> I, babies have that smell. No, it's good as well, I'm guessing. Baby smell is, is a drug. Yep, I'm good. But, yep. um, yeah. All right. You don't have to. Guys, come closer to the skull marker to... so you don't have to run so far for the first set of bombs. But yeah, not for a while. <laughs> I've got some other stuff I need to get done first. Turning it around. Target you. Off you go with the moats. Stack them, yep. Yeah. Keep running. Run out. Hold it first. And use the knockback to push yourself towards the yard. Move towards the yard now. You just you, I guess. Look you. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a new kind of guild. It's a community. Just I haven't got the the guild tag. You can't press G to to, to talk to us. <clears throat> didn't kill it in time. Oh, what? You didn't say go down to the ads, guys. People run away from it. He's got the tip is targeting you. The what? It was destroyed earlier than everyone eased off. Just what? Oh, I'll try to res on Bonnie. Just don't release. Um. So, so good. Better than Ozone. And Ozone is pretty good. If you smell harder to find as a scent, a new car smell, not if you sit new baby in the car. <laughs> Just not gonna imagine the scientists could harness that smell. I'm sure they can. Yeah, like it burnt really fast and right at the end it just slowed down just as the car's finished. Good news is and I got the tank thing right. No, you didn't. You took two hits. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Better than Christ getting one shot. <laughs> Can any of you check the VOD for that little moment there when that ad didn't die? Would have been the bar that's down here. I don't get it. Everyone's saying they saw it die, they saw it hit zero. Did it actually hit zero before it the cast bar finished? Or was it just a like was it at two health or something like that? Is the is the question we had. If you if you get a chance, like obviously either it's a bug or we didn't DPS hard enough. Either or. Hey, someone's got to, because I'm not doing a good job. Healing is easy. We don't normally need to do mechanics. Yeah, <laughs> that's just cheese. I guess video on demand stream is still on. That's um, you can usually really rewind the video player somewhat. Usually. Do Tank and Ray living easy. Uh, I feel like I'm more observant. Or you can hit the clip button and have a look. Though. Either or. Depends on if it was in the last oh, 60 you. seconds. There's a mare. Keep running so we don't look at the puddle. Don't stand in them. Ugh. My sinuses yeah. are really unhappy today. Easy enough today. to get pushed towards the yard. Stay there, Chris. It's fine. Move towards the yard, please. <laughs> I 
That's my go to bed alarm. Oh no. Yeah. I'm gonna hear that for a little bit. I'm sorry. Once we kill this, Don't or we wipe, either or, once I'm out of combat, I'll turn it off. On the defense matrix mm, now. I'm gonna eclipse it. I don't think Zam's here. Rose can you pick up Livium when he ends? Get this last defense matrix down. And then your autonomous. Target you. Can we get back a little bit closer to the thing when, when possible? Yeah. Target you. Give me this motor cross. Run out. Take this cross. I, I did. Let's go right next to the. Knocking back. Watch out for the. Not back towards the ad. And stay away from tanks again now. Get onto the uh, out again to nuke it. Nuke it hard. Good work. Gonna nuke the big dude here next to us now. Slow that one that's coming. Stop. <laughs> Perfectly. It's driving me batty. Sorry, guys. And now I can hear it echoing in my ears. Fantastic. Thank you, Brain. You are so kind. Gonna keep moving around here. Watch out for the cascade. Remember, right. the circle is very small. Use the, the, the knockback to move across the. Where he's standing is an actual hollow. That's alright. Yeah. We can move, but just, just I'm not even close. Shit. We've got to steadily move across. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll keep moving after this. We're gonna have a cascade first, though, Chris. We should get ready for that. That's fine. Moats, we're gonna move the moats towards the purple this time. Can you clear that one in front of the ad? Um, one of the boss guys? Dead. Oh, there. Yep. Thank you. And we're gonna use a push to get closer towards the, um, the ads again. Alright, there's a tank out coming in shortly, so. That was, but it killed me. Oh, that's a good getting back. Maybe in the ad. Back to support, it's now live. Nuke <laughs> it down. Good. Under the boss, everything under the boss. Yep. 
kill the little guys. Stun if you can. That's the time, Zap. Get the blue dots. This is Emrage. Mm -hmm. No, I'll get focus on the boss now. Yeah. Let's just get these ads split up as well. There's no more boss, F phase, boss, is it? Boss, no. The ads will get cleaved. <laughs> Move these remotes across to the pebble marker as best as we can. Let's take it. We. Looking back. Move away from the tanks. Where's Kraz? Move out of Kraz. That's right, you're good there. Just be wary, Ghost. We're gonna have a tank flappy clap. Drop Ash and Hollow. In yep, that's fine. Move the moats towards purple as close as you can if you get them. Target you. It's on him and the raid as best we can. It's on the tiny, essentially. Tanky, tiny to heal. Take it. Ooh. Good work. <laughs> See? Fine. That's fine. Oh, you have discovered I a light like step cipher. <laughs> if you discover another cipher, <gasps> that allows... Oh, you did a lot better that time. Oh, good. I could hear it. <laughs> <laughs> There's some some people. people. It's not a bad one, it's just... Oh, I want what mascot. I want tools of incomprehensible experimentation, apparently. Mounts. That's exactly the thing I want. Right. Going. They're going back to here. Oh, Maz, yeah, right. Maz just rubs it in. No, there's one jumping here. Hasn't said a word, but you're rubbing it in. Yeah, I made it as slow as I could. Just to build a suspension. <laughs> Back to the from little, little, little planes. Um, you know he's I'm gone very quiet. Living. Grob, he's gone very quiet. It's whistling. No one who whistles is a he's secretly oh, raging. Hum in so the I hum. You, um, have you gone not much, much though. A piece of loot? <laughs> I yes. usually hum for all of about three yeah. seconds. For example, na 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 na. I can't. I can't help Hang myself. On, no, that's three bosses then. I can't help myself. Done. Wait, 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 did you get anything off so of the first kid. boss? Four Storing's, yep, yeah, storing's terrible. Good. Trash trinkets. So it is now yeah, humming. Yeah, he was boss, like, we've done five. Hi. We've so done four bosses. bosses. We haven't done Skullix or Artificer yet. There's such a thing you're shooting at, and then... Oh, oh Gaylord. And then that whole thing. I crack things unintentionally. Like, I go to stretch and then go, ooh. So it's, yeah. I used to sing in bands, limited tolerance for bad singing, whistling, and humming. Yeah, look. Um, cool I, I did a couple class. bands, I did cool. several choirs, I had like solo singing lessons and all that kind of stuff. I did all the school musicals and shit like that. So, yeah, I'm, uh. Yeah. Yeah. If four year old does it, oh, some cracks yeah. feel really yeah. good. Cool. Like cool. this one, where you do like you hug yourself and then you kind of you pull forward but not bending forward, you kind of pull your chest and your shoulders forward, and your whole back just kind of goes, Krr. yeah, it's tasty. Have to say, the pole is phenomenal for stretching, like so good for stretching. With there's one you you put your outside really foot, so if the pole's here. Like on your left hand side here. I'm helping. You put your right foot, like the inside of your foot, against the base of the pole, and you bend this knee up so it's out of the way, and then you grab the top of the pole with your right arm and you lean into it, and it just stretches all down the side of your. Body. Oh God, it feels good. And then you kind of you slowly swing it through the mid back and change hands and feet, and then stretch the other side. It just the whole thing feels delightful. Oops. No, they're pulled there. Oh, it's just spine buffs. 
smack on by leaning backwards. Uh, I when I lean backwards, it compresses my lower back, here. and I've actually got a really a pronounced lower back. Like I mean, I don't, it's not there medically significant, um, but like you you can get um, photos yeah, of like they go you know st doing dancing, you know the the, know, the tr dance right troop um, taking photos yeah. and like you know straight backs, put your chest out and stuff, and I'd do this, and you'd get the photos yeah, and you'd have like a back, a back, a back, and then Fia's back is this massive big curve. Like I'm. Like my lower back curves yeah, and then my ass kicks out quite a bit like that. Right. So doing a back stretch that way so doesn't do anything for me, it just hurts. Just hang around, go it just feels like I'm compressing yes. everything more than I should. Um, so forward <laughs> child's pose <laughs> is a good one. Doesn't do much for me, but um, when it does do something for me, it's good. Well, that's like, bro, I'm not going to repair. It feels so good. Yeah, my hips occasionally pop. They're not cracking so much, but occasionally they kind of like click or pop. Um, and but then not like they haven't done that forever. Um, like if I'm doing like certain stretches or, or like mobility warm ups, like you swing your leg back and forth, they'll get to a point where I'll swing past a point and the the, the leg will kind of go clunk, yeah, and then it kind of go oh, if it doesn't feel bad, but. It, and it kind of loosens up the motion and stuff a bit, gets the juices flowing. But, um, I, I mm, it, it kind of, I'm pretty I sure it started somewhere really around, it started around when I my took knee my alchemist got drink, you happy? screwed by the arthritis. So I think yeah, it might be it. because my hips overcompensate for my knee to try to take pressure off it and stuff. Uh, not consciously, it's just something that happens. Um, like when I'm, there's a particular pole the reason move, we're at, um, when I'm in no, it properly, my hip there. burns, there's like several burns like fire, um, and it's because my hip is trying really hard to protect terrible. my knee from the move, and so it hurts my hip instead. It's it's stupid weird, but um, well, sorry, bodies, Brad, right? <laughs> That's good fun, something something whip hair back and forth, yep, basically. That's fine. You stand and raise it fantastic. Good to hear. Well, my lumbar cushion's in a really good place for me right now, so I'm I'm feeling fairly supported. But um, I do want to lie down though. But I think that's more to do with me being tired than sore. Uh, tiny, that's a negative. I have um, whenever I read you, I blow bubbles. But I tempted to change it to woo woo. Mm hmm. I should check. Hello, Sam. The standing desk as well. Ooh. Instead of doing it while playing, up yeah, it goes. Standing desk is on the cards for me. Can't wait. Yeah, I um, unfortunately, I can't really do a standing desk. Um, not with my current setup, at least. Uh, everything I have has very little power cable left. So if I raise the desk, my screens, the key lights, uh, the microphone. Um, probably the cam, everything would just get yanked off the back of the desk. <laughs> um, mm. but look, I get what Drew is. maybe in the future I'll be able to raise my PC up and have it on a table next to the desk so I can do standard. But it also changes the perspective of the cam which might screw with like everything for the, the stream so I don't know. Interesting thought though. Definitely an interesting thought. Remind me the day at night when I hit my standing goal doesn't remind me so I have to use prompts. Of course, of course. There's a really cool thing. You can go down to your mythic dungeon thing and just mouse over it and it'll tell you. Did you know? Yeah, I just, just said it. I'd, I'd rather like talk to people that I like instead of you being condescending, please. Why are you talking to us? <laughs> Look, Jazz it's because he, he likes he you guys. Doesn't like. mean you guys like him. <laughs> It's not a bad week then, is it really? No, it's not. Actually, a pretty good week. Mm -hmm. That's why I spent so far, to be honest. Yeah, if I was going to get a, a standing desk, it would have to be like a, a button push to make it move type deal. Um, electric one, it'd be an investment, but yeah. I'd have to figure out how it would work for streaming. Also, joys are working in kids, man. Because, uh... Two jobs. Yeah. Probably should be working two jobs, but... I barely work one. 
That's what I thought. You know, you don't have to do the corners anymore, man. Yeah, you can sell feet pics on the internet. New to standing it's desks. Like yeah. Yep, yeah, it requires quite a specific a setup. Don't go that way. <laughs> oh, crap. Um, how many desks are good? Send desk, going to go back to consider a new chair. Yes. Pick up this here. Sure, it's a good investment. Zen desk, basically the same. I and didn't go as wide as I needed. But you pay for it. They aren't cheap. Oh, no, of course. Of course. But I mean, given. Alrighty. Uh, I'll be able to claim it on tax we'll because I mean I, ha I have to have the money to purchase wise, it first. You'll have groups. So like... Mm. So the first group will be out will be Mag, Maz and Mist and then there'll be a... Wretch and then you'll get... And then Kush, you can jump in and out as you... Does anyone else, when well. they get tired, um, feel like their face needs to like... like just jump back and forth. That'd be yeah. not too difficult. <laughs> uh, so every every wretch range will move in and out. So uh, you'll rotate those groups. Every second wretch right. will call for the stack on the marker. My eyes, Other than yeah. that, do not stand in the tank. Just like your skin like, feels like it needs to be moved around and... Yeah. Clapped. Not fun. Like, I don't have a headache, it's that I'm trying oh, to like... We lost on call. Dead putty face. Well, no, it's not so much that it's dead. It's more that, like, moving my face doesn't feel like it's enough to keep the blood flowing. I need to actually move yeah, it myself. It's, it. I don't know how to explain it. It's not quite dead. It, there's, it's a different yeah, feeling, but it's good. very, very interesting. So we'll face the, the boss each time. We'll face them out of the triangle. And lost it. <laughs> I can take that one again. Ooh, fuck. He told it just too soon. Yeah. So. So the wretch is coming in shortly. Shockwave. I moved too tanks, early, yeah. I didn't get it in there, fast off. Why the... There's too many fucking melee over there. <laughs> I tried that, it hurt. I think you stood in between us though. Oh, that's not good. I need to go back to the <laughs> I too like to live dangerously. Alright, we're gonna go to the wretch. And then after the wretch, we're gonna collapse on the moon. Tank, tank to be the last to move, so everyone else move to the moon, please. So we'll take it. Good, Chris. Special coming. And then everyone position yourself to. I do you like that you tank. can still target and attack the worm while it's underground. Oh, we're gonna try and go. I thought we were going. Oh, one. I wonder why they're doing it in a triangle instead of just back and forward. It chunks your health, doesn't it? Oh, Pallas are supposed to be good. Not fake sure. enough. Yeah. Dodge Wretch. Move away from me, Malay, you'll get slapped. Do you want me to take these next ones? I can take more. I'm gonna take it. I got it. Sure. Right now. Ah! Wow. Definitely don't. That's it. impressive. That's a 90% that damage reduction and 6% burst. Yep. Second one. Yeah, that's I could not expect that. That's my cooldown. Move out and we're going to collapse towards green now. Everyone. Go raw. Off you go, Crows. Special 
Shockwave. Another the rich. Why'd you take it? Oh. I took it back on threat. Oh, yeah. Shut mm -hmm. up. Not for another minute, you'll be fine. He's got bubbles and stuff. Is that what number is that? That's rich. Takes you to collapse. Collapse on moon. On moon, yep. Yep, on moon. Big heels Kraz. Special and then you'll remove again. Oh, I shouldn't scale. Yeah, go, position, go towards scale now as a group. And then, Kraz tanking it. Do I need someone else to do Yes, you will probably need someone. Unless you can bubble something. If I angle that, take away your res? No. No. Fuck. No drop. Ash and Hollow on him. Yep. If you need to, you can run out. You can dive and jump up again. <laughs> so, uh, you should be fine and you get. You get yeah. <laughs> or not. So we just kill it. Or, um. How the fuck. Did. Yeah, hey, got a cloak. No, I've got here Rend on me, Rift more on you, Rift more on me. Which and then should be okay. Yeah, equip the cloak. And then I've got I don't know what the order, what the order is. Yay! Yeah, okay. Rend, Rift, Rift. And then next one is Rift, Rift, Rend. Yeah, like it changes every time it does. It, so down here. Yeah. I took the if first. If you face, Rift yeah, more, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you're trying to I massage the, the fluid or something out of it. It's weird. Mum says yeah, we'll hello to the family. Yeah, we'll call it because the time. Uh, so I put up in PLH that cloak, but if anyone else wants to roll for main spec, go for it. I do have rolls for everything, but main spec, if you can't see it, the lurking predator cloak. So yeah, we'll call it there because there's probably not the time to go and knock out artificial trash. Oh, we're done. My dog seems to think so too. I mean, it is a low 10.53, oh, I didn't even good. say that. You know it was... it was already shitloads better than the two raids put together last week. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, we'll Thanks go and... Back. Thanks for coming. We'll come and rock and roll into Artificer and then, uh... Palondris and then Did good old Anduin. Yeah. And we've got two heroic, um, bolt things for next week, so that's awesome. Yeah, it's really good. And then obviously for people on Friday can go do on normal. I'm not going to do normal. We're doing pets on Friday. I've been looking forward to that for a bit. I like how we just baptism of fire for Taz just straight it's into heroic. Don't worry about normal. Feels right, yeah. Cause if you want to take the port. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm God. pretty sure I've improved from last I week. Did it hurt? But did you die? Right, like, oh, this is whatever. He's the chaotic right. stream mess. Uh, totally fine. Right. Man, you'll be right. Blue <laughs> tabs. Um, if you can mind Bella and Torquoise caps got removed light. this week, so easier gearing. Persian rose delight. Yes. Bam it up. I can finally um. upgrade my trinket and stuff. So. <laughs> this is by the way, Larry. Yes. <laughs> Look at you. I just need my damn legendary now. That's it. All my plants are in the lounge room, except one. Um, I can speed we've got, run now. Jazz has got a plant in his room. Yeah, what do you need? Hold it's you. an aloe. We got just recently. Hey, look! Two slots. Oh, no, good night, guys. What up? Actually, do you know which ones you need, Taz? Because you might be able to just... Oh, you're going to buy a random one, isn't it? Craft oh, well, we've, we're still working it's on the me. rune cover quest line parting. It's an aloe. You do has an aloe, and... Right. And he came to me and he's like, the aloe is going so a bit we'll brown. So we'll probably finish that um, on What's Friday, wrong? I reckon. I and I looked and I'm like, you're, you're drowning it? Annoy the wife enough. I poured, she might do it. like, almost yeah, half a cup of water that, out of the pot. Get, yeah. <laughs> you're probably better off holding off and doing your... Uh, so no. Stuff for the, no. For the, <laughs> that was dead before you left. So then you can target the memories um, in the other no. part. Because once you've done the quest, it's 100% This is an aloe in a little black pot. little black ceramic pot. 
and then obviously Gas just loved it to death. I mean, possible. Well sorted. Possible. We've got um, so, we've got Groot, yes. the the Devil's Ivy. Ah, I think it is the climbing nice. the so, climbing vine, um, which has it's look it's it's a yeah. Um, I've got a Chinese money plant. Do you need me to upload long? Gifted to me last birthday, not this one just gone, but the last uh, birthday from my day job. Um, and it's in a little koala shaped pot, which I is agree. adorable. And now Jas has got no, his aloe. Well. That's it. Good to see. Um, to see it. The vines is alive. I'm sure. Oh yeah, no, no, that's definitely yeah, still alive. To, like, um, it's out, lost yeah, a few limbs, you know, but um, it's uh, it's there. Because it went really fucking well tonight. Um, <laughs> and quietly, just there we go. All right, I already said my thank yous. I was I was not a rude. I said my thank yous. Uh, we're gonna wrap this shit up. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap this shit up. That's been a while. Let's do this. Um, I'd be a night. Had to work during this. Gross. How'd they go? Yeah, really well. Really well. We killed the jailer on normal, and then we killed the sausage and um, Pantheon and Lehim. Lehivim. Lehivim, I don't know, uh, and then also, and they're obviously the door boss, and Skolex on Heroic. Pretty good. I reckon we do pretty good. Sleeves, good night, good night. Um, hey, Kylon, is Sub or Sinro best in PvP? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm assuming by Sin you mean Assassin, like Assassination. I always call them Ass Rogue. I know I shouldn't, but it's because it starts with A-S-S, right? So, like, it's, it's Ass Rogue. Anyway, uh, I don't know, though. I don't PvP. Um, I also don't play Rogue very well at all. Um, I'm probably not the best person to ask of that. I'm so sorry. I can't help. I genuinely have zero idea. Um, but welcome on in, and I hope you're having a lovely day. Lithium, the battery. But that's not how it's spelt. Yeah, here we go. So Guardian, Skolex, the Sausage, the Pantheon, Lihuvim, 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 that one. Good. Okay. Uh, let's do a raid so I can go to bed. It's a song going to do from behind. Look, probably. Probably. I'm too tired for this. Um, the snake isn't called Skrillex or the Sausage. That's, that's what they were calling it during the World First Race, and so it's stuck. But it's, um... It's like Dis Disoni or De Disogni or something. I can't remember exactly. It looks French to me, and so I want to say Disown or Dis, Dis but I, I know it's wrong. Uh, but I genuinely don't know. It's fucking Disosage. Um, and uh, yeah, good. Yes, thank you. Dow Dow so I absolutely, like, because it looks French to me, I assumed Dalcine because the GNE thing kind of, it doesn't always get, the, the G isn't usually pronounced, so it'd be like Dalcine, but I don't think that's right. I've read a thing that said it was Dor, like Dawn, and then Seg, and then Nay, like Nay, so like Dorsegne, but I do not know. That was like a person on the forums, not a, like a blue poster or anything, so... Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, it, unless you, you need a voice line. You need someone to say their name in game. Please. <laughs> Pretty please. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Uh, this one. 
Uh, Chat Chicks is a lovely, lovely dude. They're doing some keys. Um, uh, all 20 plus challenge. They're doing really high keys, not like we do, but that's fine. Um, I'm gonna go to bed because I'm very tired. In black and white mode. Oh no. Dosegne would be right. Oh yeah, okay. It's interesting, isn't it? Like, you can, so many interpretations. Anyway. Excuse me. Uh, Friday is pets. Sunday is transmog hunt. Monday is probably Final Fantasy, but I don't have a contract yet, so I'll confirm and let you know when it happens. And then a repeat of today next week with no key and no anime yoke. I'll work on different achievements, uh, which will be great prior to raid. Uh, but that's the week ahead. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. Uh, follow the socials. Jump in the Discord. Do all the stuff. VODs are on YouTube, by the way. Behind, but they're on YouTube. Um, yeah. Grab your copy paste. Do the thing. All the love. Mwah. Bye, guys.